Chapter 101 We all won and everyone was happy. As a result, the situation of the battle has also been changed. In the Paladin Order, not only Pato can activate the Holy Light Guard, but other Paladins are also very good at Holy Light Defense skills. The attack of the undead will do less damage if it falls on the Holy Light. Originally, even if these Paladins wanted to deal with the undead, it would be difficult because they were good at defense but not at attack. Attacking requires activating some devices to restrain the undead. But this will also distract them and prevent them from focusing their energy. Now leave the offense to the players. And they will focus on defense. Which makes it easier instantly. Originally relying on a huge number of skeleton soldiers. With such skillful cooperation, they no longer appear so unscrupulous. Originally, no one knew each other. But in such an atmosphere, everyone was in order. There was a long-range archer player who aimed carefully throughout the entire process and steadily killed skeleton soldiers. However, the holy light was covered by the attack of the skeleton soldiers. After Pato felt the pressure, he was unable to continuously support such a large range. The scope of the holy light mask is shrinking little by little. The long-range archer player was so focused that he didn't notice the shrinking range of the holy light shield. At this time, suddenly a team of dozens of skeleton assassins appeared from the shadows. Under the attack of so many skeleton assassins, the fragile archers were basically defeated even if they were of high level. At this time, a warrior player drew his sword and rushed over to solve some of them. But when he couldn't solve some, the warrior player charged and knocked the archer player away. Those attacks also fell on him. Fortunately, he is a warrior player and has thick skin. So the attacks of these remaining skeleton assassins will not kill him instantly. Thanks, brother. The bow and arrow players were frightened when they saw the scene. And immediately threw a super large blood bottle with instant recovery. Regardless of the fact that this super large blood bottle was worth dozens of gold coins, and they were reluctant to use it. The two also covered each other's retreat. A similar scene was happening all around. Holding the grass? I'm getting excited. If the quota hadn't been full, I would have wanted to teleport there now. This is the meaning of the game. I think even if they fail, they will be proud enough. The god of the undead may also be frightened after seeing the will of these players. What happened to the god of the dead? Let him see what it means to be a natural disaster player. No need to say anything unnecessary. Just keep working. The audience watching through the live broadcast room was also aroused by the scene. This is true even for outsiders. Let alone the players currently fighting. These adventurers are greedy. Selfish. Cunning. Deceitful. Rogue. But at critical moments, they can be so united and fearless. The behavior of these players was also seen by Pato. He really didn't understand why there were so many contradictory qualities in these adventurers without any sense of violation. But the most important thing at the moment is to deal with the Legion of Darkness first. Why hasn't the Dark Knight Messenger come out to fight? Pato looked at the battle situation in front of him and was thinking in his heart. The other side. And he reported the battle situation to Su Chen. At this time, Su Chen had almost collected everything, leaving only some large quantities of not very valuable items. Let the skeleton soldiers push forward so that the dark troops you transferred from the military order do not need to be consumed. Let them withdraw and destroy these places at the same time. Su Chen casually picked up a piece of dark gold level equipment and put it into his backpack, and said at the same time, this subordinate will do it now. After and he heard this, he immediately retreated. It makes sense for Su Chen to arrange this. First of all, the undead creatures recruited by An Yi through military orders are gone after being consumed. These undead creatures are useful for Su Chen to disguise the army of darkness. Even if there is no longer a need to disguise the army of darkness, there is no point in letting those undead creatures be consumed. At the same time, it needs the undead creatures of the dark army to leave their traces. Because Su Chen's backpack was not big enough, he could only collect some high-end goods, but some ordinary goods could not be accommodated. After investigation later, it was found that only high-end goods had been looted and the other goods have been kept. Isn't this too suspicious? Letting the 100,000 troops of the Army of Darkness come to destroy these places would also destroy the evidence. Soon, and he came over with more than 100,000 undead creatures. Any shop that Su Chen had looted was directly damaged in various ways. Many monsters are powerful. With a force of 100,000, it is very easy to destroy some shops. Moreover, even if some shops use special materials, they can still be destroyed in the dark. Su Chen's goal has been achieved, and he will easily be discovered if he continues to stay here. We withdraw? Su Chen talked to An Yi, and he nodded, took out the military order, 
and took back the more than 100,000 undead creatures of the Army of Darkness. After Anyi withdrew his troops, Su Chen thought and took Anyi back as well. At the same time, you may also turned into a shadow. And Su Chen now looked like an ordinary player. Only the skeleton soldiers were left. The entire war is gradually coming to an end. Not all players are engaged in combat. In the fringe area, there are many low-level players and professional players watching the battle. Really, even if they join, they won't be able to help much. Su Chen is also in the spectator camp now. With his level 80, it is not surprising to see him here. Without reaching level 100, entering the battlefield won't help much, as there are fewer and fewer skeleton soldiers. Pato also put away the holy light shield, directly raised his sword, and rushed towards the skeleton army. As Pato charged, other players also ignited their enthusiasm and rushed towards the dwindling skeleton army. After the numerical advantage of skeleton soldiers is reduced, the individual combat effectiveness of level 80 skeleton soldiers is not strong. Facing the onslaught of paladins and players, the skeleton soldiers were slowly wiped out as the last skeleton soldier fell to the ground. One, the player who defeated the skeleton soldier said unconfidently, Yes, young man, we won. It was Pato who patted the player on the shoulder. What followed was a burst of roaring cheers. The players hugged each other and celebrated. And excitement filled everyone. We won. We won. It wasn't just the players on the field cheering. Even low-level players and everyday players who did not participate in the battle were extremely excited at this time. Everyone was jumping with joy. Su Chen felt that he couldn't be so unsociable. Yes, we all win. Thinking about his gains, Su Chen felt that there was nothing wrong with celebrating. So Su Chen also joined the player's jumping celebration. Chapter 102, Help You Rebuild Your Home and Build Automatic Ships. The players were celebrating and a few sporadic sounds broke the joy of the celebration. Ah, the shops were all destroyed. Mine is the same. My shop is in ruins. Fortunately, I reacted quickly and collected all the treasures of the store. Otherwise the loss would be unimaginable. There were many players who slowly came over. Only then did he realize that all the shops that the merchants had bought before had been destroyed by the siege. There was only ruins at the site, with no trace of the bustling business of the past. The players who were watching couldn't help but sigh. But except for the boss, who was given special care by Su Chen, the losses of other bosses were acceptable. Some of their stores did not carry legendary items. But some of them took them back as soon as possible. Some of them reacted so quickly that they even quickly collected epic items. Although the house was destroyed, the land they bought or rented still belonged to them. And rebuilding a shop would not be too expensive. In addition to those shops, Su Chen destroyed all the surrounding infrastructure in order to avoid arousing suspicion. Otherwise, the infrastructure was not destroyed, but only the looted shops were destroyed, which would make people look suspicious. Although this port is not the birthplace, it has been inhabited for a long time, and it looks like this now. This is a siege. The previous player guild town was directly destroyed, and now it is still in ruins. It's really sad to look like this. Many players also sighed with emotion when they saw the town destroyed like this. Although the empire will be rebuilt, the empire's funds are also limited and the rebuilding speed will be relatively slow. At the same time, it will never be able to return to its former prosperity. After all, the empire will also have considerations. Who knows whether this place will be attacked again? Reconstruction also prioritizes the reconstruction of some urban defense buildings. While many functional buildings can only be postponed. I can't stand it anymore. So I donate 100 yuan. Hoping to speed up the reconstruction of this small town. In the crowd, a man wearing a golden mask said, No one doubts that wearing a mask is a very common behavior. After all, there is no shortage of fashionable clothes in online games. Dolls, bears, and rabbits are also very common around. Although he couldn't see clearly what he looked like. Judging from the equipment on his body, he looked like he was below level 100. This person is naturally Su Chen. After all, take it from the people and use it for the people. Seeing the town being destroyed like this, Su Chen also came to aid the small town out of humanitarianism and a little bit of guilt. A player of dozens of levels has such a big heart. I won't go into details, but I will donate 500 gold coins. Immediately, someone was aroused by Su Chen's actions. I'll donate 200. I will also donate 200. I'll donate 800. At the same time, many people immediately donated generously. Naturally, this donation is not donated to those shop owners. 
but directly donated to this small town to speed up urban construction. Seeing this, Su Chen was also very pleased. Soon, Su Chen also withdrew from the crowd. No one would have thought that they had just passed by the instigator of this incident. For him, countless posts about this incident almost flooded the screen. Let those NPCs know what a player is. Even if we are outnumbered, we can hold on to the city. If all players unite, no problem will threaten us. Salute to everyone who defends the city. The best player in the world. God of the dead? Let the siege be more violent. Originally, after the incident escalated and the punishment was increased, many players who rushed there regretted it very much. But after regretting it, the players showed their resilience. Although they were all individual players, they showed a more united and mutually supportive spirit than the elite groups of big guilds. In this battle, everyone helped each other and it was with their help that the city could be defended. As for some shop owners who posted complaints, their posts were submerged in the carnival of players. Even the posts analyzing the actions of the god of the undead were also brushed down by these posts that flooded the screen. In short, after experiencing this incident, the players became more swollen than ever before, feeling that the god of the undead was nothing more than that. The great player Dapi, who has always been sought after by players before, was met with ridicule for his analysis this time. Big P analyzes the current actions of the god of the undead and unites with the army of darkness to attack the city. It is obvious that he is brewing a crisis in which the undead will sweep the world. But with the current mood of players, how can they listen to this? There are still many players who are using the god of the undead to attack the next NPC city. There are NPCs to help defend the city. If they just gather people to go there and trigger the hidden plot, wouldn't it be a waste of two levels? Su Chen also reads some of the discussions from the outside world. But the popular posts are meaningless discussions. Su Chen brushed it for a few minutes. But felt it was boring. So he stopped brushing it. At the same time, Su Chen teleported directly to another remote port city. The cost of the teleportation alone was dozens of gold coins. He had to deal with some goods on hand. So it was naturally better to be farther away. Let's build the ship first. Regarding shipbuilding, Su Chen's choice was also very simple. Some of the shipbuilders among the players are highly skilled, which can improve the overall performance of the ship to a certain extent. There are also master shipbuilders among NPCs, who even have a small chance of adding special features when building high-quality ships. However, Su Chin did not choose either of these. Instead, he rented an automatic shipbuilding workshop for one night, which contained several shipbuilding robots. The price of renting an automatic shipbuilding workshop for one night is not low. The most important thing is that automatic shipbuilding is mediocre and has almost no performance improvement. The reason why we do it this way is because of the origin of these things. Whether you are a player or an NPC, if you are curious and like to investigate, it will also be troublesome then. Besides, these materials are not too precious. Yes, the quality is not low, but it is not irreplaceable. If you want a better ship, all you have to do is launch more monster sieges. Su Chen's current strategic goals have not yet been set on the sea, and going to sea is only an occasional matter. The current ship is a full epic quality and has a legendary bow, which is enough for Su Chen's first trip to sea. The first time most newbies go to sea is to build a bronze class speedboat. Even if you don't do well, you can just sail in a single boat, and the power depends entirely on rowing with both hands. Throw the materials into the shipyard and set the appearance of the ship you want to make. Su Chen also threw in the extra materials. Instead of risking being suspected of shipping the goods, it was better to build some spare ships. Chapter 103 Tracking? Who is chasing whom now? After doing this, Su Chen was a little tired. It was getting late anyway. So Su Chen chose to log off instead of staying in the game. Automatic shipbuilding also takes a certain amount of time. Su Chen can wait until tomorrow to pick it up. Come out of the game cabin. The harvest today was pretty good. Su Chen stretched. Someone once said something about games. There is a way to play with money. And there is a way to play without money. Su Chen thinks this is quite right. I didn't spend a penny today. And the gaming experience was immediately maxed out. No. It cost a hundred? Be cheated. Su Chen suddenly felt a little annoyed when he thought that he actually spent a hundred because of such a small amount of guilt. Anyway, who makes him a good person? After some activity, Su Chen got up from the game cabin, feeling a little hungry. Open the refrigerator. The refrigerator was empty. It seems that we need to purchase some supplies. Su Chen closed the refrigerator door. I simply tidied up and went out. Of course, since he was being watched now, 
Su Chen didn't dare to go out like this. But after merging with Brother Ji, he let Yue stay in the shadow before going out. By the way, after following him for so long, it's time to give an explanation. Su Chen smiled coldly. Now, my lord, tape, at this time, you may appeared out of nowhere, holding a roll of black tape in her hand. In recent days, Su Chen also let Yue learn knowledge about the modern world. After all, you may can't enter the contract space and may have to live in the city for a long time. You, on the other hand, learn pretty quickly. Looking at the explanation in Yumei's hand, Su Chen reluctantly touched Yumei's little head and then took the explanation. By the way, I gave Yumei a lesson before going out. The night wind is a bit cool. Su Chen was wearing a little thin clothing, running at high speed on such a cool night, but she didn't feel the cold. He deliberately didn't suppress him just to see if those people were still following him. Lord, someone is following you. Do you want to? Before Su Chen felt it, you may had already sent a message. Yomei's words shocked Su Chen. He hadn't even felt it yet, but Yume had already felt it. It seemed that Yume's perception was farther away. No, we will run separately in a while. When the time comes, you can throw away the person following you and join me. Su Chen said to Yume. It seemed like this group of people was really determined to find him. In this case, you can't blame him. Slowly, Su Chen ran towards the suburbs. When there were fewer and fewer people, you may also came out at this time and ran in the opposite direction. The other side, two sports cars speeding through the city. One car was driven by a white-haired man. And in the other car, a man and a woman were driven by a bald man. The three of them were all dressed very avant-garde and looked like the kind of cynical rich second generation engaged in a drag racing competition. Actually, the three of them are a supervisory team with special abilities. They use sports cars to chase each other in order to conveniently conceal their identities. Blue Bird was sitting in the passenger seat and was operating the instruments. Team leader, there are two energy points, and these two energy points ran in different directions. At this time, Blue Bird discovered this anomaly and immediately reported the situation. Two? Which one did we track before? Bing Feng pressed his anti-interference headset and asked, reporting to the team leader. I cannot analyze it. The two energy points are almost identical. This is also the first time Bluebird has encountered this situation. I don't believe he can still be separated. Time man, who was driving, said unconvinced. For a moment, Bing Feng felt hesitant. But now that the car was speeding, he couldn't continue to be so entangled and hesitant. After thinking about it, Bing Feng made a decision. Time man, you and Bluebird will chase one as a team and I will chase one alone. If you encounter the opponent, don't fight him. Just press the sensor button given by the inspector immediately. You know? Bing Feng said very carefully. It was precisely because Lin Lin gave him two sensors that Bing Feng dared to make this decision. Got it. Team leader. Tai Man agreed. Afterwards, the two vehicles drove directly apart, heading in two opposite directions. Ten minutes later, the breath sensor suddenly disappeared. Bing Feng stopped the car. This is an abandoned road with no street lights around. But it doesn't have much impact on Bing Feng. A person with superpowers. Wow. Suddenly, there was a sound in the trees not far away. Who is it? Bing Feng also jumped out of the sports car at this time. From his waist, he pulled out a short cold iron blade. And at the same time used his ice ability to turn the dagger into an ice blade. Bing Feng immediately arched his body and slowly leaned over. Of course, the other hand was also pinching the sensor. Once he discovered the other party's existence, he immediately pressed the sensor, which was considered to have completed the task of the inspector. After getting closer, the ice wind had already swept the ice blade across. At this time, the two sparrows on the tree were immediately scared away by him. It turned out to be two birds? Bing Feng relaxed his vigilance a little. Aren't you looking for me? Suddenly, a voice came from not far behind him. Being so surprised, Bing Feng's reaction was half a beat slower. When Bing Feng subconsciously pressed the sensor, a scarlet claw attacked him directly. If Bing Feng forced himself to press the sensor, he would have to resist the attack forcefully. Feeling the opponent's powerful attack momentum, Bing Feng did not dare to carry it with force and could only dodge. But with this dodge, the sensor was snatched away. That little figure was none other than Yumei. After Yumei grabbed the sensor, she didn't stop. Instead, two blood energy chains headed towards Bing Feng. Freeze! Bing Feng did not give up and resisted. The two blood energy chains were briefly frozen. But they still broke through the ice. But with such a buffer, 
Bing Feng had room to escape. After dodging the two blood energy chains, Bing Feng immediately made a judgment. I am not my opponent. And the young man not far away has not taken action yet. This puts tremendous pressure on him. Run! Without any hesitation, Bing Feng immediately made a judgment after feeling that he would not be a match for these two people. But what he didn't know was that both Su Qin and Yu Mei were extremely good at speed. Swift Wind Sword Su Qin drew out his sword and immediately chased him at high speed. Forced to hide. Yu Mei is also hiding in the darkness. Maintaining tremendous psychological pressure. Seeing how fast Su Qin was, Bing Feng condensed an ice shield and jumped into the sports car. Boom! Su Qin smashed an ice shield with one sword. And at the same time directly slashed the tires of the sports car with a sword energy. Chapter 104 Controlling the Ice Wind A Corner of the World's Truth See this? Bing Feng didn't dare to stay any longer and jumped out of the car and ran away. While running, he would also use some powers to interfere with Su Qin's pursuit. Forget it. No more chasing. Su Qin said softly. Su Qin seemed to be talking to himself. But he did not control the volume. So that Bing Feng, a person with keen senses, could hear it. Although I guessed that the other party's words might just distract me. But he couldn't help but look back. I saw that mysterious man actually standing there. Chance thinking that he could finally escape. Bing Feng also accelerated his speed and did not dare to stay any longer. But just because Su Qin stopped chasing, it didn't mean he wouldn't attack. After locking the ice wind as the target, seven phantom sword energies were generated and blasted towards the ice wind. Bing Feng was running when he suddenly felt a dangerous aura. The invisible sword energy brings a huge sense of oppression. Bing Feng didn't dare to run away anymore, but used all his energy to generate a defensive ice shield. Boom! The powerful sword energy exploded directly. This burst of air waves also caused the ice wind to roll several meters away. Bing Feng tried to stand up, but found that his condition was a bit strange. There was a slightly poisoned feeling, and it was quite confusing. And there were still flames on my arms. Fortunately, he has ice powers and can put out fire quickly. Unexpectedly, dark marks are also useful in reality. Su Chen thought as he walked. Quenching. Chaos. Burning. A total of three sword energies hurt Bing Feng, triggering these three states. It is normal for the burning state to be extinguished. After all, it takes ten layers to trigger the immortal true fire. Da da da. Seeing the mysterious man slowly approaching him, Bing Feng wanted to run away. But being in a state of confusion and being injured, it was difficult for him to stand up. However, out of inner fear, Bing Feng still used his hands and feet to crawl back. Su Chen approached him step by step as fast as walking. Although Su Qin walked slowly, every step brought huge psychological pressure to Bing Feng. It was Inspector Lin's idea to follow you. I was just following the order. Seeing that he couldn't escape, Bing Feng defended in horror. Before Su Qin could speak, Yu Mei suddenly appeared from the darkness, and the little devil's wings behind her flapped angrily. How dare you follow the Lord? This is an unforgivable crime. Yu Mei's fangs are slowly growing longer. Seeing this scene, Bing Feng people were frightened. Look at me, Su Chen said slowly, with a hint of gentleness in his tone. Looking at him, Bing Feng was a little confused. Yes, look directly at me like this. Su Chen spoke again. There was an unbreakable will in his tone. Although it is already night, Bing Feng, as a superpower, has pretty good night vision. After meeting Su Chen's gaze, Bing Feng was stunned. What kind of eyes are those? It is deeper than the night, more dazzling than the stars and more difficult to extricate than falling into the abyss. Bing Feng's gaze could no longer be moved away. His expression alternated between struggling and giggling. And then ferocious. Su Qin just looked at his changes with an expressionless face. A few minutes later, Bing Feng finally returned to normal. You? What did you do to me? Bing Feng looked at his hands, and found that nothing had changed on his body. It's nothing. You can go. Su Qin stood with his hands behind his back. Although Bing Feng didn't understand why, he must run as fast as he could. He didn't want to stay with this man any longer. Bing Feng struggled to get up and ran away in the opposite direction. After running for a few minutes, I found that the other party had not caught up. Stop! At this moment, a voice came out of nowhere. But how could he stop just when he said stop? Immediately, he wanted to speed up his escape. He would be safe as long as he returned to the supervisory committee. Although that person is strong. There are many strong people in the supervisory committee but he knelt on the ground without taking a few steps. He felt a huge pressure. He felt that this pressure could easily destroy him even if it wanted to. 
If you are asked to go, you can go naturally. If you are asked to stop, why should you go? At this time, Su Chen appeared from beside him. You, despicable. Ding Feng naturally understood what was going on. He was being controlled. But after he cursed, he felt that the pressure became stronger, causing him to roll on the spot. This is not under my control. You are too hostile to me. Please relax. Su Chen Pi said with a smile. Sure enough. According to Su Chen's words, after Bing Feng did it, the pressure immediately disappeared. This is not me being mean. You came to pry into my life first. This is just self-defense. Su Chen looked at Bing Feng and put away his smile. Go ahead. Tell me everything you know. He still knows too little about the super world. Bing Feng actually came to his door. So he wouldn't be polite. Compared with torture. Su Chen felt that even if a newcomer like him was cheated, he would not know it. Only by being captivating could he ensure that the other party would not lie. All the questions in Su Chen's mind were directly transmitted through the control link established by the two of them. Bing Feng listened to Su Chen's questions. Most of them were common sense questions. This has to make Bing Feng suspect that this mysterious man is a newbie? However, people had to bow their heads under the eaves. And Bing Feng knew that he could not deceive the other party. Thinking about the kind of pressure he had just received just for being disrespectful, it was extremely easy for the other party to judge whether he was lying. And they could only answer honestly. After some questions and answers, Su Chen had a clearer understanding of the world. There are many sects in this world, as well as even more mysterious families. The Supervisory Committee is an organization that protects this world from being discovered by ordinary people. No wonder. My previous life's understanding of this super world was almost blank. The last time I reached level 60, it was equivalent to one year of skill. In other words, level 1 in the game is equivalent to one year of skill. Su Chen also learned from Bing Feng that the power systems of the two worlds had something in common. However, skill is not the measure of all combat effectiveness. For a legendary boss like Yume, only the super geniuses of those worlds can match the same skill in reality. Moreover, there are not many guys in the family who have a hundred years of skill or more. As for whether it is higher or not, there is no way to know based on Bing Feng's status. This ice wind is also a bit interesting. On the surface, he is a small figure at the level of team leader of the supervisory committee in a city. But secretly, he is a pawn laid by the hidden John family in the supervisory committee. As for the purpose of that exhibitor, Bing Feng will only know after the mission is completed. Chapter 105 That Lord is just a man who loves sex and wine. Su Chin is extremely happy now that he made this decision tonight. According to his previous mentality, he would only think that it would be okay to develop in the game and wait for the game to come. If it weren't for understanding the vastness of this hidden super world, maybe before the game comes, if you encounter a world boss with sensitive perception, you will just kill it. By the way, how much do you know that the game capabilities of New World can be brought to reality? Su Chen also thought of this problem. New World is indeed miraculous. It can speed up the speed of real-life cultivation. As for bringing it to reality, I have never heard of it. Bing Feng shook his head. Su Chen could sense Bing Feng's inner fluctuations. And Bing Feng didn't lie in his answer. Through Bing Feng, Su Chen felt that he had understood the tip of the iceberg of the super world. But it was far from enough. After thinking about it, Su Chen summoned a skeleton soldier. The sudden appearance of the skeleton soldier startled Bing Feng and put him on alert. But after seeing the skeleton soldier motionless, as if he was obeying someone's instructions, look at the expression of the mysterious man. Bing Feng understood immediately. And it seemed that he was obeying him. How much do you know about this kind of thing? Su Chen asked. This is also a point Su Chen wants to understand. He wanted to know whether things like skeleton soldiers would be regarded as aliens like demons the kind that everyone could kill. This should only be used by warlocks in the West. I once saw Western warlocks use it in a secret battlefield. We in the East don't have such a thing. Bing Feng shook his head. Oh, so what is the attitude of most people towards this kind of thing? After Su Chen checked that Bing Feng was not lying, he continued to ask. It might seem a little strange to us in the East, but as long as you don't do evil things, few people will care about it. In the West, some members of the Holy See will take the initiative to kill them. Bing Feng answered with his understanding. Su Chen nodded. It seemed that skeleton soldiers should be used sparingly. Unless it is like today. Where you are sure to destroy the opponent or control the opponent. Don't use it easily. But, sir, I have seen that the skeletons summoned by western warlocks are all of low strength. Why do I feel that they are not much weaker than me? 
Anyone who was disrespectful to this mysterious man would be suppressed by that power. So Bing Feng spoke again and changed his name to a name he could accept. Don't ask if you shouldn't ask, Su Chen said coldly, while taking back the skeleton soldiers. Yes, Bing Feng lowered his head, breaking out in a cold sweat. At this moment, Bing Feng's headset vibrated, and a call came in. Catch, Su Chen said calmly. Bing Feng didn't dare to hesitate and connected immediately. I heard that you found traces of that person. Why didn't you press the sensor I gave you? On the other end of the phone was Lin Lin, the inspector who arranged this arrangement. As soon as he heard this voice, Bing Feng immediately became furious. If it weren't for this woman, how could he have ended up in this situation? Sorry, Inspector Lin. I originally wanted to press it, but lost it halfway. But on the surface, Bing Feng still responded politely. What a waste, Lin Lin said coldly and hung up the call. There was a nameless anger in Bing Feng's heart, but it was difficult to vent it in front of the mysterious man in front of him. Was she the one who asked you to track me? Su Chen naturally listened to everything and said with a smile, Tell me, who is she? She is the new inspector and is taking the lead this time. Despite her age of 37 or 89, she has a very well-maintained face and a well-maintained figure. She usually likes to wear professional skirts and black. When Bing Feng heard that he was asked to introduce, he immediately spoke in a sales tone. It's all because of the inspector that he's like this now. With the power of the mysterious man in front of him. If he is interested in her, she is being controlled. So Lin Lin can't even think of escaping. Drag them all down. Stop. Am I asking you to introduce these? Am I like that kind of person? As Su Chen listened, he felt something was wrong. This time, Bing Feng became more honest and told everything he knew about Lin Lin including the fact that Lin Lin investigated and found out his true identity. In other words, she has a certain background and knows more things. Right? Su Chen grasped the point of the matter. At present, Bing Feng's status is too low and he knows too few things. Even if it is the chess piece of the Hidden World Exhibition family, who knows how many such chess pieces there are? Hearing that the mysterious man was interested in Lin Lin, Bing Feng naturally nodded like a chicken pecking at rice. Then Lin Lin, don't even think about running away. Okay, but you need to find out more about her and find an opportunity to lure her out without attracting other people's attention. Su Chen felt that this matter still needed to be considered in the long run. After all, Lin Lin is much stronger than Bing Feng. While he was improving his strength, he was also making arrangements to ensure that he could catch her smoothly. By the way, what you said before. Is it true? Su Chen added another question. What you said before. Bing Feng was stunned for a moment, then remembered what he had been interrupted before, and suddenly showed an understanding smile. My lord, what I say is true. I even fought against her. Bing Feng showed a flattering smile. Okay, remember what I gave you. Go back now, and don't let anyone see the flaw. Just follow me, and I won't treat you badly. Su Chen smiled and waved his hand. I drew a big pie. Bing Feng also resigned and planned to go back to heal his injuries first. By the way, what is your game ID for, New World? But just as Bing Feng turned around, Su Chen asked again, thousands of miles of ice. Although he didn't understand why the adult asked this, Bing Feng still answered honestly, thousands of miles of ice? Su Chen silently memorized this name so that he could use it if needed. Seeing that the adult had no other instructions, Bing Feng resigned. As for the cake painted by Su Chen, Bing Feng actually didn't pay much attention to it. The exhibitor also painted a big cake for him. In reality, it's not like we were wasting our time in a small place. There's no difference at all. Now it is nothing more than changing from the Jean family's chess piece to this adult's chess piece. It doesn't matter whether the pie is fulfilled or not. The most important thing is to make that bitch Lin Lin pay the price. Unexpectedly, that gentleman looked sanctimonious. But he was actually a man who loved sex and wine. Bing Feng thought half of it and didn't dare to continue thinking about it. Disrespect to that lord will result in torture let alone such slanderous remarks. But after waiting for a while, the pressure didn't come. Could it be that it was malfunctioning? That adult is a fool. Bing Feng did an experiment and cursed in his heart. But then a sudden pressure hit him, causing him to roll on the ground for several minutes before he recovered. It doesn't seem to be malfunctioning. But why is such excessive slander not punished? Chapter 106 Set off to the Lost Sea and chase the pirates in turn. Wow. Oh you oh you. The waves crashed in the harbor and seagulls also circled in the sky. It's been a long time since I went to sea. 
Su Chen walked towards the port, feeling a little emotional in his heart, in order to prevent his boat from being spotted by too many people. Su Chen chose the seaport with the fewest people and got up early in the morning. At this time, there were quite a few people at the port. However, most of them are trading ships, which can be regarded as a trading method. There are not only NPC trade caravans, but also trade caravans formed by players. Of course, there are also individual people who make a little money by using speedboats to transport bulk goods. Large trading ships are usually caravans. If a speedboat runs fast, it might be able to escape when it encounters pirates, but it will be difficult for a large trading ship to escape. Usually, it will bring a warship to escort it and fight the pirates when necessary. Su Chen was not very interested in doing business by sea. He preferred fishing. However, time is tight and it is difficult to have that leisure time. Su Chen shook his head. At the same time, he also released his own ship. When we picked up the boat in the morning, the flag on the sail was still blank because Su Chen didn't belong to any force. He just painted the Crescent Kingdom's logo casually, which can be regarded as a common graffiti among casual people. This boat is a small to medium-sized boat. The reason why he didn't make a small speedboat was because the defense was too poor. He grabbed a defensive epic component and didn't even have room to install it. A small to medium-sized warship could barely absorb all those materials. At the same time, Su Chen also purchased a hundred low-level puppet crew members with basic driving skills. Su Chen did not expect the skeleton soldiers to be able to drive the ship. Let's set off and aim for Liberty Island. Su Chen was also full of confidence. Afternoon. When setting off in the morning, Su Chen was full of enthusiasm. However, after half a day of sailing, Su Chen was so bored that he yawned. At first, Su Chen drove the boat himself and encountered some fleets or individual boats along the way. But when entering the Lost Sea area, there are basically no other ships in sight. As for the sea view, there is nothing good to see. The sea is all water. Moreover, there is thick fog of war in the Lost Sea area, and visibility is very low. Su Chen was already lying on the deck chair, letting the stupid puppet steer the boat. Anyway, as long as it didn't deviate from the channel he set, it would be fine. Yume was beside him, squeezing his legs. It's so boring. It would be nice to take a ghost ship to pass the time. Su Chen yawned. Wow! At this moment, Su Chen felt something approaching him. It's not really a ghost ship. Is it? I'm just talking. Besides, this is still the edge of the Lost Sea. Su Chen cheered up, getting up from the recliner. Su Chen looked at the radar. As an epic radar, it performs quite well even in the fog of war. The speed is very fast. Not like a ghost ship. And the two are approaching like horns. Su Chen frowned. He knew the ghost ship relatively well. The ghost ship was a large ship and would not be so fast. The radar showed that it came from above the sea, not from the sea or the sky. So such a speed is usually only achieved by small boats. Pirate? Su Chen had a guess in his mind. On the sea surface of the Lost Sea, in addition to ghost ships, there are also pirate forces. The pirate force is very complex, including NPCs and players. Among their talents is the ability to reduce the impact of the fog of war. With such a passive talent, even the big guilds would not dare to clash with pirate forces in the Lost Seas. Every time the pirate forces go out to sea to rob, if they hit the Iron Plate, they will immediately choose to retreat back to the Lost Sea. Boom! At this time, a harpoon hit Su Chen's warship. Interesting. Su Chen couldn't help laughing after seeing it. Su Chen immediately released the puppet crew. Shoot in the direction of the hook lock. Su Chen directly ordered the puppet crew to control the ship's artillery to attack directly. There are a total of eight cannons on the warship, all of which are epic level. This is why Su Chen gave up speedboats and built small and medium-sized warships. There is no way a speedboat can carry so many cannons. Such a small character. Su Chen was too lazy to fight with skeleton soldiers and ships. Boom! 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 Following Su Chen's instructions, the puppet crew fired directly in the direction of the hook lock. Later, this ship looked good, so we wanted directly for him. The caravan didn't grab it today, but they didn't expect to grab a ship of good quality. They could sell it for a cent immediately after taking it. The two pirate players at the back were happily communicating. While the two were laughing, they suddenly discovered an attack from the front. The two people quickly drove the boat to avoid it, and at the same time activated the defense device on the boat. However, the opponent's artillery fire is like free bombing. In such a dense situation, even if their position is good, 
they will still be hit. Boom. As people who eat, their ships are very strong and equipped with gold level defense devices. But when it was hit by just one shot, one of them's boat was shattered into pieces. Another person saw this situation and made a prompt decision to cut off the hook lock. At the same time, turn around and avoid this bombing area. The swimming skills of the pirates were at least intermediate. After the manned ship was blown to pieces, he tried to escape by diving. But the power of the explosion killed him instantly in the water. Seeing this situation, the man felt that the other party was not easy to mess with. So he moved around to the flank. But Su Chen had no intention of letting him go. And moved the bombing area to the flank. Stop! The pirate player was very angry. Although a damaged boat can be repaired, the more damage it causes, the higher the cost of repairs will be. And it depends on the condition of your companions. The cost of repairing his ship is probably not much different from the cost of rebuilding the ship. Pirate players sound majestic. But only they themselves know the actual suffering. The only source of income, besides robbery, is fishing. Although there are some other miscellaneous things, such as planting on islands. The money is very meager, whether robbing or fishing. You need a boat. Su Chen shot directly hit the guy they were eating. Su Chen ignored the pirate player's words and instead turned the ship around to pursue the pirate player. I'm from the Wang Yang pirate group. And our pirate group is fishing right in front. Don't force me to ask them to surround you. The pirate player said angrily when he saw that his ship was about to be blown to pieces. In fact, he had secretly informed him just now. He said this just to delay time. He had no intention of letting Su Chen go. As a pirate, what is it like to be bullied at sea? Chapter 107, 100 Ship Fleet You like fishing, right? Wangong Pirate Group? Originally, Su Chen just planned to play with these two little pirates. But when he heard the name, he was stunned. He once loved fishing and was a man who aspired to become the fishing king. But his dream was shattered by these pirates. Especially this vast pirate group. This pirate group is very rubbish. How rubbish is it? Their winning rate against large caravans at sea is less than 10%. And even some medium-sized caravans can chase them and beat them like dogs. The main source of income for this poby salted fish pirate group is fishing. You heard that right. A pirate group whose main source of income is fishing. Just don't call it a pirate group. Call it a fishing group. The most annoying thing is that the good fishing spots outside Law Sea are occupied by them all day long. And because of their rich fishing experience, they are very skilled in all fishing shipping areas. And while fishing themselves, they also grab some individual fishing boats. The strength of their pirate group is low. And they do not have the strength to settle on Liberty Island at all. They can only find some uninhabited islands on the periphery of the Lost Sea as bases. Su Chen's fishing boat in his previous life was hit by them many times until he gave up after being hit. Su Chen directly pushed away a puppet crew member and set up the cannon himself. Seeing that the opponent's artillery fire showed signs of stagnation, the pirates of the Wang Yang pirate group felt a little proud. It seemed that the other party had been frightened by him. Although the Wang Yang pirate group is not a powerful pirate group. To Sanren, it is more terrifying than those powerful pirate groups. Powerful pirate groups don't even bother to rob people. They only rob large caravans and the like. As for the Wang Yang pirate group, they saw that the caravan was submissive and encountered the existence of Sanren who attacked hard. It's just useless. I have already informed the boss in them. The pirate smiled proudly. But the next moment, a cannonball hit him very accurately. He had already lowered his vigilance. But he didn't react and was shot directly. Suddenly, his ship, like his companions, was blown apart. However, Su Chen felt that it was not enough to relieve his anger. So he fired several more shots here and asked the puppet crew to bomb the area. It didn't stop until there was no residue left. But this is not the end. Su Chen had no intention of letting go of this pirate group that ruined his dream of being the fishing king. You like fishing, right? Wang Yang fishing group. I'll let you fish. Su Chen thought. Directly summon all 100 large ships. At the same time, summon heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The initial summon is 2 million heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The level is the same as the summoner's current level. It can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume all 2 million skeleton soldiers. And the proportion of elite troops will be increased at the next level. Start evolution. Su Chen didn't hesitate and directly chose to evolve. Select the template. Ghost of Darkness. At the same time, Su Chen also chose a template. Ghost of Darkness. After using this template, 
The skeleton core will dodge plus 50. This template was produced by the Legion of Darkness. Su Chen thought it was good and kept it. Take a look at the current skill status. Summon heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The initial summon is 2 million heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The level is the same as the summoner's current level. It can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume all 2 million skeleton soldiers. And the proportion of elite troops will be increased at the next level. I don't know why. But there is only one evolutionary route so far. Which is just to increase the proportion of elite troops. Is it necessary to increase to a certain elite level before a new evolutionary route can be opened? But for Su Chen, it's okay. Since the current consumption speed can be considered as keeping up. When you get to Liberty Island, there will be a big battle. He summoned some skeleton soldiers on the big ship, looking for additional elite troops. Name, Heavy Skeleton Gunner. Level, Level 80. Limit Life Limit, 11,000. Maximum Strength, 200. Strength, 680. Agility, 350. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 300. Movement Speed, 300. Attack Attack Speed, 200. Dodge, 50. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, artillery. Heavy artillery. Name, heavy skeleton shield. Level, level 80. Limit life limit, 23,000. Maximum strength, 500. Strength, 800. Agility, 30. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 1,000. Movement speed, 50. Attack attack speed, 30. Dodge, 50. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skill, Shield Defense Array. This time, only two elite units have been added. Moreover, the skills of these two arms are very rare, which pales in comparison to the seven skills of the previous Skeleton Scout. Two gunners and one giant shield. Su Chen planned to see first what use these two guys had. Su Chen directly sent out several giant shields. These giant shields were like giant skeletons. Very huge in size. Their own shields can withstand many attacks. After turning on the Shield Defense Array, Ripples appeared between the shields and connected together. Su Chen tested it and found that it could even withstand magic damage. The gunner's attack is more simple and straightforward. It's the fire suppression of heavy artillery. Although the skills are simple, they are quite practical. This surprised Su Chen. Su Chen slowly began to understand why evolution was not increasing the number, but increasing the proportion of elite units. The soldiers are not numerous, but refined. And Su Chen clearly felt that the original proportion of elites was slowly increasing. Although the main body is still ordinary skeleton soldiers. Elite soldiers have become a significant proportion. 100 large ships were quickly filled with skeleton soldiers. Under Su Chen's mobilization, the ship was divided into a melee ship and a long-range ship. And the sailors were puppet crews. Moreover, Su Chen equipped each ship with a giant shield. This thing has really high defense and a large defensive area. Let it protect some key power components of the boat which can significantly improve the overall strength of the boat. If you like fishing, just wait for me. Su Chen organized a fleet of hundreds of large ships, sailing in the direction pointed by the little pirate just now. Su Chen has always been relatively calm, but facing this Wanyang fishing group that ruined his dream of becoming the fishing king in his previous life is an unforgivable crime. I will smash all your ships, just like you smash my ship. Good pirates don't rob caravans and fish every day. The boats are all gone. Let me see if you are swimming to catch fish. Su Chen smiled ferociously. This scene made Yumei next to her shrink involuntarily. This was even more terrifying than the way she sucked blood from others. Chapter 108 This little ghost ship still dares to engage in a boarding battle? Wangyang Pirate Group More than a dozen ships were docked on the sea. Despite the fog of war, this group of people didn't care at all. The king of fishing sloth is sitting on the largest fishing boat, holding a fishing rod, sitting on the deck and fishing quietly. From his ID, Fishing King Sloth. It can be seen that he is a man who inspires to become the Fishing King. After he learned that the pirate's innate skills could not only increase water resistance, but also reduce the fog of war and provide a bonus to boating proficiency, he resolutely became a pirate. Switching to a pirate job requires a certain level of sin points. In order to become a pirate, he was clean of bad things. He grabbed a lollipop in the noble kindergarten and also grabbed Siong in the corner of the palace. He committed such a heinous crime and immediately changed his job as a pirate after meeting the requirements to change his job. As one of the first pirates to change jobs in this game, he did not join any of those powerful groups. He chose to form this vast pirate group with two or three fishing friends. 
after such a long time. He could clearly understand the fishing spots in the foggy areas. Few other pirates were so focused on fishing. So their pirate group also became the dominant fishing force. Boss, Mengzi, they said. At this time, a person ran over. Shoo! The fishing king sloth made a hissing gesture. How many times have I said that we fishermen should keep our minds calm and not be impatient in everything? Fishing king sloth taught me a few words. What's up? After waiting for a while, the fishing king sloth looked at him and said slowly, Mengzi and the others planned to go out to rob the scattered people, but they met a single player sailing in the lost sea. Seeing that his ship was well equipped, Mengzi and the others planned to rob him, but that man was not easy to mess with, and he smashed the boats of Mengzi and the others. The man finally said in rapid succession, The same goes for Mengzi and the others. Fishing makes so much money. So why do they think about robbing all day long? The fishing king sloth muttered. This made the younger brother a little speechless. This boss is really straightforward. We are also pirates after all. What's the point of fishing all day long? Although it is indeed the same as what the boss said. Fishing is indeed more profitable. Thanks to Wang Sloth's leadership. Their income from fishing is sometimes several times what they earn from working in real life. This is also the reason why so many people, after being full of ambitions to become pirates, still insist on staying in this pirate group when faced with such a sense of contrast. As the game time goes by, the number of pirate groups increases. These people are not accepted by the big pirate group. The small pirate group is keen on robbing every day. If they win, they will make money. If they lose, they will lose ship repair fees and equipment levels. At the end of a month, sometimes it's not about how much money you make, but how much you lose. After all, I might as well go fishing with the Wangyang pirate group. But after all, you are still a pirate in name only. If you go out to do something occasionally, you can't force others not to do it. That? The younger brother asked with some uncertainty. Let them send you the coordinates. And you can take a few ships to chase them. The fishing king sloth waved his hand, and made a decision. Although he felt that people like Mingzi were simply thinking about robbing all day long for no reason. They were still members of the pirate group after all, and could not be bullied into silence. They are a pirate group in name, and robbing is what they should do. We can't let them stop robbing. Due to the slow nature of the fishing king sloth, it took several minutes to make such a decision. After dealing with this matter, the fishing king sloth is ready to continue to concentrate on fishing. But at this time, the calm sea began to have waves. Is something approaching? Boss. Boats. Many big boats are coming towards us. Suddenly, the little brother, who was about to lead people to support came running back. Ghost ship? The fishing king sloth frowned. Ghost ships often wander around in the sea. And they are considered frequent visitors. But other ships may encounter it, and may not be able to do anything about it. But they are pirates. They have a natural sense of danger in navigation. And their sailing speed is also increased. Withdraw? The fishing king sloth doesn't care about the previous player at this time. So he will sneak away first. Soon, the entire Wanyang pirate group fled in the opposite direction. The speed of those ships obviously made it impossible to catch up with them. It seems to be just an ordinary ghost ship. Just when the fishing king sloth was feeling proud, he suddenly felt something was wrong. Sea fog exploration. The fishing king sloth immediately used his skills. From front to back and left and right, he spotted large ships approaching them. Surrounded? When did the ghost ship become so smart? Prepare to break out? The fishing king sloth also made a decision immediately. The Wangyang pirate group immediately moved forward at full speed. Soon, they encountered no fewer than ten large ships. These ships are large in size. But if you look closely, you will find that they are relatively shabby and ordinary ships. Fire! After the fishing king sloth discovered it, he also took the initiative to attack. Boom! Dozens of SH. LS flew out. However, sea artillery battles are inherently difficult to aim. Not to mention the effect of the fog of war in the lost seas. Even though the impact on pirates will be reduced, it does not mean that there is no impact. Only two of the dozens of SH. LS landed on the ship. Clang. However, the cannonballs seem to be directly blocked by something. The distance is too far. Even the fishing king sloth can't see what it is. But soon, those big ships also fought back. Countless arrows and magic balls were densely blasted towards them. What's going on? Doesn't the ghost ship only attack with the weapons of the ship itself? Seeing this dense attack, the fishing king sloth felt numb for a while. For a time, the Wangyang pirate group's battle losses gradually increased. That's not all. 
Boss, there are two ghost ships approaching us. And they are about to dock with us. A younger brother said immediately. Can ghost ships still engage in boarding battles? The fishing king sloth was dumbfounded. According to past experience, the ghost ship absorbs some floating ghosts as crew members, which makes the ghost ship only stronger than the ghost ship itself. Once it is forced into a boarding battle, no matter how powerful the ghost ship is, it will basically win more than half of it. The ghost ship itself also has a certain degree of consciousness and is clearly aware of this. It has been bombarding it with firepower and preventing the opponent from getting close to engage in a boarding battle. I have never heard of a ghost ship taking the initiative to engage in a boarding battle. Rush aboard the ghost ship. The fishing king sloth also made a decision immediately. Since the ghost ship dared to take the initiative to engage in a boarding battle, they would naturally engage in the battle. Except for some legendary ghost ships that have captain level bosses. The ghosts on ordinary ghost ships are very weak. Even if their main job is fishing and their side job is pirates, they can win. Chapter 109 After the ghost ship, a new skeleton ship comes. The Wangyang pirate group saw a glimmer of possibility and all rushed towards the ghost ship docked. Su Chen, who was in the distance, really wanted to control the skeleton and rush forward, but found that the pirates rushed forward instead. This made Su Chen directly order the skeleton soldiers to hide. If they couldn't hide, they would just take them back. At this time, the pirates also rushed onto the ship. What about the ghost crew? There isn't a single monster. What's going on? No matter what. Rush to the control room and destroy the core of the ghost ship first. A group of pirates immediately rushed into the ship. The pirates were divided into two groups and boarded two ships respectively. After getting the information, the fishing king sloth also chose a big boat and rushed on. Destroy these two ships first and then engage in a boarding battle with other ghost ships. Let's fight quickly. The fishing king sloth immediately issued the command order. After a while. Ah, it's skeletons. There are so many. Run quickly. I'm ambushed. There are skeleton soldiers in front of them. And there are skeleton soldiers behind them too. There is no way to escape. After the pirates entered the interior of the ship, Su Chen immediately had a large number of skeleton soldiers reappear. This pirate group, which mainly focuses on fishing, has very average actual combat capabilities. Even a medium-sized trading caravan can defeat them. After they were lured deep into the enemy's territory, there was naturally no possibility of breaking out. Su Chen didn't even lose too many skeleton soldiers and got rid of them directly. What kind of ghost ship is this? This is a skeleton ship. The fishing king sloth can't figure out why there are not only ghost ships, but also skeleton ships in the Lost Sea. Compared to the ghost ship's weak boarding battle, the skeleton ship's boarding combat capability is simply terrifying. And in terms of long-range attacks, the skeleton ship is not inferior. Soon, the fishing king sloth was also surrounded by skeletons and died. Smash it for me. Su Chen was still angry, looking at this pirate group that once made him give up his dream of being the fishing king in his previous life. Su Chen couldn't just let them go. Whether it was their normal boats or fishing boats, they were all smashed by him. All the fishing rods were broken by them. Feeling comfortable. Looking at the pile of junk floating on the sea. Su Chen also felt comfortable. This pirate group just likes to fish. And the most important thing is to steal fish from other people. Stop calling them pirates. Call them fish pirates. At that time, many people denounced them. But they just said that it was their original sin to be weak. Now, Su Chen smashed their boat and returned their words to them. This way it completely destroyed their boat. And they probably won't be able to fish for a while but they have money, and it shouldn't take much time to rebuild a fleet. I hope that when I come back, I can meet them again and smash them again. Su Chen finally vented his anger. However, this pirate group was really weak. Su Chen even planned to destroy them by losing several ships. But in the end, he didn't lose a single ship. Who knew that as soon as they saw the boarding battle, they all rushed onto the ship. This made Su Chen's battle damage estimates all in vain. This wave is not only revenge but also a test of the current combat capabilities of the skeleton ship. Anyway, the sailing journey continues. Forum. After the ghost ship, a skeleton ship appeared again in the Lost Sea. With pictures, read the full text and unlock it with five gold coins. The fishing king sloth got quick thinking at that time. And after the previous member said there were skeletons, he started taking screenshots. After all, if you haven't seen something before, it's always a good idea to take a screenshot first. After learning that the boat had been smashed, 
The fishing king sloth was very angry. But he immediately thought of a way. You can make a fortune from these pictures and use them as funds to rebuild your fleet. The forum supports the posting of paid images. And they are protected by special means so that they cannot be stolen and reposted. Sure enough, someone quickly bought this article. Wow, I thought it was a bluff. But it's really a skeleton ship. The poster is not lying. But the skeletons on this skeleton boat look familiar to me from side to side? I haven't felt it until you told me. But once you said it, I felt a little familiar. Overthinking. The skeletons are all the same. So why would they look familiar? Indeed, don't all skeletons look like that? Suddenly, many players who purchased the set of pictures were discussing below. These discussions also attract more people. This skeleton ship seems to be difficult to deal with in close combat and long range. The ghost ship can use multiple speedboats to engage in boarding battles. I beg you, the boss, to study how to fight the skeleton ship. Our caravan will be very grateful. My caravan has a route that will briefly pass through the Lost Sea, hoping not to encounter this kind of skeleton ship. It's understandable that a ghost ship appears in the Lost Sea. But is it reasonable for a skeleton ship to appear? They are all undead. There is nothing unreasonable about this. This matter is also fermenting on the forum. However, this also made the fishing king sloth not expect that with the increase in popularity, their speed of rebuilding the fleet would also speed up. Time is slowly turning into night. If we keep going like this, we will probably be able to reach Liberty Island tomorrow. Su Chen estimated the time. At present, his sailing speed is still relatively fast. Although the big ships are of jump quality, his small boats are made of full epic quality. The bow is even more legendary. And its characteristics also increase sailing speed. Regardless of whether it was a tailwind or a headwind, or even a storm, it had little effect on Su Chen's boat. For long sailing journeys, the wind direction is the most important thing to pay attention to. Just like in a storm, it is impossible to move forward at all. And you must drive carefully against the wind. But for Su Chen, his boat can move forward rain or shine. Beep. At this moment, the self-driving puppet crew sounded the alarm. Su Chen went over and looked at the radar. It seems to be a ghost ship of high quality. It seems that ghost ships begin to appear frequently at night. Su Chen frowned. I wanted to log off and hide for a while but found that the ghost ship had discovered my ship and emitted a special magnetic field. Within the ghost ship's special magnetic field, it is basically in a combat state and can be offline. But the character cannot go offline, and the ship cannot be taken back. Not only ghost ships, but also player ships can be equipped with magnetic field interference devices to make ships within a certain range enter a combat state and cannot be recovered. Therefore, the cost of naval warfare is very high. For the losing side, it would be difficult to save the ship. Which is why even the Grand Guild would not easily invest huge combat power in the ocean. Unless your ship is very fast. You can at least outrun it if you can't defeat it. This is still very useful for preserving combat effectiveness. Only those caravans make money mainly from maritime trade and must ensure combat effectiveness on the sea. Chapter 110 Can this ghost ship be captured? Slowly, the ghost ship approached. The momentum of the ghost ship is still very oppressive and the sails are nihilistic black. Originally, the fog of war around it was relatively thick, but there was still a certain amount of fog surrounding the ghost ship, and the green light emitting from the hull made people feel chilly. The dilapidated hull looks quaint. Could this be an ancient ghost ship? When Su Chen saw this look, it was obviously not ordinary. Out of curiosity, Su Chen chose to check directly. Name, Ancient Ghost Ship. Level, 130. Skill, Unknown. It's true. And it's level 130. When Su Chen saw the scene, he couldn't help but frown. How to fight this? Su Chen was a little embarrassed. This was too strong. This ghost ship will not be easy even if a first class guild comes. And it can't be a first class guild that operates and develops on land. It has to be involved in the sea area. After all, naval battles are basically shipbuilding. You don't want me to go home. This kind of ancient ghost ship is very difficult to escape because it can teleport. This is the most unsolvable. Since there is no way to escape, we can only forcefully fight. The only chance is to engage in a boarding battle. Su Chen's thinking was very clear. He only has a hundred big ships. If he doesn't get into a boarding battle, this ancient ghost ship can blow up all of his hundred big ships. The ship was blown up. And no matter how many skeleton soldiers he had, they would be useless in this sea area. Only by boarding the ghost ship can he charge with an almost endless force of skeleton soldiers to destroy the target. 
Su Chen waved his hand and summoned all 50 ships. Like the fishing group before, Su Chen chose to surround the ancient ghost ship. The reason why all the ships are not summoned is because the ships cannot be collected in the combat state. And the ancient skeleton ships will teleport at least once. If a hundred ships surrounded it, the ancient ghost ship would teleport and be kite without having to play anymore. At the same time, all warships, whether they were melee skeleton ships or long-range skeleton ships, were desperately attacking the ancient ghost ship. Because regardless of whether the skeleton ship is close combat or long-range, as long as it is docked, it can use it as a medium to continuously summon skeleton soldiers to attack. At this time, as the skeleton fleet continued to approach, the ancient ghost ship began to attack. The ancient ghost ship's attack method also uses cannon fire, but compared with the cannons of ordinary ships. The cannonballs fired by the ancient ghost ship are green ghost cannonballs. These ghost projectiles track automatically. It's not that it's completely unavoidable. The ghost's tracking ability is still weak and can only be corrected once. However, these requirements are very high for the captain's skills and the basic speed and flexibility parameters of the ship. But for the skeleton fleet, the ship's technology is also poor. So there is basically no need to think about hiding. Ghost cannonballs have a characteristic that they will attack targets on the ship first, rather than the ship itself. This makes the charge of the skeleton fleet smoother. There is no need to hide anyway. Just let the skeletons carry it. But it's not like there's no boating at all. Soon, many ships were sunk. This situation eased a bit after the ancient ghost ship entered the range of the skeleton fleet. The dense attacks are also constantly consuming the ghost crew on the ancient ghost ship. Su Chen's order was to attack the ghost crew and defend them with level 130 ancient ghost ships. This level of long-range firepower could not cause strong damage even in large quantities. In a strong collision with the defenses of the ancient ghost ship, the ships of the skeleton fleet must be the first to be sunk. There is no need to think about it. On the contrary, due to the frequent crowding of ghost crews and the replacement problem of ghost crews, this must have reduced the firepower intensity of the ancient ghost ship. The gap where the firepower stops allows the skeleton fleet to approach more quickly. The distance between the ancient ghost ship and the skeleton fleet is getting closer step by step. At this time, the ancient ghost ship used its skills. Many ghost warriors appeared on the sea. These ghost warriors could float directly on the sea and drift towards the ships at the same time. This move is very annoying for players who want to engage in boarding battles. Because the ghost warrior itself has a certain immunity to physical attacks, coupled with its high agility, its level is also high. It is very difficult for players to deal with ghost warriors floating on the warships of players who are preparing to approach. This trick is invincible against ordinary players. But against the skeleton ship, it's different. Those ghost warriors, as long as they floated on the skeleton ship, they became lost in the sea. Without making any waves, they were submerged by the skeleton soldiers on the ship. These ghost warriors did not hinder the speed of the skeleton fleet at all. This made the ancient ghost ship a little confused. Even if someone could handle this trick, they would still be in a lot of trouble. It can also be used to create distance. Charged cannon. The ancient ghost ship still responded. After Su Chen saw this signal, he immediately ordered the ships to disperse. Boom! The very powerful green light cannon directly fired a green light. And this huge green light can also move to a certain extent. Fortunately, Su Chen dispersed the fleet and only sank five ships with this move. By the way, the ancient ghost ship has a certain degree of consciousness. Can this thing be caught? Su Chen looked at his skill, Soul Grant, and fell into thinking. In the battle with this ancient ghost ship, his ship suffered a lot of losses. If he couldn't enslave this ancient ghost ship, he would still be a little unsure about getting to Liberty Island. The main body of the ghost ship is the ghost ship, not the ghost crew on the ship. Even the captain is a tool captain, since the ancient ghost ship is conscious and has the ability to act on its own. It can theoretically be enslaved. But Su Chin was unsure. This was the first time a ship was enslaved. Instead of the usual monsters. But regardless of whether he can be caught or not. He must first defeat this ancient ghost ship at this time. Otherwise he will have to be hung back. The closer it gets. The more intense the skeleton ship's firepower becomes. After releasing two ultimate moves in a row. Summoning ghost warriors and charged cannons. The ancient ghost ship obviously needs a certain buffer time. As it got closer to the ancient ghost ship, its firepower became weaker. The opportunity has come. Su Chen raised his eyebrows. Su Chen directly asked other skeleton ships to provide fire cover, covering one of the skeleton ships and heading towards the ancient ghost ship. 
We are about to catch up and engage in a boarding battle. Teleport. The ancient ghost ship finally used his ultimate move. Su Chen was also a little nervous at this time. Should this ancient ghost ship escape? Or continue to circle around and fight him? If they escape and cannot catch the ancient ghost ship, these ships will be wasted in vain. Chapter 111 Storm Sea Beast Statue Giant Ghost Captain I hope you can achieve something and don't run away when you encounter some difficulties. Su Chen also thought secretly in his heart. These 50 ships, in order to cover one of the ships to dock with the ancient ghost ship, were destroyed to the point where only about 10 ships were left. If the ancient ghost ship just slipped away, he would have to take the remaining 60 or so ships to Liberty Island, which was still a bit tight. The key point is that Su Chen has never caught a ghost ship, which is exciting just thinking about it. Boom! A green light cannon pierced the night sky, answering Su Chen's question. Sure enough, the ancient ghost ship did not escape. The ancient ghost ship seemed to be extremely unhappy at this time. It had been beaten to this point by a group of small broken ships. Seeing that the opponent no longer had much fighting power, of course, it wanted revenge. Su Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief, thinking that this guy had endured it. The violent storm field. At this time, the ancient ghost ship once again activated its ultimate move. Suddenly, violent storms and thunder gathered in the sky in the direction of the dozen or so ships. Angry, Su Chen looked at the scene and couldn't help but smile. Su Chen had a way to deal with this strong wind. Shenfeng, the bow statue of the storm sea bees suddenly spread out on the sea. The original violent thunder field now only has violent thunder. And the violent wind has been calmed down directly. Strong winds and thunderstorms complement each other. And the weakening of the strong winds directly makes the thunderstorms a bit weaker. Keep moving towards the ancient ghost ship. Su Chen also gave the order. The remaining dozen or so large ships were all heading in the direction of the ancient ghost ship. Although the thunder that falls from time to time will directly penetrate the hull of the ship. Causing the ship to sink. But Su Chen didn't care at all. These dozen ships cannot be taken back and can only be used as targets. Su Chen, on the other hand, was driving a speedboat and speeding away in the direction of the ancient ghost ship alone, with those big ships as targets. It was easy for Su Chen to get close to the ancient ghost ship. His ship itself had a strong acceleration ability. When he reached the warning distance of the ancient ghost ship, Su Chen stopped. At this distance, if Su Chen went further, he would face desperate gunfire from the ancient ghost ship. Su Chen directly repeated his old trick. Just like before. He directly placed 50 large skeleton ships to surround the ancient ghost ship. The sudden appearance of these 50 large ships also made the ancient ghost ship a little confused. Haven't all those skeleton ships been destroyed by it? Why did it reappear? And it still appears in the form of teleportation. Could it be that the other party can teleport like it? Storm impact. Su Chen used the skill of the storm sea beast spell again. The sea beast statue opened its mouth and spit out the violent wind. Instead of condensing the blast bombs to attack the target, they chose to spread the blast and accelerate the speed of all the skeleton ships. With a force of encirclement, they charged towards the ancient ghost ship. The ancient ghost ship fired several big moves. At this time, it could only attack with basic ghost sh. Ls. It's different from before. Su Chen kept this all acceleration skill in his hand just for the second wave. Before leaving, Su Chen did not allow skeleton snipers and gunners two powerful units at sea, to appear, and they were also gathered in the second wave. On the contrary, the ancient ghost ship's skills were basically handed over in the first round. One goes down, and the other goes down. This time, the skeleton ship headed towards the ancient ghost ship with overwhelming force. The ancient ghost ship still attacked with roaring gunfire, but compared with before, the effect was far worse. After all, with the addition of gunners and snipers, it is possible to attack the ghost crew on the ancient ghost ship from a long distance. This can be regarded as limiting the firepower of the ancient ghost ship in advance. At the cost of only a few ghost ships being sunk, the skeleton ships had already entered the effective range. After the skeleton ship entered the effective distance, the powerful firepower directly suppressed the ancient ghost ship. This time, there was the acceleration of the storm sea beast statue. After entering the effective range, the skeleton ship became faster. Boom! Immediately, the first skeleton ship and the ancient ghost ship entered into a boarding battle. A large number of skeleton soldiers entered the ancient ghost ship. The ghost crew members on the deck were immediately crushed by the sea of skeletons. Ghosts do have some physical immunity, but they have no collision volume themselves. Which results in, a ghost crew member has several skeleton soldiers inside the body attacking it. 
and there are more than 10 skeleton soldiers surrounding it outside. Moreover, there were also magic skeleton soldiers on board. They directly enchanted it with magic wands, reached into its body, and struck it with magic wands. The ghost crew members were chopped to pieces almost the moment they came into contact with the sea of skeletons. After the ghost crew was hacked and blasted, the ancient ghost ship's firepower came to a standstill. Soon, there is no fire coverage. The second ship, the third ship, more and more skeleton ships are engaging in boarding battles with the ancient ghost ships. Su Chen looked from a distance and could no longer see the ancient ghost ship. Only a model of a large ship can be seen. And the entire ship is built with skeleton soldiers. Just like ants carrying large food. The entire food is covered with ants. Boom. Suddenly, the skeleton soldier on top was exploded. A giant ghost captain appears. The giant ghost captain holds a blue long knife and keeps slashing. Each knife can take away a large number of skeleton soldiers. For a moment, the giant ghost captain gained momentum. However, this momentum only lasted a few seconds. After the giant ghost captain launched his three-axe attack, he was immediately covered up by the firepower of the skeleton soldiers. Countless skeleton soldiers slashed directly into the body of the giant ghost captain in a stacked manner. At the same time, there were countless skeleton soldiers outside slashing at the giant ghost captain in the same way. Because of its larger size, more skeleton soldiers can attack it at the same time. Not a moment. The giant ghost captain collapsed to the ground. This giant ghost captain is the trump card of the ancient ghost ship to prevent boarding battles. Now that all the trump cards have been shattered, the ancient ghost ship has no struggle left. Under Su Chen's command, the skeleton soldiers directly attacked the core of the captain's room. Soon, the core of the ancient ghost ship was destroyed, and the entire ancient ghost ship lost its green light and turned into a very ordinary ship. Next, let's see if we can enslave. Su Chen rubbed his hands and sailed towards the ancient ghost ship with expectation. When we got under the giant ghost ship, the ship was tens of meters high. It could be said to be a cruise ship. The skeleton soldiers above are equipped with soft ladders. Su Chen did not climb up the ladder, but relied on the power of sprinting to jump up with a few clicks on the ladder. But Yumei next to her flew up easily. Chapter 112 The Mechanism of Soul Gifting Bing Feng turns dark. It can still fly well. Su Chen glanced at Yumei enviously. When Yumei saw Su Chen's eyes, she tilted her head in confusion. Faced with Yumei's puzzled eyes, Su Chen just smiled and touched her little head without saying much. The skeleton soldiers gave way and lowered their heads when facing Su Chen, showing the highest courtesy to their king. Yumei folded her wings and walked carefully behind Su Chen. Entered the captain's cabin, looking at the broken core. Su Chen gently touched it with his hand. A light blue light surrounded the broken core. Miraculously, the broken pieces slowly began to stick together. Su Chen took a step back and looked at the core, slowly recovering. It was in the shape of a rhombus crystal. After returning to its original shape, the diamond-shaped crystal swayed gently through the fetters of slavery. Su Chen has already felt its surrender. Also click view status. Name, Ancient Ghost Ship. Level, 118. Skills, Ghost Cannonball. Summon Ghost Warrior. Charge Ghost Cannon. Green Light Cannon. Teleportation. Ghost Captain Summon. Violent Thunder Field. Su Chen originally wanted to change its name. After all, it was a ship. Something like XX number. But after thinking about it, Su Chen still didn't change its name. After all, ancient times are a symbol of its strength class. About ancient times. There are very few ancient times that are under legends. Most of them are above legends and under myths. But there are also a few that are above myths. This is a very large class. After all, it's not something. It's that the longer it goes on, the better. Level 118 is currently Su Chen's highest level of slavery. Originally, the level 100 Knight Messenger was the strongest combat force in the current camp. But now it can only be ranked second. However, the disadvantage of the ghost ship is that it needs water to function. It is difficult to move on land and be used as a target. I wonder what it would be like to let skeleton soldiers work as boatmen and pull boats on land. Su Chen couldn't help but have an idea in his mind. However, Su Chen still shook his head at this idea. It was still too reluctant to force the combat power at sea to land. The battle is now over. Su Chen took back all the ships, including the ghost ship, into the contract space. The loss is close to half. But it's not a loss if we can replenish a level 118 ancient ghost ship. Su Chen took stock of the losses and gains. Nearly 50 ships were destroyed. 
but an ancient ghost ship was also recovered. Overall, it was a small profit, but at this time, Suchin also looked at the Soul Grant skill. Soul Grant, for targets that have been killed for less than 24 hours. It can be used for a Soul Grant. It can exert 10% to 80% of its strength regardless of great control, determined based on the level difference. It can exist permanently, and can be collected into an exclusive space, and cannot be upgraded. It is limited to every once a day. The so-called strength should not be calculated based on simple levels. Level 130 is 80% simply based on numbers. And it is only over level 100. Suchin also re-examined this skill. Just like after level 100, the experience of each level upgrade is much greater than that of the previous level. Although the monsters you defeat will gain more experience as your level increases, your strength cannot be judged by pure numbers. The level 12 experience between level 130 and level 118 may not even be much less than the total experience of level 118. With Su Chen's level gap, it is impossible to directly reach the highest 80%. So, if I go directly to farm some particularly high-level monsters, how many levels will I actually lose? Su Chen suddenly had a bold idea. If we find a level 160 monster, will there still be a level 150 monster left after the monster is decimated? Of course, this is a situation that Su Chen's level can tolerate. With the current level of 80, not to mention the sharp decrease in level, whether it can be beaten is still a question. In short, you still have to upgrade quickly and go to areas outside the main continent as soon as possible. There's a saying that the game really begins after level 100. For many competitions for resources, only those who have reached level 100 are eligible. This is why Suchin has always focused on upgrading. As the time for the game to come to reality gets closer and closer, Suchin must try his best to grab some resources in New World. Otherwise, it will be difficult to grab those resources after the two worlds merge. It's not early today either. Su Chen had been sailing for a while in the morning and was ready to go offline and rest. But thinking about reality, Su Chen suddenly remembered the guy named Bing Feng. That guy's game ID seems to be Qian Li Bing? Su Chen added Qian Li Bing as a friend. However, the other party didn't seem to be online. And Su Chen didn't care. Anyway, Bing Feng is now under his control. And he has already felt that the breathtaking reality is infinitely close to the gift of the soul. I have to say there are some differences. That is, the gift of the soul almost completely brings the other person back to their heart, making it difficult to maintain one's own thoughts and becoming the target of being enslaved. The breathtaking reality is a subtle influence. Unless the other party wants to rebel or want to harm the contractor. Most of the time, the mind-blowing power will not affect the target's mind. Just like Bing Feng he actually still maintains his own thoughts. Apart from the fact that he couldn't disobey his own orders or speak ill of himself, Bing Feng was still himself most of the time. This is the biggest difference between the two. However, Su Chen is not a control freak. As long as the other party can listen to him in the general direction and be obedient, don't think about things that are good or bad. After all, I am not a devil. Su Chen praised himself for his moral character. In reality, in a certain bar, Sitting on the booth were three young people dressed in avant-garde styles. Two men and one woman. A young man with white hair drank sip after sip of boring wine. This person is naturally Bing Feng. Bing Feng understands the current situation all too well. After using some kind of secret technique, he still couldn't get rid of that state. And the ice wind was already in full swing. Bing Feng spends a lot of money and drinks famous wines as if they cost nothing. This also attracted the attention of a group of gangsters in the bar. The gangster leader asked his female companion to go over directly. Handsome guy. Why are you drinking alone? How about I call some sisters to accompany you? Bing Feng didn't use his energy to resist the alcohol. But he was physically strong. So he was actually tipsy at this time. After sensing the gangster behind him, Bing Feng showed an evil smile. Okay. Your company is enough. Bing Feng pulled the woman over with a rough pull. Naturally, the woman couldn't resist Bing Feng's power and was pulled directly to the sofa where she was immediately pressed down by Bing Feng. Bluebird and Timon looked at each other. Boss, what happened tonight? This is not like Bing Feng's usual rigid style of doing things. Chapter 113, Developing a Second Mind-Blowing Use However, Bluebird and Timon did not stop them. Bing Feng is the main person in charge and their boss. Especially Tai Man. He was very excited at this time. Because he usually doesn't like to be restricted by these rules and regulations. At this time, the group behind them began to be unable to bear it any longer. Especially Huang Mao, who was taking the lead. 
That woman was his female companion. She just watched Ping Feng push her down on the sofa in front of him. Past, Huang Mao, who took the lead, immediately became anxious and rushed towards the side. But as soon as this group of people rushed over, a dark figure flashed over to block them. The Huang Mao crowd seemed to have hit a wall, and several of them were knocked down. Wang Mao happened to see that his female companion had been insulted by Bing Feng. Beat him for me. Wang Mao greeted several people directly, but Tai Man flicked his coat at this time, revealing his powerful muscles, which temporarily frightened the gangsters. But there were so many of them, and there were people from their group scattered in other corners of the bar, so they were not afraid. Step aside. At this time, Bing Feng stood up from the sofa as if he was enjoying himself. Tai Man chuckled. He hadn't done anything with ordinary people for a long time. And he thought it would be fun. Anyway, it was the team leader who started this matter. Even if there is a slight disturbance, the team leader will be responsible for settling it. Thanks for the hospitality. Bing Feng touched the saliva at the corner of his mouth and looked at Huang Mao with an evil smile. Isn't this what you want to see? Huang Mao was very angry at this time. He really planned to ask his female companion to drink with these people and have some physical contact. And then, he would bring them over directly and threaten them to blackmail them. But contact won't be like this. Right? Looking at his female companion on the sofa, Wang Mao felt that he looked like a towerin. Boy, you piss me off. I can't just pay you back today, Wang Mao said angrily. He no longer planned to just blackmail him. He also wanted to destroy the boy who insulted him. Okay. Bing Feng took out a cigarette. Click. Take out the lighter and light it in a very quick and skillful manner. But there are so many people here. I'm afraid you won't be able to let go. Let's go outside and find a small alley. Bing Feng smoked a cigarette and said with a ruffian smile. Crazy enough. Don't think that having this big man is your capital. As he spoke, Wang Mao whistled. He thought Tai Man was the bodyguard of Bing Feng belt. Suddenly, some people slowly came from all corners of the bar. About 50 people surrounded Bing Feng and others. Who said I have to take him with me? I am enough alone. Bing Feng held a cigarette in his mouth and walked arrogantly outside. Originally, the gangster in front of him didn't want to give way, but Bing Feng's cold and stern eyes frightened him into taking a few steps back. Tai Man sat down again, next to Blue Bird. Both of them looked very calm. You guys look at them. Wang Mao left a few people behind and looked at Tai Man and the others. Then, Wang Mao led the people, and Bing Feng walked towards the remote alley outside. What do you think happened to the boss? Usually when I just talk about my powers, my boss would scold me. To beat these people, the boss will probably use a little bit of his superpowers. Tai Man said with some confusion. There are people here. Is it really okay for you to plot so loudly? Bluebird slightly raised his forehead. Anyway, these people will have to eliminate the memory processing of this time period later. Tai Man said indifferently. Indeed, what happened tonight must be dealt with by erasing public memory. So that no clues can be caught later. The camera system has been controlled. And I still have to create a few virtual scenes to fill it in. Bluebird has been operating the equipment since the beginning. Especially when he saw the team leader dragging down the woman. Bluebird quickly blocked the surveillance. What are you talking about? Be honest. Among the few people Huang Mao left behind. A man with a thick beard said. What kind of superpowers? What kind of memory erasure? Do these two people think they are people with superpowers? How funny! So you are brave? Tai Man stood up and slowly approached those people. Seeing this scene, Blue Bird shook his head helplessly. She consciously made a virtual image of the people involved in a bar fight and added the appearance of the people in front of her. In a small alley, the gangster fell on the ground. Huang Mao couldn't help but tremble when he looked at the man in front of him. Run! Run! At this time, Huang Mao suppressed his trembling and ran away from the alley using his hands and feet. Just as he was about to rush out of the alley, Bing Feng suddenly appeared in front of him. Wang Mao was immediately frightened. You, don't come over. Wang Mao supported himself with his hands and crawled backwards. Just when Bing Feng was about to get rid of this Wang Mao, he suddenly felt a force in his heart. He is a superpower and can sense this change very keenly. This is? That power that night? Bing Feng was stunned. Could it be said that after being controlled by that great god, you can also use that power as his subordinate? This is simply unbelievable. But the yellow hair in front of me is just the right thing to try. The ice wind stimulated this power and stared directly at the yellow hair. Wang Mao, who had been retreating out of fear and begging for mercy, began to stop moving. Then, 
just like himself at night. Huang Mao's expression looked very strange, as if he was fighting something. But Huang Mao doesn't have his own willpower. He is just an ordinary person. Soon, Huang Mao succumbed to this power. Bing Feng tried to see if he could order this yellow hair. However, it seems that I can only temporarily mobilize him. What he obeys is the will of that adult. Moreover, Bing Feng discovered that after he accepted this Huang Mao as that adult servant, he could no longer attack this Huang Mao. However, this is enough. Bing Feng knew that being imprinted with this slave mark would be worse than simply being beaten. Don't tell anyone what happened tonight. As for what to say, I will teach you. Bing Feng looked at Huang Mao indifferently. Yes. Huang Mao nodded dully. As for the others, Bing Feng took out something similar to a small flashlight and pressed a button. The memory of these people who fell on the ground has been erased and replaced with a memory program by Bing Feng. At the same time, Bing Feng also talked through the headset and told Time Man and Blue Bird the content. Naturally, the situation was handled in almost the same way over there. What happened tonight was just an ordinary skirmish in a bar. By the way, after you become familiar with this power, you can slowly use the same method tonight on your subordinates to see if you can control it. Bing Feng also gave Huang Mao an order. Huang Mao nodded. Chapter 114, That Adult is Luo Qiu. On the other side, Su Qin was also offline. After going offline, Su Qin felt a strange feeling. This strange feeling comes from the fact that my own skills are breathtaking. It's like there is a control bar faintly. And there are more characters in the control bar. But that power was too weak. So weak that Su Qin felt like it was an illusion. After letting Brother G and you may go out to play, Su Qin went to the kitchen and ordered three packs of instant noodles. I'm a little tired today and Su Qin doesn't want to go out. Speaking of instant noodles, this is the first time for Brother G and you may to eat them. Although they all ate modern society delicacies a while ago, they were all takeout from food stalls and the like. Compared with instant noodles that are full of flavor, it still lacks a direct impact. Especially you may. She even drank the soup base when she was hugged. It's hard to imagine a vampire who doesn't want to drink blood, but keeps drinking instant noodles and soup. And she also tried to steal Brother Chicken's soup. Brother Chicken couldn't beat you at this stage. But with Su Chin here, Brother Chicken was not bullied and kept the instant noodle soup. A night of silence. The next day, Su Chin went online early. Another boring day of sailing. Su Chin yawned and took out the recliner to catch up on his sleep. There are puppet crew members driving the ship. And Yumei is responsible for guarding the ship. In fact, he himself has no role. When I was about to take a rest, a call message was sent to my friend's list. Su Chin looked at the ID and saw that it was Qian Li Bing. Su Chin then remembered that he had gone to add Bing Feng's game ID last night. But Bing Feng didn't reply to messages that night. Come to think of it, Bing Feng was not online last night. And he only went online today to find his friend invitation. The call is connected. Hello? You are the Luo Qiu who breaks records one after another. Why do you want to see me? Bing Feng is also a somewhat famous expert in the game. Luo Qiu does look very fierce. But now Luo Qiu is only a few dozen levels. He does not communicate directly like other players in a dog-licking manner. Such as Zhou Jing. When I first added Zhou Jing as a friend, he was called Luo Qiu's boss. Which was useless. Looking at Bing Feng's performance, it's much better. We said goodbye to each other on the deserted road that night. Is my memory so bad? Su Chen said jokingly. Bing Feng was stunned for a moment. How could he forget the experience of the deserted road that night? And the adult did ask for his game ID. Sir, is that you? Bing Feng said tremblingly. How is Supervisor Lin's matter going? Su Chen didn't beat around the bush and asked the question directly, which was considered an answer. Hearing the word Supervisor Lin, Bing Feng was completely sure that Luo Qiu was that adult. Bing Feng never expected that the mysterious master was actually the most popular Luo Qiu in the game. Even the president of his guild has considered asking someone to win over Luo Qiu. This news was so shocking to him that he forgot to answer Su Qin's words for a while. Kindness? It wasn't until Su Qin spoke again that Bing Feng woke up. I'm sorry. Sir, she hasn't come to me recently. I don't have the chance to get close to her now. Bing Feng answered quickly. Is that so? Su Chen touched his chin and asked at the same time. What is your situation in the game? Please introduce it. Bing Feng answered honestly. Bing Feng is now the vice president of a top-notch guild. The Ghost Guild. At the same time, due to the fact that he actually possesses eyes type abilities, his talent changed his profession and became a special eyes type profession. 
but he wasn't particularly interested in games at first. He only started working hard after discovering that new world improved reality. However, it is also a bit behind. The situation of his current guild is the same. Second rate and first rate. Not bad. After hearing this, Su Ching gave a pretty good evaluation. Because he doesn't know who are the superpowers in reality. So he can only compare like this without a reference. However, Bing Feng is just the supervisory team leader of a city. And being able to become the vice president of a top-notch guild is actually pretty good. Although this kind of first-rate guild can fall to the second-rate guild at any time due to its unstable foundation. If you wait until you become stronger and give him some support, you might not be able to become the president. It will be more convenient for you in the future. After the integration of the game and reality, Su Chen was actually a little confused as to which camp he belonged to. Because from the current point of view, his actions against players have no crime value. And his actions against NPCs will also not be recorded. It even adds experience. Which is outrageous. It is also a good choice to support some of your own forces in the player camp. Sir, there is something. At this time, Bing Feng suddenly said, You say. Seeing Bing Feng's entanglement, Su Chen also said that Bing Feng didn't have to worry about speaking directly. Then, Bing Feng told everything about last night. Su Chen frowned when he heard this. Is it so outrageous that a person whom he controls, with the power of his own, is still able to use his power to continue to develop his subordinates? At this time, Su Chen also recalled that he felt something strange last night. It turned out to be because of this incident. Through Bing Feng's description, and Su Chen's own feelings, it seems that the subordinate who develops the subordinate, the person being developed, will accept the transfer of the person who develops him to a certain extent. But if it conflicts with your own orders, your own orders shall prevail. Sir, please forgive me. I couldn't control it for a while. Bing Feng was a little worried. After all, this power belonged to Lord Luoqiu, and he used it privately. You have done a good job in this matter. I will give you a credit and give you the right to continue to develop your subordinates. However, Su Qin did not punish him, but instead rewarded him. It just so happens that in reality, after purchasing the resource land, some manpower is indeed needed. It would be useful if Bing Feng could develop some people. This made Bing Feng relax. But I also have a requirement. First of all, it must be someone who plays New World. And secondly, it must control itself like a social scum like Huang Mao last night. Although Su Chen is not a good person, he doesn't want to go too far. The identity of the New World player is also a hard condition. Before the game comes, some cracks will be born and some less powerful monsters will descend in advance. Even though these news were blocked by people from the inspection team like Bing Feng in the previous life, some rumors are still occasionally heard. There will definitely be monsters in your own resource land. Don't worry. Sir, I have been on the inspection team for so many years and have recorded many such scum. As for Su Qin's request, it corresponds to Ling Feng's own professional counterpart. Chapter 115 Only by choosing such a person can you be sure of success. Since it's such a realistic thing, you can figure it out yourself. Su Qin also gave him a certain degree of freedom. Bing Feng naturally nodded and agreed immediately. After hanging up the call, Bing Feng breathed a sigh of relief. That adult was Luo Qiu, which made Bing Feng unable to react for a moment. And from Master Luo Qiu's words, Bing Feng also felt something strange. Only looking for people who have played New World. Maybe New World is not as simple as he thought. Although after knowing that, New World can help the progress of real life cultivation. He has already paid great attention to it. But now it seems that maybe he didn't pay enough attention to it. Forget it. I don't think so much. Just do good things for Master Luo Qiu now. Bing Feng shook his head. People have to bow their heads under the eaves. Now he can only help Master Luo Qiu with his work. And let that stinky woman Lin Lin pay the price she deserves. But coincidentally, just when Bing Feng was thinking about this matter, he received a reminder that there was news. Bing Feng went offline immediately and checked the message. It was actually sent by Lin Lin. Regarding the mysterious man, I will arrange for another person to catch him. Please observe any unusual movements around the city in recent days. If there is any abnormality, please contact me immediately and do not act rashly. Remember our agreement and work well for me. I will naturally not investigate your identity. Looking at Lin Lin's message to herself, Bing Feng found it a bit funny. I'm afraid she doesn't know how powerful Master Luo Qiu is. And she still wants to capture Master Luo Qiu? When the time comes, I must see you become Master Luo Qiu's plaything. When Bing Feng thought of that scene, 
he suddenly felt a lot more balanced. I will do as she says first and inform Master Luo Chiu later. Bing Feng thought about it and decided to discuss it at night. After all, Master Luo Chiu should still be quite busy. I understand. Inspector Lin. Bing Feng didn't forget to reply with a perfunctory message. The other side. In reality, there is a villa and manor in the deserted countryside. There is no other house for miles around. But this manor is well guarded. Not only are there various alarm equipment, but there are also bodyguards in black patrolling the area. A young man in plain clothes was sitting in the small courtyard of the manor, sipping tea alone. This person is the ruler of the game. In reality, no one knows his name. They only know that his nickname is Guiswan. And most people in the circle will respectfully call him Ghost Master. At this time, a young woman walked out of the house. She is also dressed in plain clothes. But her temperament cannot be concealed. And her appearance is very lively. Teacher. The woman lowered her head and said H. Low to Guiswan. Guishan raised his hand. And immediately several servants around him also retreated. At the same time, he motioned for her to sit down. Xiao Shi. How's things going with Luo Chiu? Guiswan closed his eyes and crossed an unknown emerald green bead in his hand. The woman in front of him is his apprentice Shuren. To Shuren, teacher Guishu looks about the same age as herself. But the teacher has always looked like this since she was a child. Shuren didn't know how old Guigu was and didn't dare to ask. We stared at Luo Chiu's substitute for a long time. But we still didn't find anyone contacting him. Luo Chiu's whereabouts are currently unknown. Shuren reported the situation. There was no expression change on Guiswan's face. He still looked like the old god was there. Teacher, there is something I don't understand. You said that Luo Chiu will be very dangerous in the future. So now we stop what we are doing and find Luo Chiu to express our friendship. Isn't it okay? Shuren expressed the question that had been coming to him. After the teacher sensed that something was wrong with Luo Chiu, he used cross-border power to calculate Luo Chiu and calculated how dangerous Luo Chiu was. Under such circumstances, it is obviously the best choice to stop. Do you think that being a teacher is all about acting on your whim and trying to gain momentum? Guiswan still closed his eyes and slowly crossed the beads in his hands. Shaoshir didn't dare. Shuren immediately lowered his head. But even though she said this, her thoughts were still exposed from the fluctuations in her tone. Destiny is determined. And neither you nor I can change it. Guiswu slowly opened his eyes at this time. Teacher, Shaoshir is stupid and doesn't understand. Shuren's eyes were still confused. Even if I take back this decision now, we will still be on the opposite side of him because of a certain matter. This is fate and cannot be changed. Gushan sighed and said a few more words. But Shuren still doesn't quite understand. As long as he gives up this decision now and shows his favor to Luo Chiu, how can he still be in conflict? Forget it. These are still too profound for you now. Guishuan shook his head and had no intention of continuing. By the way, have you found the blessed land I calculated a while ago? Guiswan remembered this. A while ago, when he was observing the stars at night, he discovered a blessed land that might change his destiny. So he immediately confessed to Shuren at that time. According to the teacher's instructions not to alarm the people from the aristocratic family and the supervisory committee, I arranged for one of our undercover agents from the supervisory committee to take the initiative to transfer to the general area you mentioned. Teacher. Shuren replied immediately. Guishan nodded. Shuren did a pretty good job on this matter. At present, the world has begun to experience some energy turbulence. Hidden aristocratic families and some forces on the surface are beginning to become unable to sit still. The blessed land he calculated should be of great help after the world is in turmoil. However, he could only calculate a very wide area. But he couldn't calculate the specific location. And he couldn't spend a lot of time sending people there. As Master Qin's number one military advisor, his every move is watched. Let an undercover agent, who is part of the supervisory committee go, and take charge of that area. Although the progress will be much slower. But there are also a lot of extraneous things missing. What's the name of that undercover agent? Guiswan didn't know why. So he suddenly asked out of curiosity. Lin Lin. Shuren also replied. Two trees form a forest. Which is endlessly growing. This is a good surname. After hearing this, Guiswan smiled. People with the surname Lin go looking for the blessed land of mountains and trees. Which means prosperity. And the blessed land will definitely bring surprises to them. Don't worry. Teacher, this person was carefully selected by me. He is capable and has a sharp mind. And she is extremely cautious. 
and she will not let go of anyone or anything that is a bit suspicious. Shuren also answered immediately. Guiswan nodded. Since Shuren thinks so highly of this person, there should be nothing wrong with him. Shuren is very good at judging people. You have to be careful about this matter to avoid leaking the news to those aristocratic families. Only by choosing such a person can you be sure of it. You have made a good choice. I will meet her in person when she comes back. It was rare for Gui to show a smile. Chapter 116 Ghost Ship Attacks the Island? Su Chen came ashore. The time spent wandering at sea always seemed so long. On the way, we played with ghost ships, which relieved our boredom. Originally, Su Chen didn't want to encounter a ghost ship. After all, every time he encountered a ghost ship, a certain amount of consumption would be incurred. His skeleton soldiers can be replenished after they are consumed. But one less of his ships means one less. However, after conquering the ancient ghost ship with a level as high as 118, Su Chen basically had no consumption when facing ordinary ghost ships. I just encountered an epic ghost ship, which caused a little consumption. But immediately, the epic ghost ship was also enslaved by Su Chen. In this way, there is an ancient ghost ship, an epic ghost ship, and the 30 ships left after the war of attrition. In this way, a fleet composed of skeleton ships and ghost ships rode the wind and waves. Along the way, there were few challenges. Sometimes, there is no need for skeleton ships to take action. Some ghost ships in garbage spots are directly bombarded by two ghost ships. Most of the time, the ghost ship has no defense against its own two ghost ships. Even if they are already stronger, they can sneak attack and take the lead. Also, the soul gift can only be used once a day. Otherwise, Su Chen would be able to form a fleet of ghost ships. Of course, Su Chen did not waste these ships. It was all eaten by Chicken Brother. Originally, Su Chen was quite curious about how Chicken Brother would eat the boat. The result was that he used the power of the contract flower to turn the ghost ship into blue energy. And then Brother Chicken devoured the energy. Su Chen thought Brother G could just eat the boat. Boring. It was getting dark. A small black spot appeared on the distant sea level. Liberty Island has arrived. Su Chen also cheered up. How to enter Liberty Island is another question. One way is to attack by force. But attacking directly from the sea is not a wise decision. Liberty Island is the base camp of pirates in the Lost Seas. Even throughout the world, Liberty Island has a very high position in the hearts of pirates. There is no need to doubt the coastal defense of the island. Not only the Crescent Empire, but also other empires have also thought about wiping out these pirates. But every time, they always failed. The top pirates gather here, so don't doubt their naval combat capabilities. He now has less than 30 skeleton ships and two ghost ships left. Compared with Freedom Island, this naval combat capability cannot be said to be useless. It can only be said to be useless. There is no need to think about storming Liberty Island. Speaking of which, Su Chen's goal was not to conquer Liberty Island, but to complete the ritual in front of the statue of the Night Goddess to confer divinity. As long as the other party doesn't notice, you can do it quietly and run away. As Su Chen got closer to Liberty Island, Su Chen also came up with a way. Liberty Island. Several major pirate forces are stationed here. Most of them are pirate groups established by NPC pirates. Among them, there are also players who have risen to become one of the big pirate groups. In addition to several major pirate groups, there are dozens of pirate groups of various sizes stationed on Liberty Island. These dozens of pirate groups are either strong enough in their own right, or they are affiliated pirate groups of several major pirate groups. Most pirate groups are not qualified to settle in Liberty Island. This is the core area of the pirates, so outsiders are naturally not allowed to enter, not to mention spies planted by the Empire. Pirates, who are not part of the forces stationed on Liberty Island, are not allowed to enter Liberty Island. In addition to the several major pirate groups, the pirate group is usually responsible for sending out people to patrol the defense of Liberty Island. Not to mention there is one post every 100 meters, and one sentry every 10 meters. However, the overall patrol and defense of Liberty Island is relatively intensive, and few people can fish in through the troubled waters. At this time, boom, 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 the sudden sound of several cannons attracted everyone's attention. After checking it, I discovered that it was a large ghost ship, and it seems that the level and grade are not low. This rarely happens. Although a ghost ship floats everywhere, it is rare for a ghost ship to actively float to Liberty Island and dare to launch an attack on it. Today's patrol listened and went out to sea to smash the ghost ship. A patrol leader shouted an order. After using the pirate's special high-level detection technique, 
I saw that although the opponent was an ancient ghost ship, it was only level 118. The patrol leader made the decision to let the patrol officers deal with it. Although Liberty Island has sufficient maritime power, it does not matter. If the Imperial fleet or those usually hidden ocean bosses appear, Liberty Island will definitely have to mobilize its maritime power. But if it's just a level 118 dose ship and it uses its defense force, why should he be scolded by the superiors? That is, the ancient ghost ship is a little troublesome. But no matter how troublesome it is, it is only level 118. These patrolling pirates usually have nothing to do. After all, no one has dared to attack Liberty Island for a long time. It would also be good to let these patrolling pirates go out and exercise their skills. They are just level 118 ancient ghost ships. The level of the pirates who can settle on Liberty Island is hard to say and they are generally higher than that of the ancient ghost ship. Soon, many patrolling pirates boarded their own ships. Some of them were from a pirate group and directly opened the ship, forming a group of 10 people. A big ship can't be maneuvered by one person. It needs someone to pilot the cannon, look at the direction and so on. Many pirates were heading towards the ancient ghost ship. An ancient level ghost ship might be able to explode some good stuff. In an event like this, whoever explodes it gets it without having to hand it over. The pirates were quite vying for the first place. However, although the ancient ghost ship is not as high level as these pirates, it is still high enough, even if it is beyond the level. Facing these pirates, who were just patrolling idly, they still use suppressive firepower. These pirates were drawn from various pirate groups, and they were not from the same pirate group. At this time, no one wanted to be the vanguard for others, so everyone temporarily avoided their edge. They knew that this ancient ghost ship was full of firepower from the beginning and would definitely run out of stamina later on. At this time, no one noticed a person underwater slowly diving close to Liberty Island. Su Ching can dive by himself. With the combination of Chicken Brother and the Peerless Sword Chicken State, all attributes have skyrocketed. Su Ching underwater was not as fast as the boat approaching. But no one noticed him. Even in ordinary times, few people would go to watch underwater. Not to mention that at this time. Most of the pirates patrolling Liberty Island had already gone to sea. Gurgling. After Su Chen slowly approached Liberty Island, he spit out the seawater in his mouth. If Su Chen went ashore like this with the intensity of patrols on Liberty Island on weekdays, he might be caught. But at this time, there were almost no people in the outer areas of Liberty Island. Chapter 117 What the H.L. The God of the Undead Attacks Liberty Island? Su Chen did not stay. After landing from the beach, he immediately found a shelter among tall trees. Let's take back the ghost ship first. It's just patrolling pirates, but its combat effectiveness is not inferior at all. Su Chin took a look at the fighting situation over there and saw that the ghost ship had been surrounded and suppressed. Far away, the naval battle has come to an end. There are already many speedboats approaching the ancient ghost ship. When more people gather, they can directly use the hook to engage in a boarding battle. At the same time, the firepower of the pirates also overwhelmed the ancient ghost ship. After all, facing the pirates on Liberty Island, the ancient ghost ship does not have the original level of 130. So it is difficult to make any waves here on Liberty Island. But just when it's close, teleport, the ancient ghost ship simply teleports out of the battle. After the war, Su Chin immediately took back the ancient ghost ship. Go look for it quickly. Its teleportation distance is not too far away. The leader in charge said, if we follow normal logic, the teleportation distance of the ancient ghost ship will not be too far. With the speed of their speedboats, they can be found quickly even if they search separately. But at this time, the ancient ghost ship had been taken back to the contract spirit space. And they had no way of looking for it. After searching for a while and failing to find the ancient ghost ship, the pirates gave up. It's really strange. When did the ancient ghost ship teleport so far? The leader in charge was a little depressed. However, he couldn't pursue them too deeply. The pirates he was currently commanding were originally responsible for patrolling and guarding. It's okay to call in to deal with the ghost ship. But if you continue to chase after it, you will be held accountable. After a brief search, I couldn't find it. So I put everything back in place. At this time, Su Chen had already dived into the depths of Liberty Island. After all, Liberty Island is not a force dominated by one family. This is composed of several large pirate groups and dozens of affiliated pirate groups. As such a place with complex forces from all sides, being able to form a peripheral defense is considered relatively united. This is also due to the pressure of the empire 
and the danger of the Law Sea. After breaking through the outer defense, the Freedom Island is relatively free. At this time, Su Chen had already put on the pirate decoration that he had prepared before. There was no need to infiltrate at all. Su Chen was walking on Liberty Island openly. There are also some busy pirate players on Liberty Island. Most of them ignored Su Chen. However, there was still one person who was more wary and looked at Su Chen a few more times. But he still seemed to have something to do and left again. It seems that we still can't stay too long. We have to find the statue of the goddess of the night. Su Chen went to find the location of the night goddess statue based on his rough memory of Liberty Island. Night goddess is a very special existence for Liberty Island. Originally, Liberty Island was an island abandoned by gods. And pirates were also called abandoned by gods. Once they became pirates, they were abandoned by gods. But the night goddess accepted the pirates of Liberty Island. And she was willing to give them shelter. The night goddess was also the only belief in Liberty Island. Every time NPC pirates go to sea, they will silently recite prayers about the night goddess in their hearts. Player pirates can also get a time-limited buff that increases attributes by praying to the night goddess. Soon, Su Chen found the statue of the night goddess. But just as Su Chen thought, there were pirates taking turns guarding the statue of the night goddess. It seems that the only option is to attack by force. Su Chen felt helpless when he saw the pirates guarding him. He didn't have certification as a pirate, so there was definitely no way he could fish in troubled waters. Of the two million skeleton soldiers, about 900,000 skeleton soldiers were lost during the voyage. There are still 1.1 million skeleton soldiers. It is impossible to defeat Liberty Island with the current military strength. Liberty Island is a gathering place for the top pirates. Even if it is a land battle, it cannot be conquered by the remaining 1 million skeleton soldiers. Even if he keeps evolving and summoning, and the timeline is stretched. He is afraid that those top pirate groups will find him. With their fighting power. Once they find their summoner. They will definitely deal with him at all costs. But if it was just a temporary attack to clear out the guards around the night goddess statue. Then it wouldn't be a big problem. That being the case. Start a group. Su Chen waved his hand. And countless skeleton soldiers descended on Liberty Island silently. At the statue of night goddess. The people responsible for guarding this place are actually patrol pirates drawn from the major pirate groups to take turns on duty. The most annoying thing for me is that I have to guard this broken statue for a whole day. Who says it isn't? Playing games is more painful than going to work. Two pirates were complaining. The NPC pirates all respect the night goddess very much. Based on the remarks of these two people, it is not difficult to tell that they are players. Okay, brothers, stop complaining. If you refuse these tasks, you will be kicked out of the pirate group. After all, can we still be on Free Island? The pirate next to him laughed haha. -ha. If you choose to change your career as a pirate, it will be difficult to return to land and become an ordinary player. Because if you change your career as a pirate, you can only change your career by doing evil on the main continent and increasing your crime value. If you are kicked out of Liberty Island, you will become a skirmisher pirate. Also, we can often get some good stuff by following the group. But it is too difficult to be a skirmisher and pirate. I have a friend who is a skirmisher pirate. Do you know that? Their pirate group's income depends entirely on fishing. When it came to the situation of the skirmishing pirates, everyone shuddered. It's outrageous to pay so much to become a pirate. But instead of experiencing the pirate gameplay, you can actually develop fishing skills. Isn't that just a shame for pirates? Several people were chatting. Call out. Suddenly, a cold arrow struck. A pirate suddenly knelt down because he was hit by an arrow in the knee. What's the situation? The pirate who was hit by an arrow looked confused. Who dared to cause trouble on Liberty Island? Then, World Announcement answered his question. World Announcement, Liberty Island was attacked by the army of the God of the Undead, triggering a special event to guard Liberty Island. And Liberty Island entered a state of combat. Players in this town cannot go offline. Players' offline characters are still in the game and cannot leave through the teleportation array. Please work hard to defend Liberty Island and get the debuff gaze of the dead god if you fail. Gaze of the undead god, your damage to the undead is reduced by 30%, and the undead's damage to you is increased by 30% duration until you defeat the undead god. What the H, L. The god of the dead attacks Liberty Island? Chapter 118 Liberty Island Meeting. Violet's Awakening. After hearing this world announcement, several other people looked towards the foot of the mountain. The densely packed skeleton soldiers are heading towards the main power distribution area of Liberty Island. 
A small group of skeleton soldiers seems to be bypassing the mountain here because it is too crowded. It seems that these skeleton soldiers are not heading towards the statue of the night goddess, but towards the area of the free island lord's influence. The reason for attacking here seems to be just because it seems to be on the way. Originally, some of them planned to seek help from the big city. But from this point of view, the target of the skeleton soldiers is the big city area, and they are just passing by. As a result, they no longer even thought about asking for help. Run! Several people made a decision immediately. They are just players, not aboriginal pirates, and have no faith in the night goddess. At most, when going to sea, you can get a time-limited buff that adds dozens of attributes through prayer. Collapse. Withdraw. Sell. Slip away. The nine guard players executed this strategy perfectly. The reason why there are nine is because the player who was hit by the arrow is the one who was sold. Su Chen didn't even think about chasing them. He didn't even bother to chase the player who was hit by an arrow in his knee. Of course, if you don't pursue it, you won't pursue it. I don't know if I can dodge the indiscriminate long-range attacks on the world channel. Damn it. This god of the undead really attacks indiscriminately. He will provoke any force. I originally thought that the god of the undead was targeting the Crescent Kingdom. But looking at it this way, he meant that everyone was the target of his beatings. But have you noticed that when Liberty Island was attacked this time, there was no teleportation option that could be supported? It's true to say that we have no way to support Liberty Island. That's good. A bunch of stinky pirates on Liberty Island wish the God of the Dead had bulldozed their island. Well done. God of the Dead. Give me a hard beating. Two days ago, my cargo was robbed by a gang of pirates. And the ship was also damaged. Most people were happy to hear that Liberty Island was beaten this time. Originally they were worried. This God of the Undead attacks the Crescent Kingdom from time to time. And once the siege is successful, the debuff will be applied. It will be a big loss if any undead expansion pack is opened. Of course, there are also belligerent people. The last battle to guard the Coral Coast port boosted morale, and many people couldn't wait to fight the God of the Dead again. But this time, no one was broadcasting the live broadcast. No teleportation array passed. Secondly, any pirate group that can stay on Liberty Island will set many rules and regulations in the group, even if it is not as strict as a confidentiality agreement it will not be easily allowed to be leaked. From what angle the camera was exposed, and the reports from surrounding companions, it would be easy to find out. But if you are found out, you will be kicked out of the group. Pirates are not like ordinary players. After being kicked out of a guild, they can join a similar guild at will. Even if you are an independent person, it is good. But pirates are different. Pirates basically have no future as independents. Those who dare to go out to sea to sell goods have more or less two brushes. Is it reasonable for one person to rob someone else's boatload of people? After joining a group, you can only join a pirate group outside of Free Island. If you are lucky, you can find a pirate group with some strength. But most of the pirates outside of Liberty Island do not have very strong fighting capabilities. There are even pirate groups who make a living by fishing. So what is the situation on Liberty Island now? No picture has been revealed for the time being. Liberty Island. The top leaders of the major pirate forces held a meeting. What are these skeleton soldiers? Where did we get these things on Liberty Island? According to the report of the young ones, there are just a lot of these skeletons. And their strength is too low. With this little strength, it is really wishful thinking to try to attack our Liberty Island. The leaders of the major pirate groups are having meetings and discussions. Currently, most of the top pirate groups on Liberty Island are NPC pirate groups. Sorry everyone. I have something else to do. A woman with light yellow hair. Eyebrow length bangs and purple clothes slowly stood up. She is currently the only player pirate group among the top pirate groups on Liberty Island. The leader of the Irregular Sea Breeze Pirates is Violet. Few people know that the leader of Irregular Sea Breeze is a female player, and the members of Irregular Sea Breeze rarely reveal this. Seeing Violet stand up and leave, the two people next to her also followed. Violet's two deputies are both tall and tall male players. And Zilulon is not that tall. So the two of them were standing next to Zilulon one on the left and the other on the right. Looking a little funny. Those NPCs still don't know what's going on. The god of the undead has attacked the city several times, and they still look confused. The deputy next to him snickered. Speaking of Boss C, can we use this situation to establish relations with those NPC pirate groups? Another deputy said. Even if they don't tell the NPC, there's no guarantee that another player's pirate group won't tell the NPC. 
however. Violet just gave him a cold look, which made him hiss. After a while, there is something fishy about the God of the Dead coming to Free Island this time, Violet said slowly. Weird. What strange. The two of them looked confused. But Violet had no intention of explaining to them. They don't know that Violet is good friends with Big P, who has analyzed the God of the Dead many times on the forum. And they are not just friends in the game. They are also friends in reality. New World is related to reality. This is actually not a secret in their circle. Big P has some abilities in reality. And his analysis is definitely not just for fun. The information posted on the forum is only superficial. After the last port battle on the Coral Coast, Big P shared a conclusion with her. The Dark Legion was only used as a spear by the God of the Undead. After that battle, the war between the Crescent Empire and the Army of Darkness became even more tense. And Big P has another guess. That is, the God of the Undead seems to be watching everyone secretly when he launches every war. The advice Big P gave her was that it was best not to act rashly and do something that would anger the God of the Undead. Originally, Violet just wanted to listen to it for fun and didn't pay too much attention to it. After all, she was on Liberty Island, far away from the Empire. But who knew that the minions of the God of the Undead have reached Liberty Island? This is also the reason why she said nothing just now. She didn't plan to act rashly until she didn't know what purpose the God of the Dead had for Liberty Island. Let those NPC pirate groups fight against the God of the Undead first. Chapter 119 Advanced to an Unknown Level Conditions of Night Goddess After making sure there was no one else around, Su Chen slowly walked to the statue of the Night Goddess. It was a woman with a loose shawl, wearing a black divine robe. Her palms were spread out as if she wanted to grab something, staring closely, as if there is some magic that attracts people. Su Chen frowned and looked away. Su Chen took out the ring, dream ring of the night goddess, place it in front of the tribute altar, along with the prepared tributes. As long as you complete the ritual, you can unlock your divinity. Su Chen was about to start the ceremony. Suddenly there were strong winds around him and Su Chen quickly stabilized his center of gravity. This is how the same thing. Who is attacking my followers for no reason? The sound came from the statue. Is this the divine consciousness of Night Goddess connected to the statue? Su Chen didn't wait for an answer. Kindness? Is this the coming of divine power to the mortal world? Who are you? Night Goddess seemed to sense something was wrong. I had no intention of causing a conflict. I just made this move to complete the unsealing of this ring. After all, Su Chen was still counting on the other party to do things. So naturally he was kind to him. At this time, Night Goddess also seemed to notice the ring on the tribute platform. This is the ring I used when I was in the mortal world. I didn't expect you to get it. Night Goddess recognized her ring. But then she did not avoid the topic. Are you a god? No, you are not. But why can you use divine power? Su Chen also didn't expect that he would actually attract the divine consciousness of Night Goddess to come to him in person. How to answer this question? To be honest, it definitely won't work. He changed his job through the true blood of the god of the undead and then unlocked it through the game system. But Su Chen was not sure about deceiving the goddess he. One lie is often compensated by countless lies. It seems like you have some secret. Night goddess pointed this out directly when Su Chen hesitated. Yes, it's really hard to say. But I promise, I have no ill intentions towards you believers. Su Chen made a promise to night goddess. I can feel that you are very powerful. Although I don't understand why you have divine power in the mortal world. And it is not obtained through an artifact. But the divine power in your own body. There is no problem in unblocking this ring. But let me ask you. What kind of unblocking do you want? Night Goddess said to Su Chen. What kind of unblocking? Are there still levels to unblocking? Appreciate further details. Su Chen said respectfully. Well, the first one is normal. I will collect your tribute to unlock its divinity. The second is that you promise me a condition. And I will completely unblock you and give you some divine power. Night Goddess told Su Chen both options. Actually there is such a thing. But from what I heard in my previous life, it was obvious that there was no second type. Of course, it was also possible that the person had not made it public. What are the conditions? Su Chen did not agree rashly. But asked one more question. When this island encounters a huge crisis, I want you to save this island once. The existence of this island is very important to me. Night Goddess stated her conditions. Su Chen frowned. Even the goddess said it was a huge crisis. And it was obviously not going to be an easy matter. However, until the game and reality are completely integrated, Liberty Island has never heard of any crisis. 
It seems that it should be after the integration of the two worlds. After the two worlds merged, the sea area where Liberty Island was located became even more remote and the sea was considered a restricted area for humans, let alone a lost sea area. Su Chen didn't know what happened to Liberty Island after the two worlds merged. For normal unsealing, you can only use the inner demon characteristics three times. But if it is completely unsealed, I will add the divine power given to it, enough to guarantee that it can be used once a month and used an unlimited number of times. Seeing Su Chen's silence, Yi Goddess added another word. Let the opponent's inner demon appear an unlimited number of times? Isn't this already infinitely close to the artifact? How could Su Chen, an old greedy man, be tempted by this? Summoning inner demons is extremely rogue, especially for those who are dominated by desires. Their inner demons may even be more powerful than themselves. If the crisis encountered by Liberty Island is too different from my strength, do I have the right to refuse? Although Su Chen was greedy, he still asked cautiously. Naturally, you have the right to refuse. The difference in strength is too large and whether you take action or not is meaningless. The cost for me to come to the mortal world is too great. You are the only person with divine power that I know of in the mortal world, Night Goddess said calmly. And in order to reassure Su Chen, he also provided additional explanations. Okay, I agreed. Su Chen thought about it and agreed. As long as the difference in strength is not too large, he can control his subordinates remotely and does not have to worry about the opponent directly targeting him through the strong difference in strength. Next, after signing the agreement, Night Goddess also took action. The ring was slowly spinning in midair. A cloud of black mist enveloped the ring. The originally dim ring slowly began to glow in the black mist. As the fog cleared, a black light shot out from the statue, and the ring directly absorbed the black light. After shaking for a while, the ring finally settled down and slowly landed in Su Chen's hand. Su Chen opened his palms and looked at the ring in his palms. The ring faintly exuded a black brilliance, and some ancient divine patterns began to appear on the ring, which seemed to contain huge energy. Okay, you can send your skeletons back now, Night Goddess said calmly. Good. Su Chen achieved his goal, and naturally had no intention of attacking Liberty Island. Maybe, we will meet again in the divine world. After Yi Goddess said that, the divine consciousness returned. The statue also turned into a normal statue. The world of gods? Su Chen looked at the sky, and he still felt a little yearning in his heart. Moreover, a journey to the god realm is still necessary. He did not forget that his drawing of Heart of War also needed the material eyes of the god realm. With Heart of War, he can release all the skeleton soldiers at all times. And as long as he is caught in a dispute, he can continuously gain experience. Just thinking about it makes me greedy. At the same time, Su Chen also glanced at the ring in his hand. Dream Ring of the Night Goddess Type, ring, level requirement, level 160. Inner demon test, awaken the target's inner demon and force it into the dream space for a duel. Cooling time, 30 natural days. Sure enough, it became unlimited, but a month was a little long. Su Chen nodded. At the same time, this piece of equipment was originally supposed to be mythical after the ritual was completed and unsealed. But now, it is directly beyond the understanding of the game system and has become an unknown level. Chapter 120 Breaking Through Barriers to Bring Goods Bing Thing's exclamation Put on the ring. Just like before being given divinity, it can be equipped regardless of level. I just don't know if the unknown grade can break through the barrier. Su Chen thought in his mind. Kindness? Does this ring have very little storage space? Su Chen researched and found out. Not sure if this ring could break through the barriers of reality. Su Chen planned to give it a try and put some game items into the ring's storage space. But after all, it is not a special storage ring. This space slot seems to be used to store souls and inner demons. Not even a single piece of equipment can fit inside. Putting some small things away, Su Chen glanced at the dark army of skeletons heading towards Liberty Island. That's it for today. Su Chen thought and took back the skeleton soldiers with a wave of his hand. The other side. The fighting hasn't broken out yet. Several major pirate groups have recalled their main forces and formed defensive formations to prepare for confrontation. At the same time, the dozens of attached pirate groups are also ready to double-team from the flanks at any time. The skeleton soldiers didn't take any action, and they didn't act rashly. Now both sides have fallen into calm, and only one fuse is needed to trigger a war. For example, if an archer does not hold his bow steady and shoots an arrow, a battle may begin. Just when the pirate group finally couldn't bear it anymore 
and planned to start attacking. A black mist erupted. The pirates didn't know what was going on and quickly took a few steps back. When the black fog cleared, it was discovered that all the skeleton soldiers had disappeared. What about those skeleton soldiers? Is it my imagination? Don't relax. Be careful. There might be a surprise attack. Keep up the formation. Several major pirate groups still maintained their defensive formations. At the same time, the other group of people were still on the defensive. World announcement. Due to the cancellation of the attack by the God of the Dead, the special event guarding Liberty Island has been cancelled, and the restricted status has been lifted. It wasn't until this announcement was made that the player pirates understood that they were truly retreating. The results of the NPC's scout reconnaissance also came out, and the skeleton soldiers really retreated. How about playing? They worked so hard to come back. But then they stopped fighting if they said they didn't want to fight? For a moment, the pirates were speechless. Real world. As the initiator of the incident, Suchin has gone offline and plans to take a rest. The past two days of sailing have been so tiring, and we can finally return to land. Suchin stretched. But just as he was stretching, Suchin saw a dark and simple ring on his finger. Really brought it out? Suchin felt happy. It seems that with the power of God, the barrier can be broken through, and the connection between the two worlds can be achieved. And Su Chen had a vague feeling. The barrier between the two worlds seems to be getting looser. I don't know if it is because others, including myself, have broken through the barrier between the two worlds by obtaining divine objects and the like. If the barrier between the two realms disappears, then it should be time for the two realms to merge. However, the integration of the two worlds cannot be stopped by oneself. He didn't break through the two worlds in the previous life. Are the two worlds different or integrated? Su Chen didn't think too much. The narrow space slot of the night goddess ring was opened. What Su Chen brought back were several bottles of potions that increased attributes. At this time, those bottles of potions were also lying in the small space. Su Chen took it out of the ring. After taking out the first bottle, Su Chen felt the weakening of the divine power on the ring. This frightened Su Chen, and he didn't dare to take it anymore. Don't just scrap the ring. Right? Fortunately, after waiting for a while, Su Chen felt that his divine power was slowly recovering. This made Su Chen feel relieved. It seems that even if you can bring items back to reality from New World, it is equivalent to a cooling time, but it can be restored. Su Chen did not continue to take it. Those bottles of potions that increase attributes are actually just average. After all, he didn't prepare them specially at all. However, most of the divine objects may not necessarily have space slots. It is also possible that they are of an unknown grade, causing a cognitive error in the system. So they can bring things into reality? Regarding this point, Su Chen fell into thinking. But after thinking for a long time, he couldn't get the answer. So Su Chen didn't think about it anymore. Bashan's plan can be advanced. And I can bring back the defensive device scroll from the game. Su Chen thought in his mind. The procedures in Baoshan are quite complicated and cannot be completed in a day or two. Su Chen originally thought this matter was very troublesome. So he never did it. But now, there is a suitable candidate. Go to New World to talk about things. Su Chen found the contract corresponding to Bing Feng in his heart and directly used his soul to transmit the message. Whether it's a phone call or a face-to-face -face meeting, there is always the possibility of leaks. In this world with superpowers, if someone wants to eavesdrop, it will be easy to follow the clues and find out. However, there are still two methods of communication that cannot be monitored. The first is to use the souls of contractors to communicate in the real world. But talking this way consumes a lot of mental energy. The second is to enter the new world. The new world is a world completely different from reality. The methods in reality will not work in the new world. Two completely different worlds. So-called cyber hackers are even more of a joke. Su Chen is online again. Ding Feng also came online quickly and immediately made a video call. Don't you know what your orders are? Bing Feng asked with some confusion. I really have my eye on a mountain. Can you help me get it down? How fast can it be? Su Chen said calmly. If it were someone else, it would take 10 days and a half to complete this kind of project. But considering Bing Feng's social network in reality, Su Chen should be able to handle it as quickly as possible. A mountain? With my current savings, it would be no problem to build a mountain. But it would take some time to negotiate the price. Bing Feng said with some pain. There is no way. He is currently in the other party's thoughts. And there is nothing he can do if the other party wants to use his money. This is 10 million gold coins. I have already sent it via email. You don't need to negotiate the price. 
I want it as quickly as possible. Su Chen waved his hand and gave the gold coins directly to Bing Feng. Su Chen didn't notice Bing Feng's savings at all. Anyway, if you have no money and want something, just launch a siege and ask someone to borrow some. He has so many ways to make money. Enough is enough. There is more. Bing Feng was also amazed at this adult's arrogance. Before, he was thinking that he might not be able to save his savings. But it turned out that this adult didn't take it seriously at all. And he made a big deal with a casual wave. Bing Feng suddenly felt that he was following this adult. It's pretty good. Right? Chapter 121 Because I don't want to solve the puzzle. I just push it through. With the extra money, buy me some defense device scrolls. Or puppet drive scrolls. Remember? Go for quality. Not quantity. Su Chen said again. Yes. My lord. Bing Feng agreed quite quickly. Anyway, he doesn't have to pay. And it's easy for him to handle real life procedures and purchase items in the game. In reality, although he is secretly the leader of the inspection team, on the surface, he is still very comfortable. He is doing well among the elites in many cities. In the game, he is also barely the vice president of a large guild. And his acquaintances with businessmen or acquisition channels are not comparable to those of ordinary players. As long as he has money and his network is functioning. These are very simple things. Once this is done, I will give you another reward. Su Chen smiled softly. Although he now controls the ice wine through the breathtaking skill. But there is a big difference between a badly behaved donkey and a positive and optimistic donkey. Thing Feng's current strength and identity are of great use to him. Rewarding him with something to increase his strength is, in the final analysis, to enhance the combat effectiveness of his men. For Su Chen, it was just from the left pocket to the right pocket. Don't worry. Sir, I will do my best to make it happen. However, after hearing this, Lung Feng immediately felt as if he had been given a shot of blood and said very excitedly, Ling Feng felt more and more that following this gentleman would have a bright future. Su Chen just smiled and said nothing more. Offline for a rest. While Su Chen was resting, Lung Feng began to work all night for Su Chen. The next day, for him, there were quite a few people discussing what happened yesterday. However, since live broadcasting is prohibited on Liberty Island itself, no pirate dares to risk being kicked out of the group to make a splash. How Liberty Island made the God of the Dead retreat has become a mystery. Could it be that there is something on Liberty Island that even the God of the Dead is afraid of? You know, the God of the Undead is simply unscrupulous in the main continent. No matter what force is attacked first. And there are waves of such attacks. I don't know which city will be attacked by the God of the Undead next time. In fact, it's not that the pirates on Liberty Island are tight-lipped. In fact, even they don't know. If you have to give a reason, that should be the night goddess that Liberty Island believes in. The god of the dead is a god. And the night goddess is also a god. Maybe there was some agreement between the two gods? This can barely be explained. However, since no one can tell the specific thing, the topic of this matter is much less continuous. Su Chen is online. He has returned directly to the city from Liberty Island and returned to the main continent. There are also a million skeleton soldiers. Go and push the dungeon first. And then grab a strong guy to upgrade the map. Su Chen also made plans. Copy door. Su Chen hasn't been to the dungeon for a while. He is really busy with work. However, the entrance to the dungeon was still lively. Two are missing. A warrior and a mage profession. Assemble an elite team. Get a bow. And get a sleight of hand bow. The top match is to create a daddy to lead the team. If you come with strength, don't disturb the dishonest ones. Su Chen only glanced at these team recruitment information out of curiosity. Look at some of the faces that are that big. Currently, they are the worst players at this level. Because Su Chen could feel from their words that some of them were old players who had been playing for a long time. It's really hard to comment on the fact that old players are here. Without looking any further, Su Chen went directly to the dungeon entrance. Ancient Abandoned Train. Level Limit. Level 8090. Please select the difficulty level. Normal level. Warrior level. King level. Hell level. Su Chen directly ignored this information. Ancient Abandoned Train. After clicking, the screen in front of you changed. In front of him was an abandoned train, which was hundreds of meters long and fell to the ground in pieces. Su Chen still had some impressions about how to play this dungeon. There are several such trains here. In addition to smaller trains, players who enter the dungeon need to find the small train that can be started and use it to reach the boss destination. Of course, 
There will be many monsters on the road to attack these two small trains. Players must protect these two trains. Without these two trains, these numerous monsters will be impossible for players to deal with. But it still takes some effort to find that little train. Although he knew the strategy and tactics, these tactics were not applicable to Su Chen. Su Chen thought. Suddenly, millions of skeleton soldiers appeared on the ruins. If you are too lazy to look for a small train, cut it for me. Su Chen gave an order. And immediately millions of skeleton soldiers launched a frantic attack on the abandoned train in front of them. Densely packed skeleton soldiers suddenly filled the several hundred meter long train. At the same time, the monster in the train also appeared. Name, Train Watcher. Variety, Mechanical. Grade, 90R. HP, Unknown. Skill, Unknown. But not only these monsters, but also the train was destroyed by countless skeleton soldiers. As soon as those monitors came out, they were directly overwhelmed by attacks. If Su Chen hadn't checked quickly enough, the monitor would have been killed without even being able to see the panel. In an instant, the train and the mobs were smashed together. Su Chen didn't stop and moved directly towards the boss, letting millions of skeleton soldiers push forward. This copy is very troublesome. You need to find various mechanisms on the train, just like solving a puzzle. But Su Chen didn't want to play any puzzles, so he smashed a train when he encountered one. As for the punishment for failure to solve the puzzle, those large numbers of monitor monsters, compared with the skeleton soldiers, that number is not enough for the skeleton soldiers to warm up. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. With the skeleton soldiers, he smashed from one end of the copy to the other without even blinking. Boom. Su Chen led the skeleton soldiers and directly smashed through the train room where the final boss was located. I also saw a standing bronze statue. After sensing the invasion, the bronze statue moved and turned into a giant bronze man. Name, Cruel Train Conductor. Variety, Mechanical. Level 90. HP, Unknown. Level, Dark Gold Level Boss. Skill, Unknown. Without permission, he broke into the conductor's room. Bronze Mouth spits out human words. But the skeleton soldier didn't talk to it at all, and directly attacked the bronze man frantically. Before the bronze man could even finish his words, he was pushed to the ground by a group of melee skeleton soldiers and beaten, while countless ranged soldiers also fired crazy output at it. Chapter 122 Su Chen's New Approach Su Chen watched the bronze man being beaten indifferently, and looked at the time leisurely. Boom! The copper man was directly blown up and turned into broken copper pieces on the ground. World Announcement Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the ancient abandoned train record with a time of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Exactly two and a half minutes. Those scraps of copper and iron are still a bit solid. After being smashed for so long, Su Chen looked back. There is already a bare flat land behind. Obviously, the skeleton soldiers' movements are still too much, and they have to be destroyed to feel comfortable. Currently, you are the record holder of ancient abandoned trains and have obtained the buff, mental power plus 2%. It is actually a rare spiritual power. Seeing this copy entry, Su Chen also raised his eyebrows. The percentage of spiritual buff is still quite important. It seems that no matter how busy you are, you should remember to make copies. There are some good entries hidden in these copies. Su Chen couldn't help but think. The world channel also became lively. Speaking of which, boss Luo Chio hasn't made an announcement for a long time. I thought that Luo Chio didn't have enough stamina to beat the record. Now it seems that he has surpassed the original record level of 7 or 8 minutes as soon as he made a move. I heard that the Seimasen Guild has been looking for Luo Chio recently. He is probably exhausted from being targeted by Seimasen. Under such circumstances being targeted by the Seimasen Guild, Boss Luo Chio's strength has not been affected and he is still as cool as ever. This Shamasen is also a bunch of fools. And there is nothing they can do against Luo Chio, who has dozens of levels. It's easier said than done. Don't be scared to death when you see Luo Chio. Since I haven't heard anything about Luo Chio for a long time, it also caused a lot of discussion. Many people had almost forgotten about this person. And now, he suddenly appears again. This caused a discussion among a group of people. A certain mountain road. At this time, Su Chen was hiding in the grass on the roadside. Regarding this trip to sea, it brought certain enlightenment to Su Chen. That is, if you are short of money, you do not necessarily have to attack the city. Every time we attack a city, it will trigger a worldwide announcement and create a huge momentum. The key is that others are not fools. Just like the last attack on the port, many bosses immediately took back the good things when they saw something was wrong. 
I actually didn't make much money by attacking the city. If he hadn't specifically targeted that boss, he might not even have been able to get the legendary bow statue. Space rings generally do not have a large storage capacity for large goods, or goods that are too large. Theoretically, it is possible to use a space ring plus a teleportation array for transportation. But a large enough space ring is simply astronomically expensive, and ordinary space rings have a small capacity. Moreover, some large cargo simply cannot be accommodated in the space. The manufacturing process of the space ring in New World is defective. Not only is the capacity small, many things cannot enter the space ring at all. Even the name space ring is just for the sake of sound. But in fact it doesn't deserve to be called space ring at all. Under this premise, the sea and land transportation in New World are developing rapidly. Not only NPCs, players also form many large caravans in order to make money. This trip to the sea made Such and understand that since the other party will take things back, wouldn't it be okay to grab those things that can't be taken back? After robbing it, how to sell it? Bah, it's a matter of shipment. Suchin also thought about it for a long time. Shipping goods that cannot be stored in space will be a problem. But Suchin was also very smart and quickly figured out a way. That is to ask the skeleton soldiers to dig a big hole in the distance in advance. And then prepare some camouflage items to hide the goods. Use a small part of the goods to let the skeleton soldiers make some traces of destruction in situ to mislead. What about the goods hidden in the pit? This is not simple. When your concentration wanes in a day or two, wouldn't it be okay to find someone to transport the goods out of the pit and sell them? As for this candidate, Suchin also has one. That's Ice Wind. Bing Feng is the vice president of a large guild in the game. With his ability, it is easy to hire some people even without using his guild's own ability. As for whether Bing Feng will be suspected, what does this have to do with him? Anyway, Bing Feng didn't dare to reveal his identity because of the contract. Besides, Bing Feng was somewhat capable as a vice president. The other party couldn't beat him without solid evidence. But the big caravan is hard enough to wait for. Su Chen yawned. It's not that no caravans pass by today. In fact, two small caravans pass by today. But Su Chen didn't take a fancy to them. This is the first appearance of the skeleton bandit. How can it be possible to rescue the small caravan? Be sure to grab a big caravan for your first appearance. Just when Su Chen was so sleepy that he dozed off, the sound of rolling wheels came from the distance. Su Chen looked up. There were about 20 large mechanical tractors and several mechanical chariots guarding the road. Ha ha ha. This caravan can barely pass him. Su Chen's eyes lit up. After waiting for almost a day, a decent caravan finally arrived. Go! Don't let them go. Follow me. But before Su Chen could speak, a group of robbers on horseback suddenly rushed out from the jungle on another hill. The caravan side was obviously prepared. The escort players summoned their mounts and fought against the group of robbers. Is this the time to meet a colleague? Su Chen's hand was only halfway raised. Originally, he planned to release millions of skeleton soldiers. But in the end, the group rushed out. What is this? Boom! The cannon barrel on the caravan's tank fired directly at the robbers. It has to be said that this caravan is quite capable of fighting. The mounts of robbers are generally horses. In this real world, mounts are very difficult to catch, and horses are somewhat easier to tame. As for the guards, their mounts are generally wolves, and the leader is still in the shape of a lion. He <laughs> he. John Kuang. Hand over the kingdom's edict and let you go. The robber leader chuckled. It seemed that he knew the leader of the caravan but he was wearing a mask and could not see his appearance clearly. The same goes for other robbers, all dressed in uniform and masked. Now that you know my name and the items I am escorting, you should know that your words are useless. The man named John Kwong said angrily, It seems that the other party is not an ordinary robber. They are not robbing randomly. They are prepared. It's not completely useless. The masked robber leader looked into the distance. At this time, Masked robbers on horseback also appeared from the flanks and rear, surrounding the caravan. Chapter 123 Don't Fight Anymore Is it actually a kingdom edict? Su Chin touched his chin. The kingdom edict, as the name suggests, is a decree issued by the Crescent Moon King. As a holy order, it cannot be put into the player's storage ring. At the same time, it is accompanied by a holy order and usually a reward from the king. Players, who have made great contributions will naturally be rewarded by the king. So, the things there are all reward items for the king? Su Chen cheered up. However, 
The situation in front of me seems a bit complicated. Su Chen planned to watch from the wall first. That war maniac seemed to be a top-notch player of more than 100 levels. Of course, since the robber knew the other party's identity and dared to rob him, he would not be weak. With one million skeleton soldiers, it should be easy to defeat them. But it would be hard to say if they suddenly join forces. Not to mention that they can defeat the skeleton soldiers. But they may be able to protect some treasures and retreat under mutual cover. Don't think it's unbelievable that two hostile forces suddenly join forces. In the face of interests, there are no permanent enemies. If the war madman knew that he could not hold on to these things and gave up part of his interests to the robbers, he would also be tempted by the robbers. The purpose of the robbers' trip was to get these things. And he couldn't get them now. Instead of getting nothing, it was better to join forces and get some of them. So in the current situation, let these two fight first. Come on. Take action. Since you dare to rob me, I think you are not some unknown person. John Kwong drew out his knife and rode a lion towards the robber leader. What John Kwong thought was right was that experts at the same level as him could at least roughly judge within a certain range when making a move. But the robber leader had no intention of fighting him. Boom! The robber leader took out a magic gun and shot at John Kwong's mount. The war madman could only be forced to concentrate on protecting his mount. In this way, the distance is widened. Hey! How dare I fight against a master like you? The robber leader raised his hand and pointed. Boom! A huge explosion sounded in the middle of the caravan. After the SH, L exploded. Several crystal fragments erupted. Those fragments bloomed towards the surroundings with super lethality. It's really a shame. Even the crystal cannon has been arranged in advance. John Kwong was shocked. Even Su Chen felt this power from a distance. This crystal cannon was not the inferior product from Haijia Town last time. Its power was not at the same level. Even though the caravan itself had certain defensive measures, it also suffered a lot of losses from this cannon. Since you are unwilling to hand it over voluntarily, the brothers just have to do something to help you. The masked robber leader smiled evilly and made another gesture. At this time, the other robbers also took out the same magic gun as his and shot wildly at the caravan. Crazy. The asylum of the god of war. John Kwong didn't dare to hold back at this time. He directly activated his ultimate move and rushed towards the robber group. The sudden acceleration of John Kwong made it difficult for the robbers to deal with it. Several robbers were directly killed by John Kwong. Bold roar. At the same time, John Kwong roared. Roaring like Zhang Fei. Not only were the robbers themselves affected, but their mounts were even more affected. Many people even fell off their horses. And John Kwong is like a god of war. He is like a man in a deserted place. When he enters the bandit group, he will be hacked indiscriminately. The level of the robbers is not low. And their equipment is also acceptable. But no one is the enemy of John Kwong. Really? I didn't want to take action. The masked robber leader shook his head. Magnetic pulse. Boom. A wave of magnetic energy blasted towards John Kwong. John Kwong quickly opened a blood shield to resist. But even so, John Kwong's blood volume plummeted. Natural punishment. Several green balls of light in the shape of lightning balls chase towards John Kwong. John Kwong quickly dodges. But this skill is tracking. What a strange skill. Who are you? John Kwong has never heard of such a famous person. You have so many questions. I just want that kingdom edict. The masked robber leader did not directly answer John Kwong's question. Unable to escape, John Kwong burst out with a burst of blood energy, crushing these light balls at the cost of losing blood. It's really wonderful. Su Chen, who was watching from a distance, couldn't help but put down his popcorn and praised. Continue to watch the two gangs fighting. Lord, I found the location of the cannon. At this time, you may suddenly appear from the shadows. Okay. I originally wanted to watch it for a while. Su Chen stood up helplessly. After watching it for so long, both sides were very exhausted. Moreover, the location of the crystal cannon has also been determined. Su Chen has already measured the strength of both sides. With the current losses, they can't escape even if they join forces. It was time for him to take action at this time. Otherwise, one party suddenly loses. Or someone suddenly runs away with something. And no matter how you arrange it, you won't be able to surround him. Su Chen raised his hand slightly. But this time, he did not summon him directly. Su Chen closed his eyes and imagined an encircling circle in his mind. At the same time, he did not forget to draw a circle on the side where the crystal cannon was operated in the distance. Gentlemen, please savor it slowly. Su Chin slowly lowered his hand 
and looked at the people still fighting in the distance, showing a kind smile. At this time, the battle between the two sides has entered a critical stage. Both sides spent a lot of money. However, because the crystal cannon would fire sneak attacks from time to time, the overall advantage was on the robber's side. The battle between John Kwong and the robber leader also uses all means. But John Kwong is very tenacious. His own skill is that less blood will stimulate stronger abilities. He himself is also used to fighting against the wind and turning the tables. Therefore, even if the robbers had a certain advantage, they did not choose to deal with the caravan directly. Obviously, they also know the strength of John Kwong. Instead of fighting with John Kwong, they chose to hang him up and slowly consume all of John Kwong's caravan. This is the safest way to play. That's how it was originally. There is an ambush. And many skeleton soldiers are surrounding us. I don't know who said it. At this time, both the war maniac and the robber leader were attracted by this voice. Looking at the endless, densely packed skeleton soldiers, both of them had surprised looks in their eyes. You actually arranged such means. Do you still have this skill? The two of them spoke almost in unison. However, the two quickly understood each other's tone. Isn't this the opponent's backup plan? This made the two of them breathe a sigh of relief. But they immediately became nervous again. Although it was not arranged by the other party. Things like skeleton soldiers are not friendly to humans. And seeing that the robber on the outside has been killed by the skeleton soldiers. This is obviously not a joke. Chapter 124 Joint Breakout Although these skeleton soldiers are not of high level. There are too many of them. And they have a certain ability to break defenses. The robbers and caravan members fighting on the outside were unable to withstand the advancing speed of the skeleton soldiers. There seems to be something wrong with these skeletons. Are they not ordinary undead creatures? After seeing the injuries reported to him by the members of the caravan, John Kwong couldn't help but re-examine them. The robber leader on the other side had obviously received the same damage information. This characteristic is similar to the characteristics of the siege skeleton soldiers of the god of the undead. The robber leader said slowly, how could it be possible? Doesn't the god of the undead like to attack towns? Why would his skeleton soldiers wander in such wilderness? John Kwong frowned. In player's fixed understanding, the god of the undead specializes in attacking cities and preparing for expansion packs. The appearance of skeleton soldiers of the undead god in the wild is really unexpected. But the god of the undead has never said what he is going to do. All speculations are just wishful thinking of the players. Let's join forces. The army of the undead god destroyed the goods at the port before. And most of your goods can't be saved. But as protection money, you have to give me half of the stuff. The robber leader was quite sober. At this time, he didn't continue to worry about whether he could snatch things away. No matter how hard he took away these things, he wouldn't be able to break out from being surrounded by skeleton soldiers. Not to mention going out with the goods. Even if you want to leave like this, it's hard to say. It's better to join forces with John Kwong's caravan. You are so arrogant. How can you have the confidence to break out and still want half of the goods? John Kwong smiled coldly. The robber leader just stretched out a finger and pointed forward. Only then did John Kwong remember that this group of robbers had come prepared. They even brought heavy crystal cannons. Thinking about it this way, if we really join forces with these robbers, there is still a possibility of saving half of the goods. Although he didn't want to admit it, he couldn't break out without relying on these robbers. Same. If this group of robbers didn't join forces with him, they might be able to escape under the cover of the crystal cannon. But don't worry about the goods. In such a situation, joining forces is indeed a win-win situation. Just when John Kwong was about to agree, he suddenly felt something was wrong. After John Kwong made such a gesture before, the crystal cannon would fire on the designated area. But what now? There was no response. And the skeleton soldiers were still moving towards here from outside, narrowing the encirclement. The leader of the robbers was sweating coldly. Could it be that the guys operating the crystal cannon didn't see it? So the robber leader made another move. As there was no response, the robber leader's movements accelerated. Like a clown. What's happening here? The robber leader quickly opened the call and asked. Skeletons. So many skeletons. On the other end of the call, there was only such intermittent sound. But soon, the player on the call was killed by the skeleton soldiers. How did that happen? Bandits are just unreliable. John Kwong clenched the weapon in his hand and glanced at the robber leader. Why are you standing there in a daze? Break out? That half of the goods? The robber leader also woke up and asked hesitantly. Returning half of the goods? As it is now. We can wait until we can go out. 
Zhang Kuang really wanted to scold this man. But the current situation did not allow Zhang Kuang to be distracted. Soon, the two gangs joined forces. It has to be said that although the battle between the two gangs was very powerful before, the firepower of the two gangs combined into one still caused damage to the skeleton soldiers. The caravan itself carries defensive artillery on its chariots. It's just that the robbers were riding too fast, and it was difficult to aim. Now that we were facing skeleton soldiers, we no longer had the trouble of aiming. A single shot could knock down a large number of skeleton soldiers, as well as Zhang Kuang and the robber leader. The two of them are first-class masters themselves, and they are quite strong at this time with full firepower. 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. The number of skeleton soldiers is decreasing, but the losses to the caravan and the robber group are also continuing to soar. The number of people in the caravan and robber groups is getting smaller and smaller with each passing day. Slowly, only the robber leader and John Kuang were left. Vampire Blade John Kuang also tried his best at this time. He took out a bloody blade and plunged it directly into the sea of skeletons. He already knew that he couldn't protect these goods today. So at least, he would have to break out first, and then look for opportunities. As soon as John Kuang plunged into the sea of skeletons, his blood volume plummeted. But he turned on the blood-sucking state, and every attack would suck back a lot of blood. Although there are still hundreds of thousands of skeleton soldiers, he is stuck in the pile of skeletons. And the only skeleton soldiers that can really hit him are the melee skeleton soldiers around him. He chose to lower his center of gravity and move forward with a low body, so that the skeleton soldiers surrounding him became a layer of protective armor that was immune to damage from the long-range skeleton soldiers. As for joining forces with the robber, he didn't care. The robber leader was obviously a long-range person. Without the cover of John Kuang, he could only make a final burst and wait to be overwhelmed by the skeleton soldiers. John Kuang, you guy who betrayed the agreement, faced with John Kuang's choice to escape alone and break out of the encirclement. The robber leader also said angrily, Are you a fool? You always rob me. Why the H? I do I have to protect you. Right? John Kuang replied directly. But soon, the robber leader fell after a final ripple blew up tens of thousands of skeleton soldiers. John Kuang, on the other hand, was really squirming towards the outside with a ground-type blood-sucking play he came up with. It's really interesting. Su Chin in the distance couldn't help but smile when he saw this scene. This war madman is really a talent. Relying on his blood-sucking ability, he can maintain a bloodline while rolling on the ground. But playing this way is walking a tightrope. If you make any mistake and the blood stealing is not continued, you will be instantly killed by a large amount of damage. In the dark night, control him a little. Su Chin said softly. Yes, my lord. And he nodded and floated over there. At this time, John Kwan was breaking out of the encirclement in a very rhythmic manner. Roll once, cut once, roll once, cut once, and so on. If you play some music, it looks like you are playing a rhythm music game. Dark Cave. And he moved directly towards the rolling route in front of John Kwan and released a secret movement. Move times. Chop. Hit times. Chop. John Kwan was rolling on the ground to a rhythm in his mind. Suddenly, a dark hole appeared in front of him, where he was about to roll. Out of the habit of his body's rhythm, he accidentally rolled up. Chapter 125 Shifeng City's Great Victory The players got carried away. However, at the critical moment, John Kuang reacted and forcibly changed his actions. But the almost perfect rhythm before was also disrupted. Even if he didn't fall into the dark hole, he was still affected by the dark hole. At the same time, the rhythm of blood sucking did not keep up, and he also stayed in place for a while. Just this. The surrounding skeleton soldiers all pressed down on him. He was just rolling on the ground, and there was no need to push him. He just piled up the arhurt on the ground. The war madman, who had lost his rhythm, struggled for a while and forcibly chopped down a wave of skeletons. Like the previous robber leader, a wave broke out and took away some skeletons, but he also died. Su Chen asked you may, and in need to search around the area and spread out the skeleton soldiers directly, not sparing every corner. After confirming that there were no players around, Su Chen came out of the bushes, slowly walking to the caravan machinery trailer. Su Chen had already asked the skeleton soldiers to dismantle all these things. Most of these things are relatively valuable gold and silver goods, as well as some artistic collections. It is estimated that this was a reward from the kingdom. At the same time, Su Chen also searched and finally found an exquisite metal box. 
Open it, and take a look. Kingdom Edict. It is indeed this thing. Suchin picked up a scroll that looked like a document. This thing can be rewarded with a piece of fief-like land. However, the edict is based on an ancient word game system and has no translation. So I don't know how big this place is. Suchin put away the document and took it with him directly. Because the edict contains ancient power. It conflicts with the current space ring and cannot be installed. So Suchin could only pin it on his waist and use a cloak to cover it up a little. Just take care of the rest. Su Chen looked at such a large amount of goods and directly ordered the skeleton soldiers to destroy a small part. All the mechanical vehicles were destroyed. And then a small part was mixed together to create the illusion that they were all destroyed. As for most goods, then let the skeleton soldiers lift them all and transport them to the big pit dug before. With Su Chen's order, the whole thing started to operate like an assembly line. It looked like ants moving, with many skeletons gathering together to lift goods larger than themselves. The melee skeleton soldiers are responsible for transportation. And the long-range skeleton soldiers are responsible for the manufacturing site. The coordination is quite perfect. After all the goods were put into the big pit, Su Chen asked the skeleton soldiers to fill the pit, in addition to arranging basic vegetation as a disguise. Su Chen also used magic props prepared in advance to hide this area. At the same time, I also wrote down the coordinates and sent them directly to Lingfeng for Lingfeng to handle the goods later. After a battle with the caravan and the robber group, most of the million skeleton soldiers were lost. After all, both sides are team-level combatants. In addition to the players themselves, both sides are equipped with heavy firepower. And there are two major first-line players taking charge. If the crystal cannon hadn't been controlled in advance, it's doubtful whether these millions of level 80 skeleton soldiers would have been able to win. There are only more than 300,000 skeleton soldiers left. Just consume it together. It's time to upgrade tomorrow. Su Chen thought for a while. Then he directly ordered to launch and siege towards the nearest town. It doesn't matter whether it can be captured or not. It is just consumed by the way anyway. Whether it's a robber group or a John Kwong business group. After dying, they all resurrected from the nearest town and ran over to see what was going on. But not long after they came out of the city, they discovered that the mighty skeleton soldiers in the distance were surrounding the town where they were. Not. When John Kwong saw the scene, he vaguely guessed a possibility. Soon, the world announcement sounded. World announcement. West Wind City was attacked by the army of the God of the Undead. And a special event was triggered to defend West Wind City. West Wind City entered a combat state. Players in this town cannot go offline. The player's offline character is still in the game. And cannot leave through the teleportation array. Please work hard guard West Wind City. And if you fail, you will get the debuff gaze of the dead God. Gaze of the Undead God. Your damage to the undead is reduced by 30%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 30% duration until you defeat the undead god. Hold the grass. These skeleton soldiers originally set out from that place to attack West Wind City. But they just happened to be hit by me? After Zhang Kuang heard this world announcement, his whole body went numb. The skeleton soldiers who were about to attack the city bumped into their own caravan. And the caravan was destroyed by the way. What kind of outrageous plot is this? World announcement. West Wind City is now available for assistance. Click to agree to join the battlefield. After clicking, the success rewards and failure penalties are the same as West Wind City. Current number of participants. 0 slash 5000. Although Shifeng City is not in the most prosperous area of the empire. It is considered a large city with rich heritage. It is our duty to destroy the god of the dead. I dare to attack a big and prosperous city like West Wind City. It seems that if I don't gain experience, I won't be able to afford the generous experience of the God of the Dead. I couldn't reach any port last time. Isn't this God of the Undead a baby of experience? Let him see the power of our players. Ula. World announcement. The number of support people in West Wind City has reached the upper limit. Currently the number of people who can join. 5000 slash 5000. A hidden plot will be triggered. The mission victory reward will be doubled. And the failure will trigger the mark of the God of the Dead. Mark of the Undead God. Your damage to the undead is reduced by 50%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 50%. And the undead god can lock your position at any time, duration, until you defeat the undead god. Soon, everyone gathered. Some players who had tasted the sweetness last time, and some who felt regretful about the last time, were all teleported over. Sure enough, the reward was doubled. But this time, no one complained. There are even a few bosses, who are stuck at level 148. In order to break through to level 150, 
they chose to take a desperate risk and come to West Wind City. When they reached that level, it was difficult to move up a level, so they finally couldn't bear it after two levels at a time. This time, Such had only planned to kill the remaining 300,000 or so skeleton soldiers, and did not use all his strength at all. In addition, West Wind City already has heavy firepower defense equipment, and some big guys have come. It can be said that this is an easy time for the players. Never had such a rich fight been fought. As the last skeleton soldier fell, the world announced the victory of the city defense. Did you win so easily? It's a shame that I was so nervous and prepared for failure. I would like to call the God of the Dead a large experience pack. Looking forward to the next siege. I will go wherever he attacks. If he attacks the city every day, my level will be able to catch up with those top bosses. Many players cheered. Chapter 126 Is Su Chen a General of God? Su Chen found Bing Chinli in the friends list and made a call directly. Sir, I just received the item and I was about to call you. Bing Feng said respectfully. Could it be said that this is also within the adult's calculations? Well, you can just mail it to me directly and record the coordinates. With that said, Su Chen set a coordinate. E2, 4235, S18, 5115. This is? Bing Feng asked with some confusion, not understanding what Lord Luo Chiu meant by this. You are responsible for disposing of a batch of goods. You must do it cleanly. If you don't do it cleanly, don't expose me. Su Chen said calmly. Hearing this, Bing Feng immediately understood that there was something wrong with the origin of this batch of goods. I see. Bing Feng nodded. But after all, he is also the vice president of a first and second rate guild in the game. After being around in New World for so long, it is not like he has never done similar things. He knew exactly what kind of people to find and what channels to use. Have you finished the mountaintop? Su Chen asked one more question. It's almost done. The formalities will be officially obtained around 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. What do you mean? My lord. Bing Feng asked tentatively. In this case, we should do this sooner rather than later. We will meet at Chin Sui Park at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Keep a low profile and don't be followed. Su Chen said calmly. It's an adult. I know it well. Bing Feng replied solemnly. Su Chen nodded and hung up the call. The quality of the defense device and the puppet driver are both dark gold level although it is not particularly strong. It is enough for practical force. Su Chen was quite satisfied with these two items, although they use the same grade classification as equipment monsters and the like. In fact, the actual combat effectiveness of defensive devices is much higher than that of the same grade. Just like a gold-level defensive device, the ground thorn can cause considerable damage even when faced with hundreds of level monsters. Calculated based on the level 100 of New World and the actual 100-year skill, this dark gold level defensive device can currently deal with most enemies in reality. The crystal cannon, which is known as an absolute defensive weapon, is nothing more than an epic weapon. Many times, these resources are blockade level, and Bing Feng is quite capable of getting them. Su Chen planned to install both defensive devices and puppet-driven scrolls. However, after returning to reality, Su Chen had just taken out the defense device, and his divine power was no longer enough to take out the puppet-driven scroll. It seems that as long as the divine power is slowly restored, it should be able to be used tomorrow. Su Chen thought in his mind. The next day, 2 p.m., Chi Sui Park. Bing Feng had come to Chi Sui Park half an hour ago to wait. At this time, Bing Feng was wearing a peaked cap and a mask as standard. As for the sunglasses, I didn't wear them. Otherwise it would be a bit too suspicious. Bing Feng slowly smoked a cigarette. Still thinking about what happened last night. Although he had no intention of investigating Lord Luochio. Lord Luochio had ordered that yesterday's batch of goods should not be leaked. So he had to first understand what it was about. Right? Otherwise, he wouldn't know anything. Not even who to guard against. It's better if you don't ask first. You'll find out once you ask. It turns out that a bandit robbery occurred not far away from that coordinate. And the team was led by the famous John Kwong himself. Then the caravan and robbers were all passed by the skeleton soldiers who were going to attack West Wind City. And they were all wiped out. It sounds a little funny. If Bing Feng hadn't known the inside story, he would have regarded this matter as a joke like everyone else. But when he thought about the place where Master Luo Chio asked him to pick up the goods, he didn't have to doubt it. He was sure it was the goods from Zan Kuang. In addition, Master Luo Chio showed him skeleton soldiers in reality last time. He also asked what position the skeleton soldiers had in the eyes of others. 
Could it be that Master Luo Chiu is a general under the god of the undead? Bing Feng could not help but shudder when he thought of this. That's the true god's general. Bing Feng felt scared when he thought that he had ever been an enemy of such a person. Although now he has become a chess piece controlled by that adult. But that adult still retained his sanity. But in his mind, he could not disobey Lord Luo Chiu's instructions. The methods of the undead clan. And he is also a subordinate of the true god. So any method such as training puppets is just a trick. Bing Feng even felt lucky for his current situation. When you meet an adult, you must pay more attention to your words. Bing Feng glared at a young man next to him, who looked rather haggard. That young man was one of Bing Feng's recent newcomers. This man was a scum of the Tang sect, and was supposed to be taken to prison. Bing Feng lied and reported that this man had escaped, but secretly used, heart-stopping, to control him. Although this man's morals are corrupt, he is proficient in the use of mechanisms and hidden weapons. And he also has experience in using poison. Tang Feng should have killed you when he caught you last time. Now that you do things for the adults, it can be regarded as redemption. Bing Feng gave a few more words of education. Yes, Brother Bing. Tang Feng replied helplessly. Originally, he didn't want to obey at first. But after being tortured by that supreme pressure, Tang Feng had already given in. However, surrender is all that matters. Tang Feng has no feelings for the adult he has never met before. I was just forced to respect by this powerful pressure. Seeing Tang Feng's look, Bing Feng probably understood what Tang Feng was thinking. But as long as the pressure is not triggered, it at least proves that this guy has no objection. Anyway, when this guy sees that adult's power in the future, he will definitely be as impressed from the bottom of his heart as he is. After 2 o'clock, we waited for another 10 minutes. At this time, Su Chen arrived belatedly. However, the two of them did not show any dissatisfaction. Su Chen can be late, but they can't be late for a minute. They can only arrive early. Grown-ups, Bing Feng said respectfully. Grown-ups. Although Tang Feng was not convinced from the bottom of his heart, he still could not break away from the coercive force in his heart. He is? Su Chen glanced at Tang Feng and asked. He is one of them in the development plan you mentioned last time. Tang Feng's hidden weapons and mechanisms are unique. Bing Feng explained quickly. When Su Chen heard this, he also remembered that he had indeed said that last time. Okay. Calling yourself an adult in the real world will sound weird and will be viewed with suspicion. Since I am now the contractor of that mountain, you can call me Mr. Su or Boss Su. Su Chen corrected the names of these two people. Chapter 127,000 Weight Crossbow and Hunting Mechanical Doll. Follow Mr. Su's orders. The two of them answered in unison. Let's go. Now go to my mountain and have a good look. Su Chen said with a slight smile. Everyone came here very low-key, and it was impossible to run with a blessing of infuriating energy. Bing Feng's cars were all relatively stylish sports cars. It was still a very ordinary family car that Tang Feng drove. And we went to the contracting mountains together. Su Chen chose this place because the distance was not very far. And he would arrive in a short time. There is a winding river surrounding this mountain. Although it is not well known. It can be regarded as a good place where the mountains and rivers are reflected. Except for this big mountain. The other mountains are all small mountains. Surrounded by a faint loneliness. All three of them are talented. I didn't feel anything at all the first time I got off the car. But after observing carefully for a while, I felt that there was something slightly different about this place. Mr. Su, I visited this place yesterday. Although there was no sudden aura, there was a faint feeling of being extraordinary. Bing Feng said first. You know, those precious places with spiritual energy have long been used to establish sex. But this lord could still find such an unexplored place. Since you have come to learn about it, Please give me an overview. Su Chen stood with his hands behind his hands and said calmly. The wild resources here are pretty good. But it is precisely because of the wild animals that there are no people living on the mountain. There is a small village not far away. People from the small village occasionally come to pick some wild flowers and plants. But Mr. Su doesn't have to worry about this. Tang Feng will arrange some confusing mechanisms. At the same time, I also control a group of gangsters who can serve as security guards responsible for patrolling and dissuading people from going up the mountain. Bing Feng expressed his thoughts one by one. Su Chen couldn't help but nodded after hearing this. It seems that Bing Feng is quite thoughtful. At least he has taken into account some daily mundane things. Yes, but we still have to do business on the surface. We have to do superficial work such as developing fish ponds and planting fruit trees to avoid suspicion. Su Chen said as he walked towards the mountain. Since there were not many people here, 
Su Chen had no way of hiding his skills and walked towards the mountains as fast as flying. The two of them also had skills and followed immediately. Overall, it's not bad. When the time comes, you can ask people to build some houses. I will move in when the time comes. And I will also let the security guards and idle superpowers move in. You don't need to because you have a job now. After looking around for a while, Su Chen said slowly, Yes, Mr. Su. Bing Feng also agreed immediately and kept it in mind. While Su Chen was patrolling, he was also looking for a location. Su Chen stopped in front of a rock. This view is quite good. So let's put it here. Su Chen said and took out the defensive device. A large heavy crossbow suddenly appeared in front of everyone. Thousand weight crossbow. Defense, heavy weapon. Filling speed slow. Attack power, extremely high. Accuracy, extremely high. Active use, perform an ultra accurate standard shot. The speed and attack power of this arrow will be greatly increased. Unfortunately, the crossbow can only attack a single target. This one is more like a heavy sniper. Su Chen was actually quite satisfied with this. In the real world now, there are actually not so many monsters. And the biggest enemies are those with superpowers. With such a defensive weapon, if someone with superpowers comes, even a master will not be able to withstand a sudden blow. Bing Feng was in a complicated mood next to him. Isn't this the Qian Chong Nu that I acquired? Bing Feng immediately thought of it when he saw this. But Su Chen didn't say anything. And he didn't dare to say anything. Tang Feng on the other side was a little curious. At first glance, I didn't care. But after careful observation, I found that this structure is extremely delicate. As a person with a certain talent in machine arts, he quickly saw the extraordinary nature of it. Tang Feng could feel its power even before it was launched. But his expression now is extremely complicated. He wanted to go up and study it carefully. But he didn't dare. At this time, Su Chen did not stop and continued to take out the puppet device. A man holding a fork suddenly appeared as before. Hunting mechanical doll. Form switching. Can be switched to hound mode or scout bird mode. Su Chen was a little curious about the mode switch. Under Su Chen's instructions, the hunter holding a steel fork immediately turned into a steel toothed hound. After a while, it turned into a mechanical bird again. Isn't this the hunting mechanical doll I acquired? Bing Feng felt numb. Good guy. Can this adult directly bring things from the game into reality? Isn't this too magical? Wait. This lord is a general of the god of the dead. Wouldn't that be able to bring those endless armies to reality? When Bing Feng thought of this, his eyes flickered. But when he thought that he was working under this adult, Bing Feng felt filled with a sense of security. Tang Feng, who was next to him, had already knelt down. This level of mechanical skill is simply immeasurable. Bing Feng was thinking about things in the game. But Tang Feng was dazzled by the machine skills displayed in front of him. His curiosity about the mechanism technique had already overcome the fear in his heart. And he stared at those two things intently. Bing Feng, you did a good job in this matter. And this is your reward. Su Chen snapped his fingers. And a bottle of light blue potion appeared in Bing Feng's hand. Bing Feng caught it in a hurry. This is? Bing Feng asked curiously. You drink first. Su Chen did not answer. Bing Feng didn't hesitate and drank it directly. Anyway, his current fate is also in Su Chen's thoughts. If Su Chen really wants to harm him, he can do it with just a thought. Such a waste of stuff is simply unnecessary. After drinking it, Bing Feng felt that his energy was increasing. He couldn't help but release an ice power. I found that the power was much stronger than before. This is a potion that increases a certain amount of magic attack. Su Chen brought it back when he first discovered it. And, New World, there are potions with fixed attributes. But the same potion will have resistance. And it can no longer be used after a certain number of attributes have been used. At this time, the ice wind in the real world is still a bottle that has never been kryptonized. So it is naturally effective. It is a great honor for me to serve you. Bing Feng immediately knelt down and thanked the reward. In fact, through the first two items, Bing Feng had roughly guessed that these were the potions in the game. But it is precisely because of this that Bing Feng is extremely shocking. Bing Feng felt that his future was bright. Chapter 128 is her daughter a fake. You called it wrong again. Su Chen said slowly. Only then did Bing Feng realize that he had accidentally called an adult again. Sorry, Mr. Su. I'm too excited. Bing Feng calmed down and said. Tang Feng glanced sideways. A little envious. However, compared to the rewards, Tang Feng was focusing on machine skills at this time. And his eyes were on the thousand weight crossbow and the hunting mechanical doll. 
seeing Tang Feng's fixed eyes. Su Chen probably understood what he was thinking. Tang Feng. What kind of existence is the Tang sect you belong to? Su Chen asked softly, although Su Chen's voice was very soft. To Tang Feng. It was like thunder. Although he didn't know why Su Chen asked this, Tang Feng told Su Chen everything. After listening to Tang Feng's words, Su Chen suddenly realized something. As far as Su Chen knew, there was actually no record of the Tang sect in the Orthodox martial arts history books. Tang sect exists more in various martial arts. Many authors will quote this setting of Tang sect when writing about martial arts themes. More and more authors are doing this, giving Tang Nen an irreplaceable position in the world of martial arts. In ordinary people's perception, this is the origin of Tang sect. But in Tang Feng's answer, Su Chen gained a new understanding. In fact, the Tang sect originally had its branches in the secular world, but because the Tang sect's mechanism skills were too developed, they even developed a mechanism technique that allowed ordinary people to kill cultivators. This completely touched the cake of the ancient martial arts world. And the Tang sect, along with its branches and leaves under the secular cloth, was eradicated by the various sects and aristocratic families. Today, the Tang sect has declined and it is just relying on the mechanism skills left by its ancestors to preserve its branches and leaves. Otherwise, with the strength of the Tang sect, even an ordinary disciple walking outside would not be able to be manipulated by Bing Feng at will. Since you have some knowledge of institutions, these two things are under your control. Su Chen said calmly, Thank you, Mr. Su. I will definitely make good use of these two treasures. Tang Feng knelt down and thanked him very excitedly. As for being so excited, there will be more mechanisms and devices in the future. When the time comes, don't say you're tired and just go. Su Chen smiled softly. No, no, I will definitely serve Mr. Su well. Tang Feng was even more shocked when he heard that there would be more mechanisms that he could control in the future. Su Chen waved to Bing Feng and asked him to go over. Let Tang Feng get familiar with the use of these mechanisms. Mr. Su? After walking for a while, Bing Feng asked. He knew that Su Chen came here and had something to ask him to do. Does that Inspector Lin Lin have any close confidence? Su Chen did not forget this incident. Only by truly controlling Lin Lin can the threat be temporarily resolved. But Lin Lin's strength was still hard to estimate. And Su Chen didn't want to fight an uncertain battle. There are several people around her. But they are all staff deployed by the supervisory committee to accompany her. I used some resources of the Zhan family to investigate these people. And none of them were with her before. However. There was another discovery. When Bing Feng said this, he hesitated. Explain, Su Chen said calmly. She has a daughter, and I visited her several times after she was transferred here. When I first checked, I felt there was nothing wrong with her. Her resume from junior high school to college was all normal. Until I got bored and looked up information about elementary school. The evaluations of the personalities in elementary school and junior high school were completely different. I checked carefully and found that the elementary school and junior high school students were not the same person at all. Bing Feng said truthfully, except for the surface. These messages are all encrypted. If he can use a little bit of John Jia's intelligence resources, he will not have permission to access these materials at all. He has been forging his identity since more than 10 years ago. It seems that this person will not be simple. Su Chen also came to appreciate it, like some really big forces. It takes decades of management to place a chess piece in the layout. And this Lin Lin fits the bill. And it's also the background that binds two chess pieces. Mr. Su, if such a person cannot stay for once and let her run away, it will be extremely troublesome. Bing Feng also said helplessly. Su Chen also nodded. With such a background, if he ran away, he would basically be exposed to that force. But if he just ignores her, she will continue to cause trouble for him. What a hassle. If only she could control her fake daughter first. Su Chen touched his chin. At least, they will have a clear understanding of Lin Lin's true strength and background. Mr. Su, this is feasible. I can feel that her daughter is much weaker than Lin Lin. Bing Feng replied immediately. This is a solution. But no matter Lin Lin or her fake daughter, they can't be allowed to run away once they take action. How is that shipment going? Su Chen asked about Bing Feng. I have asked people to move the place. Package it in batches sell it in different places, and wait for two days for the limelight to minimize the impact. Bing Feng replied respectfully, you take the money first when you get it, and increase your efforts to acquire government equipment, preferably those with the ability to control and retain people individually. Do you understand what I mean? 
Su Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. Bing Feng might not have understood it before. But after seeing the thousand weight crossbow and hunting mechanical doll, he acquired materialize into reality. He still doesn't understand. Mr. Su was very clever. And his subordinates were much more sure of catching her in this way. Bing Feng said in surprise. Okay. In reality, you should pay more attention to the construction of this mountain. If you can't do it alone, you can also ask someone like Tang Feng to assist you. In short, if you do it well, I will give you clear rewards and punishments. Su Chen patted Bing Feng's shoulder. Xiao Xiao must live up to Mr. Su's expectations. Bing Feng was very excited when he thought that the rewards were those good things in New World. Seeing Bing Feng beating the blood, Su Chen nodded with great satisfaction. Compared with those expressionless tool men, Su Chen still thinks that such motivated Bing Feng is more interesting. At this time, Tang Feng also read over to report his mastery of the two mechanisms. Su Chen listened casually and let him do whatever he wanted. Then I will go back first. Su Chen waved his hand and said, Mr. Su, this is the car key. You can drive my car back. Tang Feng immediately took out his car keys. Su Chen also remembered that he did not seem to have a car. Although he can run faster than a car, walking in the city requires a car for convenience. At the same time, having a car also saves effort, as you don't have to waste your energy all the time. Okay. Su Chen took the key casually. Bing Feng regretted why he didn't drive here. It would be great if he could give the car to the adult himself. Chapter 129 Master Qin's Prosperous Age Brother Chicken evolves to the legendary level. An international airport. Several luxury cars stopped in front of the airport. The driver hurriedly opened the door after parking the car. And Guizhuan and Shuring got out of the car. At this time, a man carrying a briefcase walked towards the motorcade. Looking closer, the face is longer than that of ordinary people. With a narrow face and a high nose. And a small nose tip. The bridge of the nose looks like it is supported by a bone protrusion. Mr. Yagyu, you are still so punctual. Guizhuan walked over and shook hands with him. Chen Anjuan, I am very happy to meet you again. The cooperation between the Yagyu family and Mr. Qin will definitely be pleasant this time. Lu Shen Wu is also very formal and has a ghostly question mark named Chinin. It is unknown whether Chinin is Gui Swan's real name or a pseudonym. Gui Swan has always been very cautious and will not reveal his real name easily. Waited two minutes. Another blonde man with blue eyes and a yellow skinned man with single eyelids and a wide middle face and a narrow forehead came over. Mr. Peter, Mr. King, you are finally here. Gui Swan smiled and greeted the two of them. However, the two of them hadn't spoken yet. And Takashi Yagyu next to him was unhappy. They don't even understand basic punctuality. I don't think Mr. Chin needs to cooperate with them. The Yagyu family is enough. Lu Shen Wu coldly snorted. Yagyu Takashi. What do you mean? After hearing this, Jean Wenji was also unhappy. It's not interesting. I'm just saying it realistically. Lu Shen Wu said coldly. In fact, he didn't have much dissatisfaction with Peter. The main reason was that the Jean family, represented by Jean Wenji, had some business disputes with the Yagyu family recently. However, Yagyu's martial eyes were higher than the top, which didn't bother him very much. Guys, I have organized a reception banquet for you. Let's sit down and have a good chat. Don't let the little things hurt the harmony. Guess at this time. He also came out to mediate as the boss. Okay. He was right. We were late. Uh huh. Peter is an optimistic person. After Guishu came to reconcile, he responded immediately. And Peter also knew about the business conflict between the Yagyu family and the Jean family. So he didn't stupidly participate in the tit for tat confrontation between the two, which made Jean Wenji happy. Guys, please get in the car. Guishuan waved and several luxury cars parked in front of a few people. Come on. We'll lead the way. Gui counted the first car. And Xian quickly followed. After the car was turned on, Shuren used Jinchi to make sound insulation. Teacher, wouldn't it be good for us to unite foreign forces to deal with those sects and hidden families? Shuren said worriedly. In any case, colluding with foreign enemies seems to be a bit too bad of a teacher. Those sects and hidden families deserve it. Over the years, they have cooperated with the holy sect to suppress us. The ghost smiled coldly. But, Shuren still felt something was wrong. Don't think too much. In fact, I am only responsible for receiving this matter. The real decision of this matter is not even made by Mr. Chin. Gushan waved his hand. Hearing this, Shuren trembled. She always thought that Master Chin was the supreme being. 
But now she heard that there was someone above Master Qin. Okay. Don't think too much. We just have to do our own thing. Gui Swan said. Looking out the window. What's more? What's more? Sharon was a little confused. Huh? These foreign forces want to share the benefits. But they don't know that the promises they made are all empty promises. When he said this, Gui Swan's expression was a bit crazy. What's more? The prosperous age that Master Qin mentioned is coming soon. Gui Swan stared out the window. The beads in his hands constantly moving. Seeing the teacher's crazy look, Shuren shrank back. Do not know why. The teacher in front of me seemed a little strange. A few days passed. In a volcano near the sea, Su Chin took a look at his experience bar and saw that he was still a few bars short of level 90. This upgrade speed is pretty good. Su Chin chuckled. His current leveling idea is very simple, which is to fight and catch at the same time. Su Chin let all the enslaved monsters go out to fight monsters. Even the ancient ghost ship took the captured epic ghost ship to fight monsters on the sea. It looks like one Su Chin is leveling up. But in fact there are dozens of Su Chins leveling up together. It's not that it's an exaggeration to say that the experience is hundreds of times. After all, some monsters are stronger and some are slightly weaker. There are still dozens of times less experience. If it weren't for such a powerful leveling speed and such a huge experience bar, how many years and months would it take Su Chin to catch up with others' efforts in a year? In the recent period, Brother G finally broke through the legendary boss through continuous devouring. Name, Swift Chicken King. Variety, Half Poultry. Level, 89. Level, Legendary Boss. Skills, Double Sword Mastery. Gale Sword. Back Jump Slash. Parry. Gale Dodge. Enhanced Throwing Weapon. Phantom Sword. Phantom Sword Chi. Wind Sword. Sword Return, Tulip Sword Flower, Little Sword Spirit, 10,000 Swords Return to the Sect, Peerless Sword Chicken, Master of Weapons. Originally, Chicken Brother's skills have always been relatively few, but this time he evolved to the Legendary Boss, and Brother Chicken's skills were greatly enhanced. Among the common skills, Double Sword Mastery, Parry, Wind Dodge, Enhanced Throwing Weapons, and Phantom Sword are added. Dual Sword Mastery increases the flexibility of the dual swords and increases a certain amount of damage. There's not much to say about parry and blast dodge. Strengthening throwing weapons means you can throw a sword. However, after evolution, Chicken Brother's own weapons became three swords. And there was a sword on the back of the dual wielding swords. After throwing a sword like this, you can also draw out the sword behind you and use it. The Phantom Sword adds a shadow to the sword. There is no actual attack power bonus in combat. This trick is mainly used to confuse the opponent. The little sword spirit can summon a small sword spirit that can attack independently. The most noteworthy one is the weapon master. When the weapon master's active effect is turned on, it can increase a certain amount of explosive power. The most outrageous thing is actually the passive effect. Passive effect? All weapons can be controlled with the strength of the sword. For example, after throwing all three swords, you can still use the skill when you pick up a stick. The Phantom Sword energy becomes the Phantom Stick energy. The Tulip Sword Flower becomes the Tulip Stick Flower. And the 10,000 Swords Return to the Sect becomes the 10,000 Sticks Return to the Sect. The biggest effect of this move is that it is not limited to using a sword. For example, if Su Chen wants to do something bad, please note that it is an analogy and not that he really wants to do it. After all, Su Chen is a good person with a conscience. After Su Chen did several bad things, there would be rumors in the world that there was a swordsman who was doing bad things recently. But when he did several bad things, he kept switching weapons, using a knife for one thing and a stick for another. So it was difficult for people to associate them with each other. After all, energy is limited. And it is difficult for someone to have such high achievements in different weapons. Chapter 130, The Team Leader Has Been A Little Strange Lately. Can you follow me and have a look? At this moment, the communicator in the game rang. Su Chen took a look, and the ID showed, Qianli Bing. What's up? Su Chen asked straight to the point. Bing Feng didn't dare to come to him if he had nothing to do. Mr. Su, the building is almost done. Just as you said, Bing Feng said respectfully. In order for Bing Feng to be familiar with this name, Su Chen asked him to call him Mr. Su in private. It's quite fast. Su Chen touched his chin. With today's technology, as long as you are willing to spend money, you can quickly build a house that is not too complicated. In addition, I have recently figured out the whereabouts of Lin Lin's fake daughter. Mr. Su, 
Do you want to do it? Bing Feng said in a questioning tone. Okay. We'll meet at the new base later. Naturally. The new base is the mountain he currently owns. Before the game and reality merge, he will temporarily use this place as his base. Su Chen planned to take action on this matter personally, whether it's Lin Lin or the fake daughter arranged for her by her organization. Once you decide to take action, there is no room for error. After hanging up the call, Su Chen also directly logged out of the game. New base. A family car parked at the entrance. This is exactly the car that Tang Fong had used a few days ago. In the past few days, the entire mountain has undergone a big change. The first is the outer perimeter of the mountain. The high barbed wire fence is already being pulled up. But it is not halfway done yet. After all, the scope of the mountain is still quite large. At the same time, tower surveillance is also installed at the gate. And security guards are patrolling the gate. Stop! Just when Su Chen was about to drive in through the gate, the security guard put down the roadblock and scolded Su Chen. Su Chen didn't call Bing Feng. When the security guard came, Su Chen lowered the window. Su Chen looked directly at the security guard, who suddenly felt numb. The person in front of him made the pressure in his heart slowly come down. Why didn't he know who was in front of him? I've seen big cars before. No, Mr. Su doesn't recognize your car. The security guard had obviously been warned. Although he was controlled by Bing Feng. Bing Feng said that the person he really wanted to serve was that adult. Also, that adult doesn't like to be called adult and wants to be called Mr. Su. For a moment, he forgot. Not bad. Very dedicated. Keep it up. Su Chen encouraged him. Although his car was stopped, Su Chen was not angry at all. Instead, he did this to ensure that other people could not enter easily. Thank you, Mr. Su. The security guard immediately stood at attention and saluted. But he was just a gangster before. His security uniform was not very neat. And his salute looked messy. Su Chen waved his hand. He was also interested in correcting the guy's posture and drove indirectly. Along the way, Su Chen saw many people. These people are ostensibly fruit and tea farmers. And this mountain is ostensibly engaged in cultivation. So there appear to be many fruit and tea farmers. But in fact, Su Chen saw many people with cultivation abilities. Good guy. Has this ice wind captured half of the superpowers in this city? I really don't know what Bing Feng has been doing these days. The other side. I originally made an appointment with Su Chen. But there was a form to fill out. So Bing Feng was delayed for a while. Due to the delay. The ice wind is now very strong. It would be bad if Mr. Su was angry. After finally completing the task. Bing Feng ran out in a hurry. Because Bing Feng was in a very impatient mood now. He was not as cautious as usual. And did not pay attention to the surrounding situation. Tai Man and Blue Bird were drinking tea and resting on the first floor of the office building. When the ice wind came down, the Blue Bird said H, low. But Bing Feng ran out of the door, as if he didn't notice. The team leader was so serious. I greeted him, as if I didn't see him. Blue Bird pouted and said unhappily, Hey, have you noticed that the team leader has been acting strange recently? Tai Man looked at Blue Bird and said, Seems to be. Blue Bird felt a little strange when he heard it. Not to mention the team leader's strength. Even with his own strength. There are people in this hall who can sense it immediately. To say that the team leader was careless and didn't sense it. He even took the initiative to say H. Low without seeing it. Just this thing is very strange. I'm not just referring to this one thing. Think about it. The team leader has been very busy recently. And is in a hurry as soon as he gets off work. Not to mention eating together. Even the dungeon in New World doesn't take us to fight. Tai Man analyzed. Well, I feel this way. The team leader looks very tired. What kind of things can make him feel tired with his cultivation level? The more Bluebird listened, the more it made sense. You say, how about we follow the team leader and take a look? Tai Man said and stood up directly. Oh no. The team leader found out. And we have to be reprimanded again. Bluebird hesitated. Didn't you just upgrade the tracking system in the past two days? And the team leader didn't even respond to your greeting just now. He won't notice if we follow and keep a good distance. Tai Man chuckled. Then if you were discovered and asked. Blue Bird was also a little moved. She was indeed quite curious. Hey. Just say it was my decision. Don't worry. Don't worry if I keep talking. Tai Man walked directly towards the gate. Alright. Blue Bird nodded. She was finally persuaded by Tai Man. Soon. They locked onto Bing Feng's car and chased towards Bing Feng. 
I originally thought that I would be discovered by Bing Feng soon. As a result, Bing Feng didn't seem to notice them at all. Just like the situation on the first floor of the hall just now. Bing Feng seemed to be in a hurry about something and had no intention of paying attention to them. Maybe the team leader really has something important to do. How about we go back? The Blue Jays retreated somewhat. What are you afraid of? You still don't know the character of the team leader. Don't worry. It's my decision. Tai Man drove the car and said casually. Bluebird opened his mouth, but said no more. She always felt that something was wrong, but she couldn't put her finger on it. Huh? Bluebird looked at the instrument. A little strange. What's wrong? Tai Man asked. The team leader's car stopped for a moment in front of a barren mountain and then drove in. Bluebird said a little strangely. The team leader is so busy just to come to this barren mountain? Then let's get out of the car and sneak over. Tai Man saw that the destination was not far away and stopped the car directly. At their speed, they are no slower than cars. The two of them quickly walked towards the place that was shown as a barren mountain on the map. Chapter 131 The Lord Wants to See You Along the way, Bing Feng was unaware of either of them. Uh-huh. I don't know if the team leader's anti-tracking ability has declined. Or if my tracking ability has become stronger. Tai Man said proudly. Blue Bird had something on his mind and ignored Tai Man's bragging. After a while, the two came to the barren mountain area. What is the situation? Why is there a high barbed wire fence? And there are guards and security guards patrolling. Tai Man said in surprise. He was observing with the bluebird hiding in the grass. However, my instrument shows that this is indeed a barren mountain. This is the latest map. Bluebird frowned slightly. No matter what. Let's go up through the gap over there. Tai Man pointed to the distance. Although this barren mountain is a little different. It seems that the security capabilities are still relatively poor. And even the barbed wire fences have not been completed yet. At this time, Bluebird also felt that there was something strange about this mountain. And since the matter was related to the team leader, she still agreed with Timon's decision. The other side. In a two-story courtyard. Mr. Su. I'm sorry. I'm a few minutes late because I have something to do. Bing Feng said fearfully. Just when Su Chen was about to speak. You may flew in from the window. My lord. An intruder has sneaked in quietly. You may flapped her little wings and said. Oh. Su Chen looked at Bing Feng with interest. As soon as the ice wind arrived. The so-called intruder sneaked in with its hind legs. This obviously followed Bing Feng. Your Excellency. My loyalty can be proven by the sun and the moon. I will never do anything to betray your excellency. When Bing Feng heard this, he immediately knelt down in fear. Su Chen didn't have much reaction. He did not doubt that Bing Feng betrayed him. If he really wanted to betray him, Bing Feng would no longer be able to kneel in front of him. Bring up the surveillance screen. Su Chen glanced at Tang Feng next to him. Tang Feng started to operate it proudly. In the past few days, he had been studying the mechanical devices brought by Su Chen and he was really tricked into making some tricks. Tang Feng connected the puppet that could turn into a scout bird to the surveillance system. At this time, Tang Feng immediately locked onto the intruder. A man and a woman suddenly appeared on the virtual screen in front of them. It turned out to be them. Su Chen was quite impressed with these two people. When he initially focused on Bing Feng, he had naturally seen these two people. It must have been that Tai Man's idea. The young one came in such a hurry and forgot about it. As soon as he saw the scene, Bing Feng understood immediately. Originally, he had no intention of developing these two people. Firstly, Su Chen told him to find some people who were scum in their own right. Secondly, he also had a certain amount of friendship with these two people. And he never thought of involving them. Mr. Su, do you want me to activate the mechanism and kill them directly? Or give orders to the cultivators lurking on the mountain to encircle and suppress them? Tang Feng said with a smile. Hearing Tang Feng's words, Bing Feng couldn't bear it. But in his current situation, it's not his turn to make a decision. It doesn't matter. Let them come up. These two are quite interesting. Su Chen waved his hand and showed a gentle smile. It's Mr. Su. After Tang Feng heard this, he immediately took action. Let those hidden cultivators pretend that they have not discovered them and let them come up. Okay. You get up too. Next time if you have a job that you can't shirk. Just tell me through soul communication. Forget it this time. You must stay vigilant at all times. Su Chen waved his hand, signaling the ice wind to rise. Thank you very much. Mr. Su. Bing Feng breathed a sigh of relief. After getting up, Bing Feng stood aside, waiting for Tai Man and his two men to come up. He complained in his heart that Tai Man had let him down. 
and at the same time, he was also confused in his heart, wondering how Su Chen would deal with these two people. But no matter how he dealt with it, it was not his turn to speak. This person was brought here because of him. So not punishing him was considered a mercy. How dare he open his mouth to plead for mercy for the two of them? These fruit farmers look strange. Not like ordinary people. But they didn't notice us. Tai Man also discovered in a secret that there was something strange about those fruit farmers. Shu. Keep your voice down. Bluebird glared at Timon. Shu. Tai Man also learned to shush and did not dare to speak loudly. Although the mountain was full of strange things, their journey was smooth and smooth. It's that hut. And the team leader is inside now. Bluebird looked at the instrument and stopped. Then let's find a tree and see what's going on. Tai Man said softly. So, the two found a tree where they could observe inside. Why is the team leader standing next to a pretty boy like a frustrated little wife? After Tai Man saw what was going on inside, he couldn't help but laugh. That's right. Right? Bluebird's expression suddenly changed. What's wrong? Tai Man asked curiously. There is another person named Tang Fong. The team leader returned all his files a while ago and said that this person's case has been closed. Bluebird suddenly felt something was wrong. Taking a closer look, the three people didn't say anything, as if they were waiting for someone. The young man in the middle was drinking tea slowly, as if he wanted to say something. Bluebird learned lip reading and carefully watched what the young man was saying. Come here. Come in and have a cup of tea. This is the information that Bluebirds get from lip reading. For a moment, she suddenly understood something. Why? This mountain hides so many practitioners. But their infiltration is so smooth. Run! Bluebird said directly. Tai Man was not a fool. When he saw what Bluebird said, he immediately moved. The Lord wants to see you. But you cannot leave. A petite girl, with fluttering wings, suddenly appeared behind them. You go first. Tai Man took out his weapon and waved it. Together, the Bluebird didn't run away. Boom! With just one blow, the little girl just moved her fingers. And Tai Man was knocked back. I'm no match for her. I'm sorry, but I had to bring you here. Run away, and I'll fight her. At this time, Tai Man rarely spoke seriously. But, Bluebird couldn't bear it. You go out and tell the inspector about this. If you don't run away, you won't have a chance. Tai Man roared angrily. And his whole aura changed. Bluebird knew that Tai Man had activated his secret technique and was about to fight. Tai Man's secret technique will not increase his speed but will only increase his combat effectiveness. But even so, he will not be a match for the little girl in front of him. Once Tai Man activated this secret technique, he basically couldn't escape. Just as Tai Man said, if she didn't run away, she would have no chance. And Tai Man's efforts would be wasted. Tai Man, Bluebird hesitated no longer. Chapter 132 Bing Feng regains his old subordinates and fakes his daughter Lin Yin. I will avenge you. Under the cover of Tai Man, Blue Bird directly chose to escape. You may immediately plan to deal with Tai Man directly and catch the Blue Bird. It doesn't matter. Just play with him slowly and don't be too harsh. When Yu Mei was about to give chase, Su Chen said lightly, Yu Mei, who had already exposed her fangs, retracted her fangs at this time. Since the Lord told her not to care, all she had to do was obey. Tang Feng, let me check the level of your mechanism use. Remember not to use the ultimate move. I'll keep her here to help. Su Chen tilted his head slightly and said, Yes, Mr. Su. Tang Feng answered in response, with an excited look in his eyes. It happened that he also needed to test the actual combat effectiveness of these mechanisms. In the past few days, Su Chen brought back some devices as soon as his power recovered. Except there are no epic level ones. A lot of dark gold level and gold level devices have been brought back. The bluebird is on the run. Call out. Suddenly a cold arrow shot out, and the blue bird quickly dodged. When I looked back, I saw that there was no one there. I don't know where the arrow came from, but the blue bird didn't have time to think too much and continued to run away. Call out. Call out. Call out. Several more cold arrows struck. This time the blue bird finally saw clearly where the arrow came from. Just now she clearly saw a fruit tree. She drew her bow and arrow and shot at her. Demonized tree troops. This is a gold level device that Su Chen brought back a few days ago. It can enchant hundreds of trees and turn them into tree soldiers. Mainly because Su Chen thought there were many trees on his mountain. So he brought this device back. The bluebird was retreating at this time. Brush. Suddenly a bright blade struck towards her. 
It turns out that the tree behind her is a weapon, which has never been hidden. The power of this knife is very strong, and the speed is very fast. Blue Bird has no way to hide, and can only resist. Boom! Her chi shield exploded instantly, and she was directly injured by this knife. Then, another magic tree soldier used magic, before Bluebird could get up from the ground. Her feet were tied by tree vines, and her hands were tied behind her back, and even her mouth was blocked by a tree vine when she opened it. Woo woo! The Bluebird struggled on the ground, but she was injured, and these vines were not ordinary vines, so she couldn't break free at all. At this time, a scout bird flew down from the sky. The scout bird changed and turned into a puppet hunter. Then, the puppet hunter grabbed her and directly carried her on his shoulders. Bluebird was struggling, but the puppet hunter punched her twice in the stomach, causing her to lose strength and become weak. Soon, the puppet hunter threw her to the ground. When she opened her eyes weakly, she found that the young man from before was sitting on a chair with his legs crossed, and Bing Feng and the scum of the Tang Sek were standing on both sides. Next to him was Time Man, who was already scarred at this time. She wanted to stand up, but found that her hands and feet were still tied by tree vines. However, the tree vine gagged and her mouth has been released. Bing Feng, you scum. It's a shame that Timon and I have always trusted you so much. Following two scumbags. Are you still worthy of your current position? As soon as Bluebird opened his mouth, he cursed Bing Feng. How did you talk to Mr. Su? Do you want me to teach you? Bing Feng was about to slap her mouth. Of course, what he did may not mean that Su Chen would extinguish the fire and protect Bluebird and Timon. It would be bad for everyone to anger Su Chen. No need. Su Chen raised his hand and walked towards the Blue Bird. Su Chen kept approaching the Blue Bird, and the Blue Bird kept struggling, but to no avail. After approaching, Su Chen squatted down. With one hand, he lifted the Blue Bird's chin. Scumbag, let me go! Blue Bird thought that Su Chen was going to do something to her, and kept struggling. But after seeing Su Chen's eyes, the Blue Bird slowly stopped struggling. All right. Seeing that the Blue Bird was under control, Su Chen stood up. From now on, these two people will be under your command. These two people were originally considered your subordinates. Su Chen glanced at Bing Feng and chuckled. Thank you, Mr. Su. Bing Feng immediately thanked him. Let's go. It's time to meet that fake daughter. Su Chen waved his hand. Night falls. Lin Yan drove the car and threw the earphones aside. Just now, she had a conversation with her mother, Lin Lin. Although it was a mother-daughter relationship on the surface, it was actually a superior-subordinate relationship. Just now Lin Lin asked her why she had not investigated the information about Blessed Land for so long. Every time she talks about Lin Lin, she always looks expressionless. She knew that she was just a pawn cultivated by the organization since she was a child. But she also had fantasies about maternal love when she was young. However, this is destined to be just a fantasy. She has been lonely since she was a child. All the organization wants is an emotionless chess piece. And she doesn't dare to have a heart to heart with anyone. At this time, roadblocks were placed in front. She just drove back to the city from the suburbs. This road was sparsely populated. Why were there roadblocks on this road? However, there were also a few cars stopped around. So she had no choice but to get out of the car. Sorry. There is an emergency ahead, and the road will be closed for about 10 minutes. A person who looked like a staff member said to several drivers. Not far from the roadblock. There is a kebab stall. 10 minutes. But there is no need to take a detour. So why not just wait here? The drivers were already eating kebabs. Lin Yen looked a little greedy. And it looked delicious to those people. Grill me five skewers of mutton. Just mildly spicy. Lin Yen saw that although it was just a stall, the overall hygiene was very clean. So she chose to order a few skewers. Okay. Beauty. Just sit over there and wait. It'll be ready soon. The kebab boss is a young guy. There was a woman next to him helping out. It looked like a young couple setting up a stall, which was quite common. Lin Yen didn't think much about it. In a short while, Lin Yan's mutton skewers were ready. It tastes better than ordinary mutton kebabs. Lin Yan ate one bunch after another. But it's delicious. Just like the ingredients are a bit heavy. Even though she said it's slightly spicy, she still used a lot of other ingredients. Just like, it's like covering up some smell. And when you eat it, it feels addictive. Not addictive because of its deliciousness, but simply addictive. Lin Yan looked at the other people again. Those people were eating well but they were not as addicted as she was. Even she couldn't resist the addiction. How did those people resist it? 
something seems wrong. Lin Yan finally came to her senses. She had been so preoccupied before that she let her guard down for a while. Chapter 133 Lin Yan Surrenders, and the Soul Sect Emerges. But now, that she had calmed down and regained her previous vigilance. Lin Yan immediately felt that something was wrong. Road closures are usually reserved for serious situations. But there are no mountains around here. And there are no landslides. And it wasn't freezing cold, and the roads were slippery. There wasn't even any rain. Rain. Snow. Fog. These three important weather factors are not affected by any of them. This section of road has always been sparsely populated and has few vehicles. Are there any areas that require traffic control? Besides, the staff member just now didn't even wear a uniform. He just wore a work badge. And what would only take a few dozen minutes? Things that only take dozens of minutes will not be closed. But road closures are not as simple as one or two hours. All this seems to be inducement. If it takes too long, you will inevitably change the path. At this point of ten minutes, it is obviously cost-effective to change the road without waiting. Besides, there are few people around here. Is this kind of barbecue stall really doing business? Even with a meager income, this couple is a young couple and might as well go out to work. It was obviously all loopholes. But I relaxed my vigilance for a moment and didn't notice it. She just ate three skewers in one go. At this time, she was alert and put down the other two strings directly. Boss, how much is it? Lin Yan walked to the stall owner calmly. The young stall owner took a look at Lin Yan's remaining neat skewers. Beauty, is this not to your liking? The young stall owner smiled. No, it's quite delicious. But I suddenly remembered that I'm trying to lose weight recently and eat less late night snacks. Lin Yan said calmly. You haven't even finished eating yet. So I can't charge you. Forget it. Just give me whatever you want. The young stall owner waved his hand and continued working on the skewers in his hand. Do people who run small businesses usually do this? Lin Yan snorted in her heart. This acting was too poor. But Lin Yan did not scare the snake and paid more money. Planning to get back to the car first. Just when she was about to turn around and leave. She suddenly felt a little groggy. At this time, the drivers who were eating skewers stood up and slowly approached her. Who are you? Seeing that the other party had completely stopped pretending. Lin Yan forced herself to calm down and said, Under Tang Fong, I added a little bit of our Tang Sex secret recipe to your meat skewers just now. You can just take a nap. It was the young stall owner who answered her. Do I have any grudge against you? Lin Yan asked directly. She was not just chatting, but trying to sneak in her luck and resist the power of the medicine. I don't have any grudge against you. I am quite interested in your mother. At this time, a young man walked out of nowhere. Lin Yan didn't know that person, but she knew the person next to him. Bing Fong. Now it seems that mentioning her identity is useless. Others come here just for her identity. Lin Yan didn't care so much anymore. She directly suppressed the power of the medicine and ran towards her car. Her car was modified by the organization. At full speed, it was comparable to her normal full speed. Now that she has to resist the power of the medicine and cannot exert her full strength, the best way is to escape with the help of a car. The first time she ran, Su Chen and others did not chase her, but stood there. Just when she was secretly happy, I just opened the car door and found a little girl sitting inside. H. Lo. The little girl was very cheerful and said H. Lo to her. But the next second, the little girl suddenly changed into a ferocious look, and the sharp claws almost penetrated her. But even so, she was seriously injured and sent flying. Is this the strength? Su Chen walked slowly with his hands in his pockets and shook his head. Fortunately, he carefully laid out the situation. But unexpectedly, it was much weaker than he imagined. Mr. Su doesn't need to think it's a waste. A lion fights a rabbit with all his strength. Not to mention that we have too little information about her, Bing Feng said from the side. Su Chen smiled and squatted next to Lin Yin. He does have a handsome appearance. And I, Su, am not a pushover. Su Chen touched Lin Yan's hair. But this made Lin Yan tremble all over. In her eyes, Su Chen at this moment was no different from a devil. The ferocious appearance of the little girl just now was still fresh in her memory. And this young man could command her. This is scarier than the devil. You are shaking. Am I that scary? Su Chen showed a gentle smile. But such a smile only made Lin Yan more scared. Well, let me calm your fears. Su Chen pinched Lin Yan's chin and looked straight at Lin Yan. Lin Yan's fearful eyes slowly became calmer, and her whole body no longer trembled. Okay, let's treat her first. 
Su Chen looked back at Tang Feng. Tang Feng not only knows how to use poison, but also knows some treatment methods. After a while, the decoration of this place has also been removed and restored to the original state. Then, the information about Lin Lin was obtained from Lin Yin. However, the information obtained from Lin Yin was limited. On the surface, they are a good mother and daughter. But in fact, Lin Yin is just a subordinate of Lin Lin. I just know that they probably work for a soul sect force. Lin Yin didn't know about Lin Lin's online presence. Her only online presence was Lin Lin. As for Lin Lin's strength, Lin Yin was somewhat aware of it. Lin Lin's strength is more than a hundred years of skill. Just around that threshold. But she actually has no hidden cultivation and methods. This is not something Lin Yin can know. How much do you know about this soul sect? Su Chen saw that Lin Yin really didn't know. So he looked at Bing Feng and Tang Feng. The two looked at each other. Both looking confused. Mr. Su. I have never heard of this force. Tang Feng shook his head. The same goes for Bing Feng. He had told Su Chen the information he knew before. Su Chen fell into deep thought. It seemed that this soul sect was not simple. Even insiders like Bing Feng and Tang Feng still had no idea about the so-called soul sect. According to Bing Feng, people with skills of more than a hundred years are rare. And they are usually found in big families. According to what Lin Yin said, even Lin Lin's status in the organization is not very good. And her presence is lingering. Someone with such strength should not be unknown in the industry. Then, there is another possibility that it is hidden too deeply. The hidden truth of this world may be further revealed after controlling Lin Lin. Once you are healed, go back as soon as possible and don't arouse her suspicion. Su Chen said calmly. Yes. Lin Yin covered the wound and responded. After initial resistance, she has now given in. All it takes is one thought from the other party to make her disappear. This is even more powerful than the soul sex methods. Chapter 134 Darkness Descends on the New Inheritance And a contract is signed in the dark night. It seems that it will take some time to deal with Lin Lin. According to what Bing Feng and others said, a hundred years of cultivation is a leap-like threshold. And now it is quite safe to move Lin Lin to win. In addition to Yume's super combat power and Brother G's evolution to the legendary level, there won't be much difference in terms of hard power. In addition, through Lin Yin, Lin Lin was tricked into coming to the new base. And there were powerful mechanisms. Winning should be no problem. The problem is, how to leave her problem behind. Once Lin Lin runs away, then she will have to face the mysterious soul set behind her. Therefore, the matter of attacking Lin Lin must be suppressed. But conflict is certainly inevitable. Because from Lin Yan's mouth, Su Chen also knew that the purpose of Lin Lin's transfer, this time, was to have a blessed land for cultivation. Judging from various analyses, the blessed land for cultivation that Lin Lin mentioned was probably the place she chose. Anyway, she hasn't found a clue yet. So she can postpone it for a while. Su Chen also made a decision. You go back and do your own business. Su Chen waved his hand and dismissed everyone. For Su Chen, time is the key at present. The speed of development in New World is the most important thing. As long as he reaches level 100, he won't have to worry about this or that in reality. Not only is a hundred years of skill a threshold for leaping forward in reality, but in New World, level 100 is also a threshold for leaping forward. Back to the game. Su Chen continued to upgrade. I was almost reaching level 90 before but dealing with practical matters delayed my progress. Now that I have returned to leveling, my experience has increased rapidly. Soon, an upgraded light shines. Level 90. But before Su Chen could react, a light blue flower faintly appeared. This is the flower of contract. With this first experience, Su Chen quickly recognized the flower. The flower of contract slowly emitted a soft light in Su Chen's hand, spreading slowly like water waves. Su Chen also summoned all the contract spirits at this time. If the contract flower is not used, it cannot be stored and will only slowly wither. Are you willing to surrender to me? Su Chen looked at the contract spirits around him and asked solemnly. Compared with the last time, except for Brother Chicken, no contract spirit was willing. But this time there were several. Brother Chicken is the first to eat crabs. Many contract spirits have witnessed the growth of Brother G. And when they were in the contract space, they often heard Brother G brag about the delicious food in the Lord's world. This also makes many contract spirits envious. So when this second opportunity comes, naturally there are several more contract spirits. Su Chen glanced at it. Since there were multiple applicants who were willing at the same time, they were admitted on a merit-based basis. Dark Knight, come up. 
considering the strength. And Yi is undoubtedly the strongest among them. Maybe the ghost ship is stronger. But Su Chen doesn't want to transform into a ship. Even though he can become an adult, it still feels weird. As you command, my lord. There was also a bit of excitement in Ye's eyes. And Yi is still very hopeful that he can continue to grow. Just read the content once. There is no force. Su Chen activated the flower of the contract to let Yi understand the content of the contract. And he looked at it casually. The subordinates are willing. And he said respectfully, he has certain ambitions. He will not be willing to stay at level 100. He must seize this opportunity. Good. After receiving Yi's answer, Su Chen activated the flower of contract. Sign the contract. We are united in our minds. Just like the first time, the flower of contract enveloped them. And the chains of contract power linked them together. Gradually, the chain turned into light and merged together. The light blue light slowly disappeared. The signing was successful. Su Chen checked Dark Knight's attributes. Name, Dark Knight. Variety, Undead. Level, 90, same level as the contractor. Level, Legendary Boss. Skills, Poison. Hard Hungry Darkness. Summon Dark Demon. Mark Master. Soul Torment. Evil Spirit Shackles. Strength and Hard Hungry Darkness. Corrupted Mind. Dark Bone Shield. Strength and Marking. Dark Cave. Undertide. Darkest Cloud. Dark Energy Zone. There's not much to say about the panel. The changes are the same as those of Brother G. The level becomes the same as one's own. And the grade becomes evolvable. In this way, there is one more choice for the state of unity of mind in reality. Su Chen thought silently in his heart. Dark Knight is a relatively standard Dark Mage type while Chicken Brother is a melee swordsman type, which also gives Su Chen more transformation options. At the same time, those who have not transformed into one can also become a fighting force fighting alone. After signing the contract with An Yi, Su Chen also planned to take a look at his own dashboard. Click to open the panel. Player, Luo Chio. Occupation, God of the Dead. Level 90. HP, 58,000. MP, 50000. Strength, 2,800. Intelligence, 5,000. Stamina, 2,300. Spirit, 5,500. Physical defense, 31,000. Magic defense, 30,000. Legion skill, fire enchantment. Inherited skills, summon ordinary skeleton soldiers. Soul gift, dark mark. Dark evolution. Unity of mind. Vampire bodyguard. Breathtaking. Darkness descends. Darkness comes. Creates a dark field in an area. All attributes of all units in the field are improved. And non-dark creatures are weakened. Dark creatures will be randomly summoned in the field to help. The size of the area is affected by the level of the releaser. This field is inaccessible in dispersal state. Domain coverage has the highest priority. Darkness is falling? It seems to be a team fighting skill. Su Chen looked at this skill and analyzed it. The big effect is a bit like the debuff effect of the gaze of the undead god in Siege which is equivalent to directly giving such a debuff to people. At the same time, this area cannot be dispelled and has the highest priority, which Su Chen feels is very important. Some powerful characters also have domain skills. If the priority is the highest, it will almost make other people's fields weaken to the highest degree, or even invalidated. But what does it look like to then summon a dark creature? This is impossible to analyze. Maybe it's some ghost or something like that. Or maybe it's a bone dragon. Who knows? After all, it only said it was a dark creature, but not how powerful it was. But Su Chen felt that since the size of the domain is affected by the level of the releaser, then those dark creatures that appear immediately should also be affected by the level. Right? No matter what. We will find out if we try it in a city then. Su Chen was too lazy to continue analyzing. The only criterion is the results achieved through practice. Chapter 135 New Arms Appear And the style of painting becomes more and more curious. By the way, didn't Bing Feng recently say that it's difficult to collect devices above dark gold? Su Chen suddenly remembered this matter. There is no shortage of gold coins. And the caravan goods that were stolen last time have basically been dealt with. But now that New World has entered the stage of city construction for all, everyone has already seen the importance of defense facilities. An epic war machine has the ability to change the battle pattern. This is not comparable to any epic equipment. It is a rare war resource. No one hopes that the equipment they sell will become a weapon that can destroy their own city. There are many powerful devices that large guilds will not easily sell even if they put them in warehouses or lend them to subordinate guilds. Therefore, 
Most of the ones circulating on the market are dark gold grade, which means they are at a premium. There were some epic ones, but most of them were barter transactions, something Suchin didn't have. Even if gold coins are occasionally traded, the prices are several times or even dozens of times higher. If you can't afford it, go borrow some. Su Chen made the decision happily. As for who to borrow it from, Su Chen was in trouble again. Some small towns do not have epic defense facilities, which means that you have to attack big cities. Every major city in the Crescent Kingdom is a strategic location. This is not because we are worried about not being able to defeat them, but because we are worried that after they are defeated, humanity's defense line will collapse early. The Crescent Kingdom is the largest human kingdom, and it has also been attacked by various alien races. When the two worlds merged in the previous life, the Crescent Kingdom had been completely defeated. Su Chen didn't know if there was a direct relationship between this. But now Su Chen needs time to develop and cannot gamble on this factor. Just like the last time he attacked the port of the Crescent Kingdom, he destroyed a hostile army of darkness camp on the port defense line. This is also a kind of balance. Forget about NPC cities. Let's go fight those guild cities. Su Chen began to think about his goal. By the way, wasn't I wanted by the Second Society of Shamasing a while ago? Asking them is not alone. It's to make up for the loss of my reputation. Su Chen chuckled. But speaking of it, he still didn't know where the coordinates of the Shamo Star Second Society were. So I searched online. There is only a general geographical location. It seems that this second meeting is not well known. And there is not even a specific icon. Su Chen clicked on template. When I was sailing in the Lost Sea, I got bored and played ghost ships. So I came up with the ghost ship template. Ghost ship, after using this template, the skeleton core's stealth ability will be improved to a certain extent. Forget it. I won't use this evolution template this time. Let's get some evolution points to strengthen after we attack the city. The number of evolutions is easy to obtain. But such a rare template is difficult to obtain. Su Chen has tried that the same template cannot be used repeatedly. The ghost ship's template is not only of high quality, but this feature is also very special among dark gold. Use another template obtained by brushing the copy before. Puppet worker, increase endurance by 100 points. Very ordinary, but really easy to brush. Summon heavily armored skeleton soldiers. Initially summon 2 million heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The level is the same as the summoner's current level and can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume all 2 million skeleton soldiers and the next level of 2 million skeleton soldiers will be upgraded, number of elite units. Start evolution. Su Chen waved his hand, and started evolution directly. Select template, puppet worker, increase endurance by 100 points. With a ding, the skeleton evolution is completed. Isn't there a big change at level 90? It seems that you have to wait until level 100 before high-level undead can appear. Su Chen frowned. Even now, it is still necessary to increase the proportion of elite units. Perhaps the prerequisite for the emergence of high-level undead is to increase the purity of elite troops. Thinking about it this way, it's still acceptable. Let's see if there are any new troops. It had been a long time since Su Chen had recited the second line. So he just waved his hand and summoned 10,000 skeleton soldiers. Ordinary skeleton soldiers don't look at it directly and only look at the information about special arms. Name, Heavy Skeleton Hunter. Level, Level 90. Limit Life Limit, 22,000. Maximum strength, 300. Power, 1080. Agility, 700. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 500. Movement speed, 500. Attack attack speed, 300. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills shooting. Trap setting. Summoning skeleton hounds. Name, skeleton machine gun assaulter. Level, level 90. Limit life limit, 21,000. Maximum strength, 300. Strength, 1100. Agility, 800. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 700. Movement speed, 1000. Attack attack speed, 200. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, gunfire charge. Fragmentation grenade. Violent firepower. Name, skeleton demon bear. Level, level 90. Limit life limit, 30,000. Maximum strength, 300. Strength, 1300. Agility, 700. Spirit, 300. Endurance, 1000. Movement speed, 1000. Attack attack speed, 300. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, bear charge. Bear patrol. Bear rampage. 
Bear transformation armor. Bear enlargement. How do you feel that the elite brood of these skeleton soldiers is becoming more and more outrageous? Su Chen raised his forehead slightly. At first, the skeleton swordsman is the most normal. And then the skeleton wizard appears, including the knight. Which is fine. The painting style was a bit distorted when the skeleton gunner was released. And then the skeleton sniper and skeleton gunner appeared one by one. Now this assault skeleton soldier, plus the skeleton scout, really form a skeleton commando team. There are also skeletal werewolves represented by animals. And this skeletal demon bear. And those that bring their own followers. Such as the skeleton knight with its own skeleton horse. And the skeleton hunter with its own skeleton dog. Speaking of improving the purity of these arms. It would not be a direct plan to evolve high-level arms based on these weird special arms. Su Chen was speechless. But even though it looked weird. Su Chen tolerated it because the fight was really cruel. And that skeleton commando. Su Chen felt that after integrating the ghost ship's stealth template. It should be able to do a lot. Chapter 136 I got lost. But fortunately I have an enthusiastic duo. Ashbu Plains. Shachung. This is the station of Shamasing 2 society. It is said to be the garrison point of the second Hui. Because the first Hui has moved its main base out of the main continent. And this can be regarded as the old point of the first Hui in Shamo Star. Although there are only people from Air Hui currently stationed there. As Shamo Star's only base on the main continent. Some of the powerful defense facilities remain. If it weren't for the foundation of Ihue, the size of Shamixing Airwi would not be able to defend such a medium-sized city. However, this plain is a yellow sand plain, surrounded by Gobi Desert. There are some small mines in the resource points, but they are not particularly rich. Shachang is located at a high place, making it easy to defend but difficult to attack. Therefore, even if the Airwi were guarding Shamo Star, few guilt came to fight them. Even if you win, the loot you get may not be enough to make up for the loopholes in starting a war. Although the players have joined the guild. In order to direct the players to fight. The logistics must keep up. If I follow you into a fight. And I have to bear the losses myself. This guild is not far away from being disbanded. With such a special geographical environment. And the need to bear the revenge of the Shamo Star Lord Guild. Guild wars rarely occur in this place. However. This also resulted in players. From the Shamasin Guild always walking sideways on this plane. Only they bully others. No one else bullies them. As the saying goes, if you rush too hard, you will be afraid of being stunned. If you are stunned, you will be afraid of being aggressive. If you are afraid of being aggressive, you will be afraid of risking your life. Don't mess with those who are too poor. The people from the Shamasin Guild are the poorest people in this plane. At the top of the food chain. Even if you are stronger than him. If you just beat him up and show off, you will get nothing but trouble. Especially the sand people. As long as they reach the Ashbu Plain. Then try to walk around the people in the Shamasin Guild. The president of their guild. Ba Dao. Has acquiesced in the existence of this kind of behavior. And there is no way to complain. Su Chen also teleported to Ashbu Plain at this time. But it was not teleported directly to Sand City. But to an edge teleportation array in the Ashbu Plain. Because the teleportation array in Sha Chung is not open to the public. Su Chen had never been to this place in his previous life. On the one hand. Shamo Star is notorious in this area. And on the other hand, this plane is really poor. And he has never received a mission about the Ashbu plane. The people in the Samosin Guild are also terrible. They are so bad that no one has even drawn a map of this place on the internet. Su Chen got lost after arriving at Ashbu Plain. The first step to conquer Sha Chung was a setback. After walking for a while, he found two people. Su Chen walked over without thinking. Hey guys, how do I get to Sha Chung? Su Chen said politely. The two people did not answer Su Chen's words, but looked at Su Chen from head to toe. What are you doing in Sha Chung? Still a pot jarhead asked Su Chen. Naturally, I have to do something. Su Chen still answered politely. That's not the place you should go. Just have fun. Jarhead snorted coldly. Su Chen smiled inwardly. It seemed that he had met someone from Shamasing. I found some equipment in a cave treasure chest and wanted to find the nearest city to sell them for money. With a thought in mind, Su Chen casually took out a few pieces of dark gold level equipment. There is even an epic piece of equipment included. These are all the unprocessed rubbish from Su Chen's last siege loot. However, this scene moved both of them. Especially the tall and thin man who was silent on one side. His eyes were shining even more. Pot lid. The guild leader often says to be polite to other guild players. How come you just forget about it? The tall and thin man swallowed. 
Su Chin deliberately did not turn off the light effects of the equipment, so that even if they had no eyesight, they could still recognize the grade. Yes, yes, I was in a bad mood just now and forgot about it. Jarhead was also staring at the equipment. By the way, brother, which guild do you belong to? The tall and thin man asked Su Chin with narrowed eyes. Although Shamixing's unique geographical location means that you don't have to be afraid of others. You can also avoid provoking those super guilds. I don't know anything about guilds. After I entered the game, I always played alone. Suchin said innocently. Turns out he's a newbie. The tall and thin man and Jarhead looked at each other and understood what they meant. My brother's attitude was wrong just now. In this case, I will take you there myself. The tall and thin man suppressed his inner restlessness and said. This. Su Chen hesitated for a moment. Will it waste your time? I am also idle. I am enthusiastic. The tall and thin man patted his chest and said. That's trouble. Su Chen agreed as if he was too kind to refuse. What follows is a natural journey. The two of them walked in front and led the way. While Su Chen followed behind them. I said. If there is an explosion here. Wouldn't it be okay for him? Why do you have to let him go to Sha Chung? Jar had whispered in a private message. You're stupid. He has so many equipments on him. And only one piece of equipment will be exploded at a time. Here he can choose a resurrection point on the edge. And it is also close to the teleportation array. No matter how fast we chase. Can we still be as fast as the teleportation array? The tall and lanky man immediately scolded him. It turns out that if he explodes in Sand City, he can only be resurrected in Sand City. And the teleportation array in Sand City cannot be used by non-guild members. After Jarhead thought about it for a moment. He immediately understood. He is a cute new player with no background. If he knows what he is doing, he will hand over all his equipment. However, if he is not smart enough in our territory, we will blast him to level 1. The tall and thin man smiled sinisterly. Okay, as expected of you, bad guys have levels, and you must be the master. Jarhead also expressed his appreciation. Hey, he still has to thank us. The tall and thin man chuckled. At the same time, Su Chen behind him actually spoke. Thank you so much. Otherwise, I still wouldn't be able to find Sha Chung. Su Chen thanked the two of them. Jar had also laughed when he thought of the tall and thin man. These days, there aren't many newbies who are this silly. After walking for a while, from a distance, we could already see the outline of the city on the high ground. Is that Sha Chung? Su Chen still asked the two of them with certainty. Yes. It's coming soon. The tall and thin man chuckled. It's fine if it's Sha Chung. I'm really troubling you. Su Chen smiled. Now that Sha Chung has been found, these two people are worthless. It's not here yet. Let's talk about it when it is. The tall and thin man waved his hand. Seeing this cute newbie keeps saying thank you. Both of them felt happy. I was really sold out by them. And I had to help them count the money. Although the outline of Sha Chung can already be seen. The actual distance is still some way away. But as I walked, I found a black fog ahead. What is that dark mass in front? I don't know. I haven't seen it in Ashbu Plain for so long. The two were stunned. Chapter 137 Coming to attack the city? The Sword Ecstasy The black mist is slowly spreading. If you open the map, you can see that this black mist is expanding on the Ashbu Plain. Several people froze in place. Just watching. Guys, do you know what that is? Su Chen asked with a cute look. Um, let me do some reconnaissance. Only then did the tall and thin man remember. This sight immediately made the tall and thin man dumbfounded. What is it? Forget it. I'll see for myself. Seeing that the tall and thin man was silent, Jarhead set out to investigate. But this look also stunned the Jarhead. Boss, boss, do you see what it is? I have no reconnaissance skills. Su Chen stood beside him. Skeleton soldiers? Why are there skeleton soldiers in the Ashbu Plain? The tall and thin man murmured. So what should we do now? Su Chen asked curiously. Run. There are so many skeleton soldiers. They will only come back later to sell equipment. The tall and thin man glanced at Su Chen and said, Don't worry. The people in Sha Chung will handle this. We can just stay away for the time being. At the same time, the tall and thin man glanced at the pothead. Jarhead immediately understood. Come on. We'll take you to retreat first. The Jarhead and the tall and lanky man were standing on one side and the other on the right. Well, thanks to you. Su Chen agreed on the surface. In their hearts. They were disdainful. At this time, these two people were still thinking about their own equipment. 
he said that he was taking him to retreat together. But he was standing on the left and right, because he was afraid that he would run away. But there was a group of skeleton soldiers just on their retreat route. There are only a few dozen skeleton soldiers. It's not difficult to deal with them. Let's break out. The tall and thin man glanced at Such and behind him. We won't be able to protect you for a while. Just follow us. Good. Suchin responded with a smile. The two picked up their weapons and rushed directly towards the skeleton soldiers. In my impression, skeleton soldiers are clumsy and have low IQs. Compared with the countless skeleton soldiers densely packed in the direction of Shacheng, these dozens of skeleton soldiers are much easier to deal with. When the two were halfway through the rush, something outrageous happened. I saw the skeleton soldiers standing in a row. And then, they took out their weapons from behind. It's a machine gun. ta da 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 It was too late for the two of them to retreat. So they could only dodge as much as possible and use their skills to resist. But even so, their blood volume was declining rapidly. At this time, dozens of fragmentation grenades were thrown from the group of skeleton soldiers. Boom! Dozens of fragmentation grenades set off a massive fire. This time neither of them reacted and were instantly dropped. What kind of star skeleton soldier is this? This idea came to both of them when they hung up. This row of skeleton soldiers are naturally the skeleton machine gun assaulters arranged by Su Chen. The light commando firepower is still pretty good too. Su Chen nodded with satisfaction. At the same time, when I got closer, I saw that each of the two people had exploded a piece of equipment. They are all gold level junk equipment. Boring. After a casual glance, Su Chen looked disgusted. The entire army goes out to bring justice to the Ashba Plains. Su Chen gave an order. Immediately, two million skeleton soldiers responded, and the Black Mist headed towards the Sand City. In the Sand City. At this time, the two of them were also reborn from the resurrection point in Sand City. I'm really convinced. I can get a lot of dark gold equipment right now. Even some epic ones. The tall and thin man had a gloomy look on his face at this time. I'm also angry. Why don't I take some brothers out of the city and slaughter all those skeleton soldiers? Jarhead was also very irritated. One of my equipment exploded. Hey! Holding the grass. I also exploded a piece of equipment. Originally they thought they could make a lot of money from Ming Xian. But now I haven't made any money. I've lost my experience. And I've also lost my equipment. This is a double loss. Just when the two were about to call people out to kill the skeletons. A group of black mist in the distance slowly approached Shacheng. Even the sky above Shacheng was covered with a layer of haze. And the sky darkened. What's the situation? The two of them looked up at the sky. A little confused. World announcement. Sand City was attacked by the army of the god of the undead. A special event was triggered to defend Sand City. And Sand City entered a combat state. Players in this town are not allowed to go offline. Players offline characters are still in the game. And cannot leave through the teleportation array. Please work hard to defend Sand City. Fail to get the debuff gaze of the dead god. Gaze of the undead god. Your damage to the undead is reduced by 30%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 30% duration until you defeat the undead god. As if to answer their questions, the world announcement sounded. At this time, the entire Shacheng became busy. In combat status, everyone is on alert. The current person in charge of Shacheng commanded on the guild channel. At this time, the guild chat channel has become a mute mode for all. And only the top guild leaders can speak. Although Shacheng has not experienced war for a long time. Its basic combat skills are still acceptable. Some city defense equipment was transported onto the city wall in an orderly manner. And remote professions also gathered on the city wall. At the same time, the melee profession was divided into dozens of teams. Responsible for the support on the city wall and the supplementary defense needed from various places. The Lord of Shacheng now has the right to forcibly recall all the people in Shacheng, as well as an opportunity to ask for help, cannot exceed one-tenth of the total population of Shacheng. The current city lord of San City directly used the authority to forcefully summon everyone. As for the opportunity to ask for help, he did not take advantage of it because Ba Dao had already contacted him. Send the opportunity to ask for help directly to EG, so that EG can teleport back to Shacheng, Ba Dao said excitedly because the recent success rate of the God of the Dead siege is particularly low. After the failure at Coral Port, they suffered another defeat against West Wind City. It also happened on Liberty Island. But he ran away without even fighting. Didn't this God of the Undead give away experience for free? Especially the rewards can be upgraded to two levels. 
at the current speed of 10 days and a half to upgrade to one level. Upgrading to two levels will directly increase the progress by one month. He wanted to go to West Wind City before, but he didn't even get a seat and it was already crowded. Now he is actually in his own city, which makes Ba Dao very surprised. Not a moment. A large number of people appeared in the teleportation array in Sha Chung. These people are well equipped and well trained. Uh huh. Our elite group has all been teleported. And there are still some spots left. Ba Dao laughed. Congratulations. Boss. Our elite group has been promoted to two levels this time. Someone immediately responded. The remaining quota is not full. So the double reward cannot be triggered. Ba Dao frowned. As for the double punishment, Ba Dao had never thought about it. Chapter 138 There's a Quarrel. Some players want to join the siege party. Just like that. The army of the undead god was lost from the Coral Sea to Liberty Island. And then from Liberty Island to West Wind City. With his main force in charge. Liberty Island cannot compare. But compared to other towns, this sand city may not be much weaker than those. In particular, Sha Cheng has unique geographical advantages and is easy to defend but difficult to attack. Then how about asking other guilds to bring in some reinforcements? Someone suggested. Still need reinforcements? Do you look down on the elite group? Ba Dao said with some displeasure. Everyone looked at each other in confusion, not knowing what Ba Dao was planning. In this way, the remaining quotas still need to be filled. But this time to upgrade the level. We will not let other big guilds enter. Ba Dao thought for a while and said, No one dared to talk at this time. Who knew what Ba Dao was thinking? Thinking about how Huang Mao followed Ba Dao's words a while ago and was beaten five times in three days. Ba Dao became more and more strange. You can let the masters among the casual people come in. As for how to identify whether they are masters. Just use whether you can spend 20,000 gold coins to buy tickets. Ba Dao said with a groan. Wonderful. He is worthy of being a brave and handsome swordsman boss. I can't wait for 10% of the wisdom of boss Ba Dao. The others also expressed their appreciation. In the past, Ba Dao would have been quite happy to hear these words. But since the last time he was used as a pawn by a ghost. Ba Dao has always had a grudge. Furthermore, it makes me feel uncomfortable to see these nonsense. Although I have money, no matter how I look at it, I have raised a bunch of trash who only know how to flatter. But you can't blame these people. Ba Dao has developed such a culture of praising him in the guild before. And now there is no way to change it. After all, these people now have high-level equipment and it is unreliable to find other people. Okay, go and do things. Ba Dao waved his hand and wanted to get the two levels of experience in front of him first. World Channel. The God of the Undead comes again with his skeleton soldiers to give you experience. I remember that Sha Chung was a place that was easy to defend but difficult to attack. It was a two-level upgrade for nothing. It was comfortable. But why hasn't the announcement for help come out yet? That's the city of the Shamasin Guild. Right? The guild strength is pretty good. So it's just a waste of experience. Uh-huh. It's time to compete with hand speed again. I grabbed the position last time in Shifeng City. Ba Dao. Boss. Please put down the teleportation announcement. Ba Dao. Brother Dao. Come out and say something. What's going on? The siege is about to begin. Why is there no movement? Now many people are waiting to grab a seat and gain experience. However, there has been no response from the Shamison Guild. And they have not released the announcement for help. This suddenly made many people anxious. Some people have been waiting for several minutes. Watching the announcement with great intensity. Always ready to grab a seat. At this time, Ba Dao used a world trumpet and finally spoke. Ba Dao, currently, the quota in San City is almost full. And we still need some independent masters. Due to time constraints, I can't tell whether they are masters. So I will directly mail 20,000 gold coins as proof of masters. Friends from other guilds should not mail them. Guild players' mail will not be returned. Ba Dao's words immediately caused world announcement to become noisy. This kind of money must be appropriate. The Shamison Guild looks too ugly. It is recommended to boycott. Whoever gives money to Ba Dao is a fool. Just bad money is just right. To put it so nicely, why 20,000 gold coins is proof of a master. 10,000 gold coins for level 1. The price is clearly marked. I agree with the boycott. If I can't sell Ba Dao, I can't get enough quota to hide the plot. So I have to release it for free. Ba Dao. 20,000 gold coins have been mailed. Please check. Brother Dao. Please help me. Hold the grass. 
I really have some cartilage to mail to that guy Ba Dao. Ba Dao. Brother Dao. I mail two W5 gold coins. Please give me priority. Ba Dao. Do you still have the quota for Brother Dao? I mailed you 30,000 gold coins and got me first. Damn it. This is all going to be involved. Right? For a time, the world channel was filled with images of sentient beings. There are many people who are dismissive. Many people are scolding Ba Dao. But there are also many people who have actually given Ba Dao gold coins. And there are many rich people who directly and voluntarily raise prices. For the rich, 10,000 gold coins at level 1 is a great deal. Any piece of equipment they carry is worth millions or tens of millions of gold coins. It takes almost a month to practice for level 2. Buying this ticket is equivalent to directly speeding up the progress by a month. But this is only limited to the rich among the scattered people. There are not many local tyrants among Sanren. And the local tyrants are usually guild bosses. Ba Dao made it clear this time that it did not want guild players. Which meant that it wanted to improve itself and did not want other guilds to improve. If the guild tycoons are included, the tickets for Ba Dao will start selling for 100,000 gold coins this time. For most civilians, 20,000 gold coins to buy two levels of experience is considered a little expensive. Especially for individual players. They don't have a fixed income like guild players. Soon, a world announcement sounded. World announcement. The number of support people in Sand City has reached the upper limit. A hidden plot will be triggered. Mission victory rewards will be doubled. Failure will trigger the mark of the god of the undead. Mark of the undead god. Your damage to the undead is reduced by 50%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 50%. And the undead god can lock your position at any time, duration, until you defeat the undead god. All I can say is he. Even if you unite and don't buy it, you can't trigger the hidden plot. And Ba Dao still has to release the quota for free. I feel like I've been cheated. I said I wouldn't buy it. But I ended up buying it. World Channel waited for a few minutes to prepare to compete with hand speed. But this was the result. A group of free ticket dogs called Hammers. So I bought them. How about having money? Gone. It's great to have money. Can you do whatever you want if you have money? Everyone who originally wanted to vote in vain. But found out that they could not vote in vain. Immediately started to curse. Some of those who succeeded in buying tickets were very proud and quarreled with those people. They successfully bought the tickets and saw that all the Ba Dao Li group had arrived. And knew that they just needed to sit on the bus and... That's it. Everyone was just idle. Mocking those who didn't buy tickets. The more I think about it, the angrier I get. I want to teleport directly to the edge of Ashbu Plains and then run to Sand City. I want to help the skeleton soldiers attack the city. Add me. I will let those superior dogs know the price of failure to defend the city. I can make unmanned aerial vehicles. If you have any bombs or poisonous powder, I can help you drop them in. Both sides were snorting and snorting. Gradually spewing out fire. This kind of map cannon-like taunting is very annoying. Some people who were just onlookers joined the quarrel after being accidentally injured by the map cannon. Among them, some of them had bad tempers and chose to go directly to help attack the city. Although the god of the undead gives you a lot of experience. If you fail to defend the city, the punishment seems to be very severe. Chapter 139, We Are Brothers. Let's attack the sand together. Shachung. By this time, the players had assembled. Whether they were members of Shamasing's own guild or individual players who paid to come in, they all obeyed the call at this time. Although the individual players contributed money. After all, if they want to succeed, they still have to rely on the Shamasing guild. And precisely because they are individual players, they will not easily offend the Shamasing guild. Collecting money is all an illusion. These gold coins are the standard to judge whether you are capable. It doesn't matter whether you have money or not. However, everyone has the same goal now. So everyone can do a little bit to resist for a while. Ba Dao said these words to individual players. The meaning is clear. That is, regardless of whether you paid a fee, you still have to put in the effort. Everyone had no objection to Ba Dao's words. Anyway, this battle should be easy. And they only need to play a certain supporting role. Ba Dao saw that the sand people had no objections. So he didn't care. But when Ba Dao walked halfway, he stopped in front of the two people. Qianli Bing. Who is this person? Ba Dao said to one of them. These two people are naturally Bing Feng and Su Qin. Su Qin wanted to come to Sha Cheng to see where his trophies were. Don't let the skeleton get smashed by carelessness. But Sha Cheng was directly blocked. And due to the steep terrain of Sha Cheng, it was difficult for Su Qin to enter quietly. So he found Bing Feng 
and asked Ping Feng to find a way to let him in. In principle, guild players are not allowed to enter Ba Dao. But the principle of Ba Dao is too yao. The Ghost Guild and the Shamisen Guild themselves are considered friendly guilds. Ping Feng directly took out 500,000 gold coins to buy an entry. This made Ba Dao hesitate for a second. And then he agreed. But Bing Feng said that he still wanted to take someone with him. So Ba Dao refused again. But after Bing Feng increased the price to 1 million gold coins, Ba Dao hesitated for 0.5 seconds and agreed. At this time, Su Chin was still wearing that mask. Don't worry about a personal friend of mine. President Ba Dao. Bing Feng chuckled. Ba Dao narrowed his eyes, but didn't say much. As the vice president of a friendly guild, Bing Feng still has some face. And Ba Dao can't continue to pursue him. President Bing, take your friends and have some fun. I will go and direct the battle first. Ba Dao did not stay any longer. Guild Master Ba Dao will definitely win the battle. Bing Feng cupped his hands and chuckled. After Ba Dao climbed up the city wall, Bing Feng and Su Chen also got rid of the crowd and wandered around the city. Mr. Su, if I lose this battle, I won't receive that debuff. Right? Bing Feng chatted with Su Chen privately through the communicator. Because from what happened last time, Bing Feng had already guessed that Su Chen was a general like existence under the god of the undead. The outside world is optimistic that Sha Chung can successfully defend the city. But Bing Feng knows that if Su Chen is so optimistic about this battle, then this battle will not be simple. Don't worry. If you look at the system prompts carefully, you will know that you have not been targeted. Su Chen yawned and said. After Su Chen's reminder, Bing Feng took a look and found that the result was true. He didn't even get into combat mode. It seems that Mr. Su's status under the god of the undead is not low. He can even take him out easily. This is at least the kind of subordinate who can speak volumes in front of the god of the dead. Thinking of this, Bing Feng became even more excited. When it comes to following the lord, the biggest fear is that you are following the wrong person. But now it seems that Su Chen's status in the camp of the god of the dead is not low. In this way, wouldn't his status also rise? Su Chen didn't expect Bing Feng's inner drama to be so complicated. At this time, he was observing the terrain and preparing for the skeleton army to launch an attack. On the city wall, as the skeleton army approaches, the battle is about to break out, and many people from the outside world are paying attention to this battle. Compared with before, players share the same hatred and unite to fight against the god of the undead. In this battle against Sand City, many players supported the army of the undead god. Most of the supporters are those who have not bought tickets. They have just had a verbal war with the players who bought tickets. Many guild players are also paying attention. Because Ba Dao has blocked guild players this time and only allowed some people from friendly guilds to enter the city. But not a few people. If Ba Dao succeeds, it will be equivalent to the overall improvement of the Shamisen guild to a small level, which will still have an impact. Of course they hope Ba Dao loses. There are also some passers-by. Obviously, what Ba Dao did this time has ruined the popularity of passers-by and passers-by also hope to see Ba Dao suffer. There is a live broadcast room with extremely high traffic. Swayfong, at 8 o'clock tonight. I'll be waiting for you in Sand City to watch the skeleton army attack the sand. Swayfong has become the live broadcast of the famous God of the Dead Siege event. In addition, many big anchors this time have guilds and were turned away by Ba Dao. Only a few independent anchors came in. Swayfong has a large traffic among these anchors. And there are many people who want to watch this time. So his live broadcast room is also extremely popular. Since he had made a lot of money through live streaming, Sui Feng also spent a lot of money to ensure that Ba Dao would bring him in. Xiao Sui Feng is crazy about the title. But I like it. I'm not angry at Ba Dao. But I can't accept those people who bought tickets and ridiculed us. If you don't accept it, go ahead and do it. I have already arrived at Ashbu Plain and am hurrying to Sha Chung. We are brothers. Let's attack the sand together. Any quarrel is meaningless. But at 8 o'clock tonight, I will go to Sha Chung and wait for you. The blood is boiling. And the brothers gather to attack the sand. Many people gathered in the live broadcast room. While watching the progress of the siege, they hurried to Sha Chung. Many people don't just talk the talk. They actually mean it. Brothers, I'm in Sand City. If you succeed in attacking Sand City, won't I be debuffed? Sui Feng looked at the barrage and said helplessly. Are you afraid of a hammer? You have already been stared at by the god of the undead. Are you shy about letting the god of the undead look at you a few more times? This is better than having to rub it every time you attack a city. Even if you stack dozens of layers of debuffs. 
it will be normal. Uh-huh. You said that after stacking dozens of layers of debuffs. The anchor can't defeat level 1 skeleton soldiers? Don't forget. The debuff also reduces damage to undead creatures. So it's normal that you can't break through the defense directly. Ha ha ha. Stop talking. I think the anchor is going to cry. Sui Fong shed tears of emotion when she saw the friendly remarks from the barrage. Chapter 140 What will happen if there are tens of thousands of elite troops? At this time, Shaocheng had already taken the lead in launching the attack. The war officially started. Shamixing immediately showed what the strength of a second-tier guild is. Since the Sand City is located in a dangerous area, the skeleton soldiers have to climb up to attack the Sand City. Shaocheng's attack suppressed the skeleton army from the very beginning. Generally speaking, this kind of city battle is usually the furthest attack from archers. However, several mages in the elite group have learned high-level magic, and the range of magic has exceeded that of ordinary archers. Coupled with the range-type magic, it caused quite high damage to the skeleton soldiers. However, the skeleton army has undergone many template evolutions. Even if it is only level 90, its body is no longer brittle, except for those in the core area of the magic who were killed. The skeleton soldiers in the surrounding areas were not killed and were still moving forward. And the skeleton soldiers are not without any coping methods. Shield Defense Formation The number of heavy skeleton giant shields, after many evolutions, has reached tens of thousands. At this time, the shield defense array used by tens of thousands of heavily armored skeleton shields suddenly changed dramatically. The heavy skeleton shield does not have many skills like other skeleton soldiers. They only have one skill, Shield Defense Array. But this skill is quite powerful. Especially when tens of thousands are combined. A leap is achieved directly. I saw a Shield Defense Array composed of tens of thousands of heavily armored skulls and giant shields. Forming a square array. And this square formation directly transformed into a vaguely transparent barrier that was a hundred meters high. Clang. 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 Puff. 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 Not only the bows and arrows but also the magic was blocked. This is also a large shield array with magic and physical defense. In the past, Su Chen was just playing around casually without any specific tactics. Unexpectedly, the improvement of elite units is not just about quantity, but an increase in quantity can actually bring about a leap in quality. Su Chen on the city wall was amazed when he looked at the 100 meter high barrier at the foot of the hillside. That is, the number of many new types of soldiers is only a few hundred. One thousand. And only some veteran types have numbers in the tens of thousands. When thinking about this matter, Su Chen felt that it was also an urgent matter to improve the proportion of elite troops. As for the player camp, that seems to be the high-level skill of shield fighting to protect the barrier. Right? Have you ever seen a protective barrier hundreds of meters high? Have you ever seen a protective barrier that lasted longer than 20 seconds? This is not a matter of duration. I see that their barriers show no signs of weakening. Outrageous. Is this the army of the god of the undead? This scene stunned many players. Who knew that the previously weak skeleton soldiers could still have such a skill? Why are you so stunned? Let me blast you. As the commander of this battle, Ba Dao responded promptly. After understanding that the barrier could not disappear naturally, I immediately planned to break it by force. If the skeleton soldiers are allowed to advance under this barrier again, they will soon have to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat. Once you enter hand-to-hand -hand combat, the most powerful weapon for defending the city, the heavy weapon for defending the city, cannot be used. After hearing Ba Dao's words, more than a dozen crystal cannons fired in unison, in addition to several crystal cannons in Sha Chung itself, Ba Dao also brought nearly ten more. In terms of destructive power alone, the crystal cannon is one of the best among epic weapons. And this is on the player craftsman's manufacturing list. Although the cost is high, it is not as rare as some ancient ruins and heavy weapons. Boom! After a round of heavy artillery bombardment, the color of the 100 meter high barrier suddenly faded. It's really strong. It can withstand the bombardment of more than 10 crystal cannons. But that's it. One more round will be enough. Fortunately, this is Shachim. And Shamix and Guild is in charge. Otherwise, it would be hard to say what other small guild cities are like. Many players watching the game also analyze the situation. At this time, the crystal cannon was also loaded. Boom! Another round of SH. Ling. Click. The barrier slowly shattered as the sound of cracking filled the air. There was nothing surprising about Su Chen. Although it is a barrier composed of tens of thousands of heavy skeleton shields, it is still at a disadvantage in terms of level. 
at level 90. Facing crystal cannons whose destructive power is difficult for even advanced players to contend with. Withstanding two rounds of bombardment is enough to prove them. If these skeleton soldiers form such a barrier again after reaching level 150, these crystal cannons will only scratch their itch. And after level 150, there should be many powerful undead creatures. Not just skeleton soldiers. But it was shattered. And Ba Dao breathed a sigh of relief. After the barrier withstood a round of SH. Ling just now. I have to say that it really frightened him. Boom. 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 Suddenly, multiple explosions sounded. The crystal cannon is obviously still being loaded. Who fired this cannon? Ba Dao turned his head and saw that the explosion came from beside him. Heavy artillery. Under the advancement and protection of the heavy skeleton shield. The heavy skeleton gunner has set up the cannon. Like the heavy skeleton shields. The number of heavy skeleton gunners also reached tens of thousands. Suddenly, the walls of Sha Chang were filled with artillery fire. For a time, many of the defenders in San City were directly killed by artillery fire. Even two crystal cannons were destroyed. Blanche. These wasteful things. My crystal cannon. Su Chen was also watching all this on the city wall. Seeing the two crystal cannons destroyed, Su Chen felt very sorry. Originally, he had tried his best to keep the skeleton soldiers' attack range away from those defensive devices. His original intention in launching this siege was to borrow some defensive equipment. If they were all destroyed, wouldn't he come to borrow some loneliness? However, the attack range of tens of thousands of heavy-armed skeleton gunners is too large. The heavy-armed skeleton gunners are not very accurate, and it is normal for them to miss. Aim at those with cannons and kill them first. Bod Dao reacted immediately. The elite group of Shamo Star is still very strong. Even without the help of crystal cannons, they immediately cover the group of heavily armored skeleton gunners with their powerful firepower. Without the protection of the heavy skeleton shield, those heavy skeleton gunners are relatively fragile. After all, the attributes of their gunners themselves have low defense and are only level 90. Suddenly many of the heavily armored skeleton gunners were wiped out. Seeing Ba Dao caringly protecting his crystal cannon, Su Chen couldn't help but give a thumbs up. After all, considering his faith, he couldn't let those skeleton soldiers be beaten by others in vain. It was great to have Ba Dao who was so considerate. Heavy artillery. Boom. Boom. The sound of the next round of SH. Ling was much less intense. However, a crystal cannon was destroyed by accidental damage. This crystal cannon was damaged in the first round of bombardment and was destroyed in the second round of bombing. There was nothing Su Chen could do about this. The damage range of the heavy skeleton gunner is too wide. And the power is not small. If I had known better, I would not have organized a large shield to protect the gunner's advancement tactics. Chapter 141 The Skeleton Soldier Street Fighting Ability Fortunately, the loading status of the crystal cannon is also improved. Target the cannon skeletons, and don't let them continue to fire a third round. After Ba Dao saw this loss, he immediately said, Compared with the accuracy of the level 90 skeleton gunner, it is obvious that the heavy gunner on Ba Dao's side is more accurate. After targeting the skeleton gunner area, all firepower is covered. The skill CDs of the skeleton shields have not yet improved, and they are unable to stop them in the face of such powerful firepower. In an instant, the skeleton gunner area is almost cleared. I was careless and destroyed three of my cannons. Ba Dao frowned. I was careless and destroyed three of my cannons. Coincidentally, Su Chen, who was watching all this on the city wall, was also thinking the same thing. However, the attack of the skeleton gunner still shocked many people. The God of the Dead has lost three games in a row from the Coral Coast to Zephyr City, including the time on Liberty Island. So everyone now thinks that the skeleton army of the God of the Undead is just an experienced pack, giving two levels for free. Let's just talk about the most recent battle. When the God of the Undead attacked Shifeng City, Shifeng City effortlessly resisted it. But now this round of attack and defense has already made the people in the city feel guilty. Of course, I regret it, but I don't regret it. After all, the advantage is ours. Attack freely. Seeing that the offense organized by him had achieved such results, Su Chen also thought about putting some slack. He is here to borrow things, not to destroy them. What if the firepower is too strong and everything is destroyed? Next, the attacking rhythm of the ordinary skeleton soldiers stopped slightly. Sha Cheng also took advantage of the stagnation of the skeleton soldiers' attack to defeat the skeleton army. Remote players use their own remote attacks. Melee players should carry boulders or kerosene barrels and throw them downwards. 
This is the geographical advantage of Shacheng, which is easy to defend and difficult to attack. After seeing the situation stabilized, Ba Dao also smiled proudly in his heart. The god of the dead. Nothing more than that. At this moment, someone suddenly came to report. Boss, our rear has been raided. The man said in a panic. The rear was raided. Are you kidding me? Ba Dao immediately didn't believe it. Behind the sand city is a rugged and steep mountain. Under normal circumstances, the enemy can only attack from three directions if they want to attack the sand city. Behind it is a natural barrier. At this time, before the player could explain, another player came running over in a panic. Boss, the skeleton soldiers from behind have entered the city. They are shooting everywhere in the city with guns. That player obviously came to ask for help. The defensive force in the rear was too small, and the brothers could no longer withstand it. The second player's report made Ba Dao completely panic. At this time, in Shachung, Skeleton Machine Gun Assaulter, Heavy Skeleton Hunter, Skeleton Scout, a special assault team composed of three elite arms climbed directly up the mountain behind. Compared to ordinary skeleton soldiers, they are more agile. There are almost 10,000 of the three elite arms. Of course, the most numerous of these are the Skeleton Scouts, as a unit that has always existed before. After continuous improvement in proportion, their number is about 7,000. The remaining 3,000 are skeleton machine gun assaulters and heavily armored skeleton hunters. With such a huge number and powerful firepower, the Sand City suddenly fell into chaos. When Ba Dao came with a part of the elite group, I happened to see a group of skeleton soldiers with guns shooting at the defenders. What are these? Ba Dao looked at the scene in front of him and wondered if he had seen it wrong. The largest number of skeleton scouts. They are armed with special pistols. Moreover, the bullets will be filled with ice and fire. And at the same time, a pumpkin-shaped grenade will be thrown. Even if they are caught in close combat, they can immediately switch to attacking with a dagger, which has both ice and fire attributes. The key point is that even if they are really defeated, they will still shadow escape. Just pull away, and then switch to the pistol to shoot. There is another type that also holds a pistol. The heavily armored skeleton hunter. They're not that fancy. But they summon skeleton hounds, which are fast, powerful, and annoying. The key is that they will also lay traps. Once the players chasing them step into the trap, they will be controlled. The most powerful one is the skeleton machine gun assaulter. Hold a machine gun and fire wildly. And shoot directly at players when you see them. Moreover, it also has a violent state. And even players with hundreds of levels cannot withstand such shooting under the firepower coverage. We couldn't let them continue to destroy like this. So we first surrounded and suppressed the skeletons in the city. Ba Dao immediately ordered. Immediately, a large number of players were mobilized to kill the skeletons in the city. But these skeletons in the city are very flexible. After the players began to work together to destroy them, they no longer hugged together. Instead, they were scattered in every corner of the sand city, making every alley full of skeleton soldiers. Although the elite group of Shamo Star has a high level per capita and good equipment. But when it comes to street fighting, it's not that efficient anymore. These skeleton soldiers are divided into dozens of units and a small team. If you encounter them in an alley, you will immediately encounter their intensive firepower. Skeleton soldiers are only good at level 90. Don't forget that the skeleton soldiers of the god of the undead have a certain defense-breaking ability. Plus the advantage of numbers. There was even an absolute elite of level 150 in the elite group of Samos. After wiping out a small group of skeleton soldiers, he was suddenly surrounded from both sides. Not only that, some teams of skeleton soldiers also climbed up the houses on the alley, covered by high-intensity firepower from the front, rear and roof of the building. The man held on for a long time. But these skeleton soldiers seemed to have a telepathic connection. After discovering that he was such a big fish, they began to pour into the alley to surround him. Even with his level 150 elite level, he couldn't withstand such a steady stream of attacks. The same scene also happened in all the alleys of Shacheng. Suifeng did not participate in the battle but found a high place to broadcast live. The water friends in the live broadcast room also clearly saw what happened in this street fight. This is too exciting. Only 10,000 skeleton soldiers entered the city, and they brought so much trouble to the Shamasin Guild. I can't imagine what the scene would be like in Sand City if those millions of skeleton soldiers really invaded Sand City. Skeleton soldiers are so cool with guns and grenades. What's the point of showing off? Wasn't he just holding a cannon? How did we in West Wind City win these things? The last time I participated in Sheafing City, 
it was not that strong at all. No matter in every aspect, seeing the performance of these skeleton soldiers in street fighting, many people were stunned. These skeleton soldiers simply broke their inherent impression of skeleton soldiers. Chapter 142 Legendary Witch Statue Ridless Sound As he continued to fight, Ba Dao was already breaking out in a cold sweat. What is going on with these skeleton soldiers? Boss, there is an emergency at the city wall. Some bears and wolves are charging at high speed. Before Ba Dao can solve the problem here, a new problem will appear soon. Why is it not so difficult when you watch others hit you? Bring over five crystal cannons. Ba Dao immediately said on the command channel. It turned out that the city wall was a little nervous. And Ba Dao had to adjust the crystal cannon. But the city is full of swordsmen. And as salaried workers, they can't refute anything. Five crystal cannons were immediately mobilized. Everyone involved in the street fighting returns. Fire directly into the city. After Ba Dao made this decision, many people were surprised. In doing so, the buildings in the Sand City will also be affected. And a lot of property will be lost. But in this kind of war, the command's words are everything. And no one can refute it. Boom. 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 With a roar, the city suddenly burst into flames. The skeleton soldiers in the alley and the buildings in the city were directly enveloped by this burst of artillery fire, holding the grass, dominating the sword. This is too crazy. There is nothing wrong with doing this. You didn't see the situation in front of you. Some strange things in the skeleton army are impacting at high speed. I originally thought it would be an easy city-crushing battle, but I didn't expect Shamixing to be beaten to this point. Who says it isn't? Shaqing is easy to defend but difficult to attack. And Shamixing itself is not worse than some NPC cities in terms of strength. Is there a possibility that the god of the undead was just playing around before? But this time he is serious about it? Many people saw this scene and immediately started talking. Of course, some people think that Ba Dao is right to do this. If you are unable to resolve the war situation inside the city, you will be unable to fully respond to the situation outside the city. If Sha Chang was lost because of his reluctance to part with this little property, then he, Ba Dao, would be the sinner. Not only did he become the laughing stock of the entire game, he also faced the double upgrade debuff and the loss of failed defense. Such a decision makes him appear to be domineering. But Ba Dao doesn't feel bad. But some people do. This tyrant, who allowed him to treat my property like this. Su Chin on the city wall felt extremely uncomfortable when he saw the scene. There were quite a few shops in those destroyed buildings. Those are all the properties he is about to borrow. It seems that you have to be gentler. This tyrannical sword can't stand the stimulation. Su Chin shook his head. You are a great master of swordsmanship. You are noble. You have money, and you can be defeated like this. Have you ever experienced that I haven't even borrowed it yet? I have no money and no power. How am I being bullied? His best defensive device only uses dark gold. Su Chen adjusted his strategy slightly to give Ba Dao some room to stabilize. At this time, Ba Dao had already arrived at the city wall. Since he had just transferred five crystal cannons, the skeleton soldiers were already approaching the city on the front battlefield at this time. Skeleton bears and skeleton werewolves can also charge uphill. In this case, they attracted a lot of firepower. The price is that the skeleton soldiers' line is pushed further and further forward, and they are almost at the foot of the city gate. These are millions of skeleton soldiers. Only 10,000 skeleton soldiers had just arrived at the city. And they had already made Sha Chung miserable. Millions of skeleton soldiers have entered San City. Can San City still have to defend it? Is the city about to be destroyed? Many people began to doubt. President Ba Dao. You have to think of a way. I spent 100,000 gold coins to buy the tickets from you. You can't do this. It's already coming up. What should I do? Those individual people who bought tickets now regretted very much. Ba Dao just glanced at those people. The scattered people will be the scattered people after all. And our army will be defeated at every turn. I didn't want to use it at first. But luckily I brought this thing from the main city over from the Shura realm. Ba Dao took out a witch statue from the ring. The skeleton army was still advancing forward. But Ba Dao walked slowly to the top of the city wall. Gently placed the witch statue on the city wall. Launch. Ba Dao gave the order. Suddenly, it seemed that a witch really appeared in the witch statue. But the specific appearance of the witch could not be seen. Only a vague figure. The witch was condescending. Looking down at the skeleton soldiers. Suddenly, something sounded. Unrhythmic sound. Under this sound wave, the skeleton soldiers suddenly fell one by one. It seemed like he fell down for no reason. 
But as the leader of the skeleton soldiers, Su Chen could feel that these skeleton soldiers were not simply falling. Su Chen felt three elements respectively. Invisible water, formless wind, and fallen flames. This thing should be at least legendary level. Su Chen looked over from a distance. At this time, the witch statue was dancing. And every time she waved her hand, she could take away a large number of skeleton soldiers. But Su Chen's eyes became intense. Like defensive devices such as crystal cannons. Once placed, the witch statue cannot be taken back in a state of war. In other words, he has a chance to get this thing. For the sake of this statue, I forgive you for destroying property. Su Chen moved his palms and smiled slightly. Congratulations to Mr. Su for receiving a legendary device. Bing Feng next to him immediately congratulated Su Chen when he saw his expression. After all, he knew that Su Chen had the ability to bring items from the game to reality including the fact that he had been collecting them some time ago. What is harvest? I'm just borrowing it. Don't talk nonsense. Su Chen glanced at Bing Feng lightly and said, Yes, yes. My subordinate made a slip of the tongue. Bing Feng immediately changed his words. After following Su Chen for so long, Bing Feng probably understood some of Su Chen's character. Su is always a fastidious person and never does bad things. Kindness. And the other side under the influence of the legendary witch statue. Millions of skeleton soldiers turned out to be as brittle as paper. As the killing move was released, the last large group of skeleton soldiers fell completely. This is probably the defense device of the Shamasin Guild in the main city. Unexpectedly, Ba Dao brought it here. As expected of the Shamasin Guild, my 100,000 gold coins were well spent. President Ba Dao, we were just joking just now. Please don't take it to heart. As the war situation changes, the mentality of the sand people also changes. It seems that this time, the sand city guard succeeded. Although the defense of the city was a bit bumpy this time, everyone was still satisfied with the result. Everyone on the city wall was already talking and laughing. Strange. Why hasn't the world announcement announced that we successfully defended the city? One player noticed something was wrong. Chapter 143 Dark Creatures Arrive When someone said this, many people immediately reacted. Yes, why haven't we declared victory yet? Please be patient. Everyone. The last time West Wind City won. The world announcement took a while. It turned out to be like this. I thought we had never fought. A false alarm. A false alarm. This is causing trouble. Keep playing and keep dancing. Although some players raised questions. Someone still provided an explanation. Everyone also believed it. In other words. Rather than believing it. I just couldn't accept the fact that the defense of the city was not successful. At this time, even if I wanted to lie to myself, I had to lie to myself first. At this time, the sky gradually darkened. Everyone looked up at the sky. It was not dark clouds, but it looked like it had really entered the dark night. Does it get dark so early in Shachang? It's not a question of whether it gets dark early or not. Have you ever seen a sky that gets dark as soon as it gets dark? I don't know why, but I always feel a little uneasy. The players in the Sand City began to panic. Even Ba Dao frowned at this time. And he felt that things were not simple. The knife has become heavier? Ba Dao looked at the arm holding the knife and finally felt something was wrong. His weapon is a heavy sword that requires a certain amount of strength to hold. Originally, with his strength, he could use this heavy knife with ease. But now he felt awkward. The knife is still the same knife. My attributes seem to be declining in this darkness. Ba Dao made his own judgment based on the feel of holding the knife. Then he took a look at his attributes. Sure enough, just as he guessed, the attributes were reduced. Light the torches and sprinkle the lighting moss. Use night observation to explore your surroundings. Ba Dao gave the command directly. Ba Dao's reaction was quite fast. Unlike many Sanren players, who were still stunned in place at this time. Under Ba Dao's command, Sha Qing's defensive forces immediately began to operate. Boss. Skeleton soldiers? Many skeleton soldiers are advancing towards Sand City. After a while, scouts came to report. Isn't it over yet? Ba Dao murmured to himself. Then, the commander continued the city defense mode. This time, Ba Dao has placed people in the back mountain to prevent them from being surrounded by skeleton soldiers with guns before entering the city. The other side, Su Chen watched all this with interest. At the moment when the two million skeleton soldiers were destroyed, he started the evolution again. And there were two new skeleton soldiers. Not only has the proportion of elite units been further improved, two more special arms have been added. Name, Skeleton Magic Bird. 
Level, level 90. Limit life limit, 18,000. Maximum strength, 300. Strength, 1,100. Agility, 1,000. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 500. Movement speed, 1,000. Attack attack speed, 300. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, raging claws. Sonic attack. Dark energy arrows. Name, skeleton lightning technique. Level, level 90. Limit life limit, 15,000. Maximum strength, 200. Intelligence, 1300. Agility, 700. Spirit, 500. Endurance, 500. Movement speed, 300. Attack attack speed, 300. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, lightning strike. Enhanced lightning strike. Enhanced chain lightning. Energy saving spell casting. Lightning enchantment. These two new skeleton troops once again, enhance the offensive methods of the skeleton army. The skeleton magic bird mainly increases the power of air combat. Lei Fa himself is a half output and half auxiliary character, especially its lightning enchantment, which can enchant the skeleton army with lightning attacks. Of course, one skeleton lightning spell can only enchant dozens of skeleton soldiers, but as long as there are more lightning spells, placing one skeleton lightning spell in each team will have the same effect. As for why it suddenly got dark, it's because the inheritance skill darkness has fallen. Darkness comes creates a dark field in an area. All attributes of all units in the field are improved. And non-dark creatures are weakened. Dark creatures will be randomly summoned in the field to help. The size of the area is affected by the level of the releaser. This field is inaccessible in dispersal state. Domain coverage has the highest priority. The first wave is to play with the people in Sha Chung. After Su Chen saw the legendary witch statue, he became serious. I don't know what those random dark creatures are. Su Chen also looked expectantly. Bing Feng watched this scene from the side and was extremely shocked. He knew very well that it was suddenly dark that day, and it was most likely caused by Mr. Su. However, Su Chen didn't say anything, and he didn't dare to have any big reaction rashly. There are many players around. At this time, Ba Dao is focusing on the front, waiting for the opponent to enter the range and start the battle directly. But before the artillery exchange, I heard a commotion around me. Ba Dao looked over and found that it was coming from the camp of the individual players. Ghosts. There are many ghosts on the city walls. If there are any holy light types, please disperse them quickly. Where did these ghosts come from? A group of ghosts directly attacked the individual players. Just when Ba Dao wanted to go to support, he found a man in black robes covered with bandages appearing in front of him. This is Ghost Walker? Ba Dao was fairly well informed and recognized him immediately. Demon Breaking Slash. Ba Dao immediately used a targeted skill. Fortunately, the level of this ghost messenger does not seem to be particularly high, so it is relatively easy to deal with it. If there were a ghost messenger of a similar level to him, it would be very difficult with his method of dealing with ghosts. Unfortunately, a group of foxes spawned directly around the city wall. Immediately someone reported a new situation. Those foxes were very agile. Even though the defending players worked hard, the foxes still climbed up a lot. Many players rushed forward, preparing to eliminate those foxes. But after some players saw the fox's eyes, they were stunned and stayed in a daze. Their H, L foxes, don't look into their eyes. Ba Dao immediately gave instructions. When he was in the Shura world, he also dealt with many ghost foxes from H, L. The elite group of Shamo Star also had experience in dealing with the H, L fox, and immediately organized an attack. Not many of these foxes could climb up, and they were quickly wiped out. How could there be a hell phantom fox in this shabby place like Sand City? And that ghost walker. Thinking of this, Ba Dao seemed particularly irritable. It seems that defending the city this time is really not that simple. Chapter 144. Activate the statue's sword in advance. But luckily there is a witch statue. Ba Dao glanced at the witch statue he brought. It can be said that this is the most valuable thing in the guild's property. Fire. After the skeleton army entered the shooting range, Ba Dao gave the order directly. Suddenly, the roar of cannons filled the skeleton army camp. The witch statue needs a certain amount of charging time, which is the skill CD. At this time, you need to buy time for the witch statue. Just like the first time, the skeleton shields directly open the defensive formation, forming a 100 meter high barrier. After a round of SH, Ling, they were all blocked. But I don't know why. But the firepower this time is worse than last time. The previous round of SH, Ling had left traces. 
but this time it didn't even leave traces. It was only under the second round of crystal cannon fire that a crack appeared. It seems to be more solid? Is it because a few cannons are missing? Ba Dao could only think like this at this time. But after the skeleton army started to counterattack, the gap from the first round was really revealed. The heavy artillery of the skeleton army also fired back. Compared with the first time, the intensity of artillery fire has increased significantly. At the same time, these SH LS also have thunder and fire attributes. The thunder attribute is the lightning enchantment of the skeleton thunder method. And the fire attribute is the fire enchantment of the legion skill enabled by Su Chin. The cannonballs turned into thunderbolts. The power is naturally unusual. However, the group that Su Chin controlled the bombing this time was where players gather, not the crystal cannons. The first round of blowing up those crystal cannons already made Su Chin feel distressed. Just two rounds to fight. Directly silencing the player camp. Although only one crystal cannon was destroyed. One fifth of the players defending the city had been killed and were resurrecting at this time. It's good that players can be resurrected. But every time they die, they lose a lot of experience. After winning the siege battle, you only get two levels in total. If you play like this, the experience you need to die may be more than two levels. And judging from the current situation, whether Shacham can be defended is still a question. If you fail to defend the city, not only will you lose experience, but you will also get a big debuff. Now none of the players defending the city have a relaxed mentality. Everyone is tense. However, compared to the solemn and silent mood of the players in Sand City, the water friends in the live broadcast room were full of joy. To tell a joke, the first level price of 10,000 gold coins is clearly marked. Is there any problem if I lose one level for 10,000? No problem. There are also those who paid tens of thousands of gold coins to the Inquisitors. They were so arrogant before. But why are they silent now? Look! A black hole appeared in the sky. It seemed like something was coming out from inside. At this time, the players on the city wall also discovered the scene. There were masses of black mist in the sky, supporting the creatures descending from the sky. Compared to the foxes that descended below the city before, these descending creatures descended directly into the city. Not only on the city walls, but also inside the city. As the black mist dissipated, everyone could clearly see the faces of these descending creatures. The few that descended on the city wall seemed to be orcs. Take a closer look. It's the face of a sheep. Each of them holds a giant axe in their hands. And they look very strong and tall. It's the goat demon. Kill them quickly. Don't let them activate the demonic energy to protect the body. If you want to kill them again, it will be difficult to kill them. I'm convinced. Why are there so many siege techniques in Sha Chung? The main players are basically on the city wall. So it is relatively easy to kill a few of them. The key is what to do if it comes to the city. Send a few cannons over and blast them as before. The Ba Dao was already in ruins at this time. A lot of it had been destroyed anyway. So it didn't matter if some more were destroyed. Su Chen, who was not far away, held his forehead slightly. His fortune was cut again. It's not like he let these goat demons descend into the city. In order to prevent Ba Dao from continuing to destroy his property, Su Chen did not let the skeleton soldiers use the back of tactics to enter the city this time just because he was afraid that Ba Dao would destroy his property. As a result, Ba Dao still continues to attack his property. I endured it for the sake of the legendary witch statue. Su Chen thought this way. Since several crystal cannons were transferred away, the firepower of the city defenders was weakened again. The witch statue is still a little short of a good CD. Ba Dao's expression was a little painful. But he still took out a scroll. Magic, meteor and fire shower. This is a large-scale war-type magic and generally large guilds will have similar reserves. The Ba Dao was obtained with great difficulty, but the skeleton army was already approaching the city, so we had to wait for some time. But just as he was crushing the scroll, a group of skeleton magic birds suddenly appeared and attacked him. At the same time, the snipers arranged by Su Chen also attacked Ba Dao at the same time. This resulted in a deviation when the magic locked the position. Missed. Although it has a slight effect, it is not enough to stop the skeleton soldiers. There is no other way. Let's stimulate the potential. But then, the witch statue will have to rest for three days and replenish energy before it is okay. Ba Dao gritted his teeth and activated the witch statue in advance. Unrhythmic sound. Just like before. The skeleton soldiers fell down one by one under the sound waves. It seems that although it was activated in advance, the energy was not attenuated. Under the power of the legendary witch statue, most of the millions of skeleton soldiers were once again wiped out. 
Use full firepower. Don't be stingy with SH. LS. Just shoot them all. Don't shrink from melee combat. Go all out to find the skeleton soldiers. Don't let anyone go. Ba Dao was afraid that another monster would descend from the sky. Therefore, at this time, the order was given to use all firepower. Even if it was a waste of artillery fire, the remaining skeleton soldiers must be destroyed quickly. Quick victory. Because judging from all the sieges by the god of the undead, the successful defense of the city is due to the destruction of all the skeleton soldiers who attacked the city. The end of the siege is considered successful when the world announcement prompts. He was wondering if the skeleton soldiers were not wiped out in the first wave. So this time, Ba Dao planned to destroy these skeletons with all his strength and use the fastest speed. It's really about running out of bullets. Two minutes later, Boss, we haven't found any skeleton soldiers outside. The players who were cleaning up outside said to Ba Dao. Ba Dao finally breathed a sigh of relief. This should be a success. Right? But, no announcement. Still no announcement. Why was there no announcement? Ba Dao clenched his fists, feeling nervous. The crystal cannon is almost out of SH. LS, the witch statue is temporarily unusable. And the city is in a mess. Not to mention the casual players and ordinary players. Many players in his elite group have already dropped levels. And some have even dropped two levels. Now Sha Ching has run out of ammunition. Chapter 145 Who is fighting the fire? Ba Dao chose to retreat. Not only did the announcement not sound, but even the dark curtain in the sky did not disappear. What happened before is still vivid in my mind. The whole place was very quiet. And the dark environment made everyone feel on pins and needles. Go explore again. After Ba Dao issued this order, no one in the audience spoke. Only the occasional sound of wind blowing torches can be heard. Bing Feng looked at Su Chin. He knew that Mr. Su's next move would determine the outcome of this battle. The flickering firelight reflected Su Chin's profile. Boom. 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 The sound of neat steps came from a distance. Judging from the sound, the momentum is not weaker than before. Ba Dao quickly ran to the city wall, used night vision binoculars, and watched. Bang! The heavy knife in his hand fell to the ground. Boss, at this time, the investigators from the front also reported the latest situation. But I don't know why. Ba Dao didn't listen to a word. Besides? Why else? Ba Dao sat helplessly on the ground. Ba Dao's decadent appearance also attracted the attention of many individual players. Soon, many individual players with advanced detection skills discovered this scene. There are a lot of skeleton soldiers. And the number is still about the same as the previous two waves. President Ba Dao, please think of a way quickly and use the statue to kill them again. Yes. Yes. Just like before. Kill them easily in seconds. Facing individual players, Ba Dao seemed to have turned a deaf ear. The skeleton army slowly approached. But the players from the Shamasin Guild still made no move. As guild players, they actually now know what the situation is. Not only have their levels been lost, more than half of the crystal cannons have been destroyed. And the crystal cannon SH. LS have almost been used up. Although the witch statue is powerful, many of them come from the main city guild. Beating the witch statue twice in a row is already overloaded. Boss. However, he couldn't be an ostrich. Someone still looked at Ba Dao and asked softly. A long time. Let the brothers retreat and abandon the city. Ba Dao made a decision. Sha Chung no longer has enough firepower to deal with what's coming next. Rather than having people around. It would be better to lose less experience. After all, the guild is responsible for compensating for the lost experience. Hearing Ba Dao's decision, the guild players also breathed a sigh of relief. They knew very well that they could not resist the siege now. Let the brothers count all their belongings and take away whatever they can. Ba Dao continued. But he didn't wait for Ba Dao to finish speaking. At this time, some skeleton magic birds began to sneak attack on them from the sky. At the same time, since the defense on the back mountain was removed, the skeleton commandos were able to climb up again quickly. This was also arranged by Su Chen in advance. He's just here to borrow something. But he can still let you take it away. The trouble caused by the skeleton demonic bird slowed down the retreat of the Shamasin guild. The tyrant dog is about to run away. But I paid 50,000 gold coins to get in. At this time, a voice came from nowhere in the crowd. This person is naturally Su Chen. Ba Dao wants to run away with his belongings. How can it be so easy? Sure enough, after someone took the lead, the players also started to make a fuss. So many people bought tickets at a high price 
and ran away as soon as they wanted. Is it worthy of us? Stars and stars. Refund your money. How about we defend the city ourselves? There are millions of skeleton soldiers. Can they win? Very blue. It's over. Individual players have already begun to pose. Everyone. It's over anyway. Let's not let Ba Dao escape. At this time, another rhythmic voice appeared from somewhere. That is, you have tricked us and you want to leave right now? You still want to pack up your belongings and run away. Right? It's okay if you don't want to refund the money. Brothers, we can move it ourselves. The rubbish guild is simply a terrifying whale. The excitement of the players was also successfully controlled. In this way, the Shamison guild had just dealt with those skeleton magic birds and was thinking about packing up and running away. The individual players stopped them. The two sides fell into a confrontation. Everyone, I will return your gold coins to you afterwards. Guaranteed by my reputation as a master of swords. At this time, Ba Dao knew the situation and directly stood up to guarantee it. I saw Ba Dao say this. The individual players, who had already been aroused, became a little calmer. After all, the people in front of me are Ba Dao. They are Samran. And Ba Dao has promised to refund the money. Seeing that this matter can be resolved like this. Suddenly, from nowhere, several magic bullets were fired. And the unsuspecting Shamus and Guild players were immediately killed. This is what Su Chen asked Bing Feng to do secretly. And he secretly carried out a sneak attack on the individual player camp. In this way both sides were attacked at the same time. The two sides, who had gradually calmed down, suddenly became angry. Your guild will say one thing and do another. Right? Go ahead. These stragglers are really lawless. Brothers, teach them a lesson. Following the words that came out of nowhere, the two sides suddenly fell into a big melee. Stop it all. Ba Dao shouted angrily. But at this time, no one bought it anymore. And his scolding was of no use to the battle situation. The people in his guild listened to his words and stopped. But when they saw the stoppage, the individual players did not stop. When someone is hit, they naturally have to fight back. So Ba Dao can't stop this fight. Just when Ba Dao was about to burst out with his own power, he would stabilize this farce. At this moment, a black vortex appeared in the sky. A huge skeleton descended from the sky. This is General Skeleton? Ba Dao was stunned for a moment. Boss, there are tens of thousands more skeletons climbing up from the back mountain. Not only was there a huge skeleton general in front of him, but a piece of news came at the same time, coupled with the skeleton army in the distance. Without the obstruction of artillery fire, their advanced speed is also accelerating. In particular, some magic bear werewolves, some skeleton knights and other fast ones were already accelerating and rushing towards them. Ba Dao, who originally wanted to calm down the farce, had no such intention at this time. If you don't want anything anymore, don't get entangled with these random people. Just fight and retreat at the same time. Ba Dao sighed helplessly. After Ba Dao chose to give up, Sha Chung was defeated like a mountain, not to mention taking away some belongings. Even when they retreated, they were in a hard fight. Ba Dao even had to make a choice to let some people from the Second Society retreat and cover the retreat of the elite group. This is the best way he can think of now to preserve his strength. When Ba Dao retreated, he glanced at the witch statue. It will take a certain amount of time to recover the current witch statue from the fighting state. And there is obviously no time to recover it now. Chapter 146 Someone Stole the Cannon Fortunately, there are imprint coordinates. Less than 10 of the crystal cannons had been destroyed. And Ba Dao still didn't want to give up. If it weren't for the sudden appearance of the skeleton magic bird and the trouble caused by the individual players, he would have had a chance to take it back. Even some valuable things in the shops in Sha Chung are free to recycle. But now, continuing to stay in Sha Chung will only lead to a bitter battle. He could have dealt with the skeleton general. But he didn't intend to deal with it at this time. Anyway, skeleton general attacks all players. So it's best to attack more individual players. As for the elite group's retreat, these skeletons and individual players cannot stop it. As soon as the team acceleration skill was activated, Ba Dao's elite group evacuated smoothly. On the city wall, only the players from the second guild of Shamising and the individual players remained. And the latest arrival of the skeleton general. The three parties fought fiercely on the city wall. It made Su Chen quite distressed. Damn you. Don't hit my baby. Su Chen cursed in his heart as he watched someone's attack splash onto the defensive devices. Not only that, there are also thoughtful individual players who quietly sneaked in front of the witch statue 
and the crystal cannons to get in touch with their placement status. Just wait until it becomes ownerless and steal it directly. This is also a very profitable move. Su Chen couldn't take care of those crystal cannons for the time being. Su Chen. The witch statue. Let Bingfeng watch the whole process. Hurry up and attack the city wall. Su Chen also gave instructions to the skeleton soldiers in his heart. Whether it was the skeleton commando team coming in from the back mountain or the skeleton army in front. They were all rushing towards the city wall at this time. This skeleton general is a random dark creature that cannot follow my specific instructions, but only knows the hostile forces attacking me. The skeleton general is very powerful in combat. Originally, Su Chen was thinking about whether he could order him to help him protect his property, but this guy didn't listen to his specific instructions at all, and only knew how to attack the player camp except himself indiscriminately. Even those crystal cannons, because they were items in the player's camp. It even destroyed two crystal cannons. If it weren't for the chaos in front of him and the need for it to disrupt the situation, Su Chen would have wanted it to go back and forth. After a while, finally, the skeleton demon bear and the skeleton werewolf climbed up the city wall. Su Chen immediately ordered them to attack the two groups of players. Certainly, today's players still possess a certain level of combat effectiveness and can still destroy them with only a small number of magic bears and ordinary skeleton werewolves. But it doesn't matter. They are just stalling for time. At this time, tens of thousands of assault team members finally climbed onto the city wall. Heavy Skeleton Hunter. Skeleton Machine Gun Assaulter. Skeleton Scout. ta da 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 After they came up, they were immediately shot. No matter if you are a guild player or an independent player. After this burst of shooting, the city wall finally calmed down. However, the Skeleton General felt that it was not enough and was still wreaking havoc. Release, Darkness Falls. Su Chen thought. The sun is warm, and the breeze is gentle. It's like after the rain. The sky clears up, and the sky becomes blue. Making you feel refreshed. If it weren't for the dilapidation everywhere, this would have been a leisurely afternoon. The skeleton general also slowly disappeared, as the darkness faded. Mr. Su. The resurrection point has been found and destroyed. The core crystal was also destroyed. And now the entire city belongs to the borderlands. Bing Feng said at this time. You lead a few teams of skeleton soldiers to raid the city for anything valuable. Su Chen gave the order. At the same time, several groups of skeleton soldiers were asked to cooperate with Bing Feng. Yes, Mr. Su. Bing Feng nodded and immediately walked towards the city. Then Su Chen had a thought and asked millions of skeleton soldiers to stand guard outside the city. There were some individual players who quarreled in the forum before, threatening to come to help the skeleton army attack Sand City. They really didn't brag and actually came. But after Su Chen discovered them, he cleared them all away. So from the beginning to the end, those who said they were going to attack Sha Chung were wiped out without even entering the outer perimeter. Of course, Su Chen would not let anyone see him surrounded by skeleton soldiers. It's not that they can't be seen. But seeing that day, Su Chen already had the confidence to conquer the world. Su Chen walked to the statue of the witch. Sound witch statue. Type, statue. Level requirement, none. City defense plus 1000. Bonus attribute, special resistance plus 1000. Attached skill, rhythmless sound. Special effect, confused sound. Rhymeless sound, launch a large sound of killing. Various attributes will appear randomly. And it needs to be charged and released, if it is released forcibly. It will sleep for a period of time. Voice of confusion, in the passive state. Some rhythms will be emitted. People who break in without permission will be confused by the rhythms and have their attributes reduced. Unexpectedly, it also has a passive defense effect, which is really good. Su Chen nodded, quite satisfied. After returning to a calm state, it would take a few minutes for relief. But Su Chen could afford to wait. These prodigal players only have six intact crystal cannons left, and there are not many crystal cannon sh. LS left. Su Chen checked the other devices and shook his head. He destroyed some by attacking the city himself. And the dark creatures behind also destroyed some without listening to his specific instructions. And when conflicts broke out later, some more were smashed. These are not the most irritating. The most irritating thing was that there was a guy who somehow stole a cannon from him. At that time, the combat power he could command on the city wall was limited. So there was no time to take care of him. This old thief is really hateful. That is the crystal cannon I borrowed so hard. Su Chin was a little helpless. Fortunately, because the failure of this siege was double punishment. I got all the information about these players, including their locations. 
Su Chen opened the list, which was full of information about players who failed in the siege. This is the punishment for failure, the mark of the god of the dead. All their equipment, skills and occupations are clearly listed above, and even what is in their backpacks and their current location are displayed. Don't let me catch you, the sixth person who stole my cannon. If I catch you, you'll have some juice. Su Chen put away the list. He didn't have time to look through it now. When he had time, he would just look at the backs of these people and see who had the crystal cannon in their backpack. Generally, this kind of heavy city defense equipment is installed on the city wall and always carried in the backpack. Most of them are the sixth one. If you want to bully a righteous person like me, wait until I list the types of soldiers that are suitable for hunting down. Su Chen thought coldly in his heart. He didn't have time to embarrass an ordinary player. But as long as he had the mark and the coordinates, he could just let a group of idle skeleton soldiers chase him automatically. Chapter 147 It's not about profit. It's all about justice. Soon, a few minutes passed. The witch statue and the six crystal cannons are now ready for collection. Not only did Su Chen collect these, but also some dark gold level catapults, powerful crossbows, fuel engines, etc. Su Chen also collected them all without disdain. After all, these are the proceeds of labor. And it is everyone's responsibility to prevent waste. On the other hand, Bing Feng was still counting his income. But Su Chen was not in a hurry. Su Chen has set up defenses for several miles around. And no one can get close for the time being. The entire sand city is full of busy skeleton soldiers. The powerful melee skeleton soldiers are carrying supplies and gathering them in one place for easy collection. The long-range skeleton soldiers are responsible for destroying buildings that have been harvested and destroying evidence. How is the collection going? Su Chen met Bing Feng in the city. Fortunately, Mr. Su asked me to bring more space rings. The dozens of space rings I brought were almost full. Bing Feng said a little tiredly. Okay. If the value is too ordinary, just destroy it. Don't waste too much time here. Su Chen waved his hand and said, Mr. Su, we have made a lot of money this time. I didn't expect Sha Chen to be so fat. Bing Feng grinned. He was really convinced by Su Chen now. How long would it take before he could make so much money? What do we mean by making money? Do you know that the people from Samos are doing a lot of evil in the Ashbu Plain? Players in this area are miserable. This expedition is not for profit. It is all for justice. No matter whether to make money or not. Su Chen's sincere and sincere words of education came from Bingfeng Road. Mr. Su, aren't I too excited? This is indeed the punishment these evil people deserve. This is a just punishment. Seeing Su Chen's displeasure. Bing Feng also became more enlightened and immediately changed his mind. Okay, come on. Let me see if there is anything good. Su Chen immediately grabbed a handful of storage rings and checked them out. Hee <laughs> hee. Mr. Su, I have already counted them. There are nearly 10 pieces of legendary equipment. More than 20 pieces of epic equipment. And countless pieces of dark gold and gold level equipment. They were all too late to get them from the guild warehouse. There are not many high-end items in the other shops. But there are a lot of materials and consumables. I moved them all. Bing Feng explained to Su Chen while Su Chen was watching. Su Chen glanced at it and nodded. This does not include the destroyed shops. After this battle, there will be no shortage of gold coins for the time being. Just take and dispose of any items that have no special use. Su Chen casually threw the handful of storage rings to Bing Feng. Now that Shamasing has received the punishment he deserves. Let's withdraw. Su Chen directly read the city return scroll. Bing Feng also read back to the city. After the two teleported away, Su Chen also made a thought and took back all the skeleton soldiers. Sha Chang returned to silence again. If it weren't for the ruins all over the city and the flames of war that hadn't been extinguished, it would be as if nothing had happened here. World announcement. The defense of the Sand City failed. And all players defending the city were judged to have failed. Due to the triggering of the hidden plot, all players who failed to defend the city were marked with the mark of the god of the undead. Mark of the Undead God, your damage to the undead is reduced by 50%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 50%. And the undead god can lock your position at any time, duration, until you defeat the undead god. I didn't pay attention to this battle. Who can tell me why Sand City was smashed to pieces? Didn't the god of the undead lose three times in a row? The previous siege was just a joke. But this siege is where the god of the undead really takes action. Who can withstand three waves of attacks by millions of skeleton soldiers? There were more than a dozen crystal cannons in Sand City. And Bod Dao also brought the witch statue from Shura's main city. 
but it was also smashed to pieces. Only those who have seen it will know how shocking it is. Tens of thousands of special skeleton commandos march directly over the mountains into the city and shoot everywhere with guns. After the second wave of darkness fell, the skeleton army's strength increased across the board, and dark creatures descended directly from the sky above the main city. I also paid 60,000 gold coins to buy the ticket to go in. Silly dog bought down. I will refund my money every star. If you don't believe me, I was going to help the god of the undead to attack the city, but I was killed by the god of the undead in the distance. The silly dog upstairs. The god of the undead is obviously in opposition to humans. And yet, he goes to help the god of the undead, who told those superior dogs to have bad mouths first. The world channel is extremely lively. Some were discussing the battle. Some were scolding Ba Dao. And some were quarreling with each other. In comparison, the world channel is full of messy news. In terms of forums, more core issues are discussed. One of the posts comes with a video. Damage test. Regarding my 80% reduction in damage to the undead. In the video, there is a player who participated in two failed sieges. The god of the undead actually doesn't have a high success rate in sieges until now. But he just happens to catch up when he wins. He is a level 125 player. In the test video, he found a level 115 undead elite monster that was lower than him. His equipment is not bad. But in the video, he fights an undead elite monster that is 10 levels lower than him. It took a full minute and a half to wear it out. And it was also because he chose a relatively clumsy undead monster. Otherwise, he would have almost been killed. Then he found two more undead monsters with lower levels than him. And tested three in total. These undead monsters that can usually be easily dealt with are doubled in difficulty. Don't ask me why I didn't find someone with a similar level. I already looked for him and almost ran away without recording it at the time. In this situation, if there is an undead expansion according to certain high player analysis, I can only choose to quit the game. The player in the video said helplessly. Originally, the comments in the barrage before the video were very happy. After all, the entertainment effect is still great. But when I heard what the player said at the end of the video, the man silently cried and the woman burst into tears. This time, I was also given a 50% buff. I didn't expect 80% to be so intuitive. I want to know, what will happen if I fail again and become 110% or 130%? I always feel like the god of the undead has some purpose in giving players such a buff. You want the experience brought by the god of the dead, but the god of the dead wants you not to play the game. I'm wondering if the previous three consecutive defeats were intentional and were used to confuse people. Does playing this kind of event make people quit traveling? In other words, the planners of this game are cold and cold. And except for occasional game announcements, they usually don't pay attention to the players at all. In the comments below the video, players also vented their dissatisfaction. Isn't this kind of permanent buff purely to discuss players? Chapter 148, the second meeting is disbanded. And the professional sixth is empty. The other side, Shachung, after the skeleton army disappeared. Ba Dao also came back with his people. After arriving in Shachung, Ba Dao and others were dumbfounded. Where is this still a city? The city wall has been almost destroyed, leaving only a pile of rubble. Go in and take a look. The whole city was filled with smoke. Some buildings still had some flames that were not extinguished. And most of them were smashed into ruins. When Ba Dao saw this scene, he sat helplessly on the ground. Boss, boss, cheer up. The two people next to him immediately helped Ba Dao up. Take inventory to see if there are any assets left. Ba Dao said weakly after being helped up. Suddenly a group of people were rummaging through the ruins, looking for something that had not been destroyed. But the city is so big, and the skeleton soldiers can occupy the whole city. So there is nothing that can slip through the net. Everything that could be taken away was taken away. And what could not be taken away was destroyed, as if it were evidence of destruction. Without the boss, Nothing of value is left. After taking inventory, one person reported to Ba Dao. Ba Dao had no reaction when he heard this. This is actually conceivable. After all, there is only a ruin in the entire city. Go look for anything valuable. That is, Ba Dao glanced around. Rebuild? This time the losses to the Samos guild were quite large. Basically half of the crystal cannon reserves were destroyed this time. And even the witch statue was gone. At the same time, all the property in Shacheng itself was destroyed. To rebuild Shacheng, a huge financial chain is needed. Moreover, 
now that the god of the undead is plundering the main continent. Who knows if it will happen again? Ba Dao looked back at the king. This group of people, including him, had reduced their damage to undead creatures by 50%. At the same time, undead attacks against them are also increased by 50%. We didn't defend the city this time. How will we defend it next time? So many defensive devices were destroyed. And the personnel were also put on the bus against the undead. And then, they were completely rebuilt in vain after the siege. Second meeting. Let's dissolve. After saying these words, Ba Dao felt weak. It also caused an uproar. President, you can't do this. We are all here for the guild. What should we do if the guild is dissolved? Yes, we have been joining the guild for so long. And there is no credit but hard work. Immediately, it aroused dissatisfaction among the people in the second meeting. The outstanding ones will be transferred for a while. And the rest of you will not be able to recover the wages or benefits you have received. That's it. Ba Dao waved his hand. He felt very tired. Those people from the second meeting wanted to say something else. But after Ba Dao said it, they went offline directly. When they were offline at the same time, Ba Dao also clicked a button. World Guild Information Update Column. Samo Xing Second Association has been disbanded. Soon, this news was also discovered by the players. After all, they had just experienced a war. So people still paid a lot of attention to Shamixing. After the Hijia Guild, another guild was broken up. This time is not comparable to that of a small guild like Hijia. Although it is only the second meeting, Ba Dao has come with the main force. Although Ba Dao did not do the right thing this time, it is still quite emotional to break up a guild like this. Have you noticed that the god of the undead is currently attacking NPC cities in a playful manner, while attacking player guilds is relentless? Indeed, there is a super strong person in the Double Crown Kingdom, and the god of the dead probably bullies the player like this because he knows that he has no backer behind the city. Isn't this bullying players? The game against NPC city only required one wave of attacks to win. This time against Sha Chung. Three waves of attacks were released in a row. If Shamixing can hold on to the third wave, who knows whether it will continue to attack. Now you can imagine that if Hijia Guild had defended the first wave, there should have been a second wave. You don't want players to play. Right? If the planner doesn't want players to play, he can say it clearly. There's no need to be so disgusting. Originally, before the fight, many people were unhappy with Ba Dao. But now seeing that Ba Dao's second club has really been disbanded, every player has begun to shed crocodile tears. In fact, they were worried about what they would do if their own guild encountered such a siege. Originally I thought there would only be one wave of siege, and we would win if we held on. Now it seems that the god of the undead will only hit players until they explode, and he will not be confident in beating anyone like this. Bu Xiang Wan is spicy, but just shout. Nowadays, New World has almost become the second world. It is no longer as simple as a game. There are a large number of employees in various derivative industries, such as gold mining groups, life occupations, and so on. If there are players in the game, who have not invested a lot of energy and money, they themselves didn't realize that it wasn't that the new world needed them, but that they couldn't live without the new world. At this time, Su Chen didn't pay attention to the topics outside. After handing over the other handling of goods to Bing Feng, Su Chen studied the information list. This information list is the player information brought by Mark of the Undead God. Su Chen is looking for who is the sixth person who stole the cannon. That's not it. Not this either. Although it's not this. There are quite a few treasures in his backpack. Su Chen's search method was very simple. Which was to go through the player's backpacks one by one. This old man must be caught. Otherwise justice will be violated. After nearly an hour of searching. I finally caught you. Stealing my crystal cannon and trying to run away. Su Chen finally found the crystal cannon in a player's backpack. Crystal cannons are usually installed on the city unless they are merchants. But even if there is a crystal cannon in the merchant's backpack, there won't be just one. Moreover, merchants generally have low combat effectiveness. They are afraid of being exposed. So they usually keep their goods in warehouses and rarely take them with them. Why does this ID feel familiar? Looking at the player named Xiao Kong Kong, Su Chen touched his chin. Suddenly, Su Chen remembered the story that Zhou Jing often told about how he managed to seize treasures from the three major guilds and still escape unscathed, compared to Zhou Jing's one who was a bit exaggerated. This Xiao Kong Kong seemed to be the one who had truly accomplished such a feat. It turned out to be the professional sixth former. Su Chen finally remembered. This is the real thing. 
someone who can steal treasures from several real top guilds and get away with it. It was once on the joint bounty list of several major guilds. But he was very good at hiding and acted very strangely. Which led to several major guilds offering bounties and not really catching him. But Shao Kong Kong's name is not that big now. This little old man had not yet accomplished the real feats he would later do. Otherwise, it's better not to alarm him first and wait until he has something bigger to gain. Su Chen smiled when he thought of this. When this little kid commits another crime, I will extend my iron fist of justice to punish him. As for this crystal cannon, let him keep it temporarily. There is no way. Who can call yourself kind-hearted? Chapter 149 If you get beaten, you need to equip yourself. The proud little Kong Kong. By the way, I don't know what his equipment and skills are like. Su Chen was suddenly curious and clicked on Xiao Kong Kong's profile picture. According to the previous operation, he could not only see the backpacks of marked players, but Su Chen could also view their skills and equipment. But when I clicked on Xiao Kong Kong's skills and equipment column, many question marks appeared. This skill is an ancient inherited skill and cannot be viewed. This equipment is ancient heritage equipment and cannot be viewed. This skill is an ancient inherited skill and cannot be viewed. It goes on like this for a long time. Why is it so mysterious? Su Chen frowned. Hold the grass. This guy doesn't have a magic weapon on him. Does he? Suddenly Su Chen thought of this possibility. After all, he can view other players. But Shao Kong Kong cannot. It seems that this is encrypted through inheritance. No wonder this guy has not been caught even after being wanted by several top guilds. Su Chen looked at the panel in front of him and thought. But when it comes to inheritance, it won't be simple. He has ancient inherited equipment and skills. And combined with the things he did in his previous life. It shouldn't be difficult to ask him to help me go to the ancient battlefield to find ancient talismans. Right? Su Chen took out the design of his war heart. Materials required. Ancient talisman 0 slash 1. Heart of dragon 0 out of 1. Ice of god realm 0 to 1. Now the same materials are still not collected. The heart of war is quite important to him. So that every time he wants to upgrade. He doesn't need to consume all the skeleton soldiers. He can directly command millions of skeleton soldiers into a state of dispute, and he can continuously gain experience. In order of difficulty, these three materials are ranked. The heart of the ancient weapon talisman dragon on the ice of god realm. The dragon's heart is the simplest. You just need to find a solitary dragon and stack it with skeleton soldiers. R. The ancient military symbols are in the ancient battlefield. The ancient battlefield is full of murderous potential. Although the skeleton soldiers may be able to open a path, if they encounter ancient mechanisms and traps, they will be killed instantly. Not to mention the realm of gods. Shao Kong Kong can obtain ancient inheritance. With his ability, it shouldn't be too difficult to find something on the ancient battlefield. Su Chen suddenly thought of a possibility and went offline. One minute later, Su Chen is online again. This mark is useless in the real world. Otherwise it would be nice to find Shao Kong Kong in reality and have a friendly chat with him. Su Chen shook his head. The minute he logged off, he sensed this imprint in reality. But this mark only exists in the new world. And when it returns to the real world, it is gone. How can I get Shao Kong Kong to help me go to the ancient battlefield to find the ancient weapon talisman? Su Chen touched his chin and thought. After all, there is no way to go in reality. Although the location of Shao Kong Kong can be located in the game, the friendly conversations in the game are still not as realistic as reality. Little Kong Kong may not be afraid. Moreover, it seems that Shao Kong Kong still has a trump card now. Even if Shao Kong Kong can be located in the game, he may not be able to defeat him. It would be great if we could see through all of Shao Kong Kong's trump cards and know ourselves and our enemies. But I can't say I didn't see anything. Su Chen still saw a feature on Shao Kong Kong's panel. Automatically reduced to minimum presence. When Su Chen saw this characteristic, he immediately understood why he was so defensive and didn't even notice that Shao Kong Kong had stolen the crystal cannon. It turns out that this thing has no sense of existence. Reducing the sense of presence is not invisibility. Invisibility will be caught by anti-stealth skills. But reducing the sense of presence will not. Maybe he is not far from you. But you don't notice him. Lao Lu's magical skill. Kindness? There is actually the function of viewing the other party's image through the mark. Su Chen studied for a while and discovered a new function. This was something Su Chen figured out out of boredom just now when he was watching other players. By the way, Look what that little Kong Kong is doing. Su Chen immediately pulled Shao Kong Kong's profile picture over. Shao Kong Kong has now been put in a position of focus by Su Chen. The only special attention. Zitsi. 
Soon, the screen was connected. Seeing the screen appear, Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief. He originally thought that because Xiao Kong Kong was an inherited skill user, he might have some anti-peeping skills. It seems now. No. Surprisingly, according to Su Chen's imagination, Xiao Kong Kong should have a sharp mouth, sharp cheeks and small eyes. But Xiao Kong Kong in the picture wears ordinary thin-rimmed glasses and looks thin and elegant. And at this time, Xiao Kong Kong was caught in an alley like a chicken by several fierce-looking players. You like to be mean-mouthed, right? Guys, beat him up. Don't worry about the beating. I'll go out to show off. If the guards come, I'll give the signal. It seemed that those players were provoked by Xiao Kong Kong and were very angry at this time. Soon, Xiao Kong Kong was pushed to the ground by several people. Punched and kicked. Since they were in the city, several people did not dare to kill Xiao Kong Kong. At most, they would take advantage of the fact that the patrolling guards didn't come. Take him into an alley and beat him up. R. The mechanism of New World is not that strict. Although it is said that PK is not allowed in the city, you will not be caught as long as you are not seen by the guards. After fighting for a while, several people were tired. In addition, it was almost time for the guards to patrol. So they also stopped. Hutui. What the HL? One of them spat before leaving. After a few people walked away, Xiao Kong Kong was still on the ground and hadn't gotten up. A guard discovered Xiao Kong Kong who had been beaten. Are you okay? Who hit you? One of the guards said. It's okay. Brother guard. I don't know who hit me. Xiao Kong Kong got up from the ground. When the guard saw the sign on Xiao Kong Kong's body, he knew he was an adventurer. And immediately stopped paying attention. The native guards had heard too much about the deeds of these adventurers. Not to mention that they could be resurrected even if they were injured. After everyone has gone away. Xiao Kong Kong also slipped away quietly. Arrogant indeed his capital. And he actually got two pieces of epic equipment. Which is really good. Xiao Kong Kong smiled and counted his own income. He has an inherited skill. And there is a chance of stealing the opponent's equipment if he comes into frequent contact. Xiao Kong Kong thought of getting beaten. The harder you are beaten, the greater the chance that you will touch something good. At the same time, Xiao Kong Kong also weighed the weight of the purse. This money bag came to him when the guard was helping him just now. But the biggest gain is the crystal cannon. Xiao Kong Kong couldn't help but smile when he thought about this. It's just that he's a little unhappy about being marked by the god of the undead. But it'll be okay if he doesn't fight the undead creatures. He wasn't majoring in combat anyway. Chapter 150, Moving to a New Base He will be under your control from now on. The other side. Weird. One of my epic pieces of equipment is missing. Among the people who had just been beaten up, they finally discovered something was wrong. I am also missing an epic piece of equipment due to my good intentions. Another person also found out. Several people thought about it carefully for a while. And finally figured out where the mistake was. Is it the person you just beat? It's not that they have rich imaginations. From just now to now, they have only experienced this much. Yes, yes, that person has a problem. Another person who lost his equipment also echoed. Ah, who did you beat? The player who was in charge of showing off just now said. After he spoke, several people fell into silence. I only remember that I probably punched someone. But I have no memory of that person at all. Is he a boy or a girl? Have no idea. Several people were stunned. The same scene also happened to the city guards. Although the mark is only on Xiao Kong Kong's body. But Su Chen was more curious about the follow-up of this incident. So he expanded his field of vision to see the reactions of those people. It should be the effect of Xiao Kong Kong's inherited skills. But why can I remember his appearance? Su Chen closed his eyes and recalled Xiao Kong Kong's appearance. Then he took a look at Xiao Kong Kong through the Imprint Live broadcast. And it matched his memory. Xiao Kong Kong's skill seemed to have no effect on him. Next, it's time for Xiao Kong Kong to do some more daily things. Su Chen looked at it for a while. I found that this little Kong Kong likes to collect wool everywhere. It's not the kind of thing that you steal. It's the kind of free ticket activity that you participate in with great enthusiasm. This made Su Chen a little confused. Xiao Kong Kong has a skill that can be called a master thief. So why is he still keen on picking up wool for free? However, this kind of personality that likes petty gains may also be exploited. I just don't know if this mark will be retained after the two worlds merge. Su Chen suddenly thought of this. Su Chen quite admired Xiao Kong Kong's talent. It would be great if we could have some friendly and kind exchanges after the integration of the two worlds. 
I believe that Shao Kong Kong will be conquered by the charm of his personality. He will guide Shao Kong Kong, who is addicted to stealing, to the right and bright road. Obviously his crystal cannon was stolen by Shao Kong Kong. But not only did he not blame Shao Kong Kong, he also wanted to help Shao Kong Kong change his ways. Even Su Chen admired his broad mind. Anyway, who told him to be kind-hearted? However, it will take a while for the two worlds to merge. I have to find a way to let Shao Kong Kong help me explore the ancient battlefield before the merger. Su Chen thought and turned off Shao Kong Kong's video. At the same time, the small empty mark was added red and emphasized and placed in the most conspicuous place. After a tiring day, Su Chen was also a little tired. Sound witch statue. Su Chen put the witch statue into the ring and brought it back to reality first. Real world. Su Chen took out the witch statue from the ring. After taking out the witch statue, the light of the ring dimmed, and it was obvious that it needed to be replenished. But Su Chen was not in a hurry. Just bring things back slowly. Just slow down. It will be good if you can bring them back. With this thing, catching Lin Lin would be more stable. Su Chen found a package for the witch statue. The offline time today was earlier than usual. He was really a little tired today. It's still only a little dark outside. That's right. Let's move first. Su Chen glanced at the vegetable market downstairs. The quarrel started at 5 o'clock every morning. Su Chen had long wanted to move. But he never had time. Su Chen glanced at the room. The game cabin is relatively large. And he also needs to bring some clothes and the like. Other items are not valuable. But Su Chen is still a nostalgic person. And there are some things he still wants to take with him. He couldn't carry so many things on his shoulders. Although he could indeed do it. He was too arrogant. Su Chen took out his mobile phone. Arrange a car for me to move. The address is. The content of this text message was sent to Tang Feng. Bing Feng's identity is relatively sensitive. But Tang Feng is an identityless guy at this time. And his identity has been cancelled by Bing Feng. It doesn't hurt that there is a connection with Tang Feng. Su Chen was too lazy to waste mental energy on communicating with his thoughts. Soon, several vans were parked downstairs by Su Chen. Several people were already waiting downstairs. Hello, Mr. Su. Mr. Su. Mr. Su. The leader was a man wearing a gold necklace. And the rest of the group also looked like gangsters. That little yellow guy was the one that Bing Feng picked up at the bar that day. After experiencing the initial torture, he had already accepted his current situation. Is the young man in front of him? The big shopping thing calls him? But he didn't dare to look at it. Su Chen felt it slightly. It was discovered that these people were all subordinates developed by Bing Feng Tang Feng and others. And were restricted by his mind control. Go ahead. I've left everything you need to move by the door. Since they were no outsiders. Su Chen didn't think any more and waved his hand directly. Several people hurriedly went upstairs to move things. Su Chen sat on the passenger seat of the first van and closed his eyes to relax but not for a while. He heard some movement outside. Oh, isn't this Chen Hu? I haven't seen him acting like this in a few days. You no longer hang out at the bar, but you work as a mover at the market. Right? Chen Hu is the little yellow guy who was picked up by Bing Feng in the bar. The boss of the gangsters he brought. I have no time to care about you now. So get out of the way. Chen Hu is no longer as arrogant as before. What he is thinking about now is what will happen to him if he neglects the big shot Bing Feng talks about. Are you pretending to be cowardly? Do you know that the area near this vegetable market is my territory? The man was reluctant to give up. It was obvious that he usually did not deal with Chen Hu. Boom. The door closed and Su Chen got out of the van. Mr. Su. Please calm down. Mr. Su. I didn't mean it. When Chen Hu saw Su Chen get out of the car, he rolled over and kept admitting his mistake. He thought Su Chen was blaming him for his efficiency. Ha uh ha. -huh. It turns out you have found a new eldest brother. But your new eldest brother looks so poor, and it's really funny that he calls you Mr. Su. After the man finished speaking, others behind him burst into laughter. But Su Chen didn't look at Chen Hu, but at the person who was looking for trouble. What? Are you unhappy? Feeling Su Chen's gaze, the leader of the troublemaker immediately looked at Su Chen. Su Chen looked at him expressionlessly. Three seconds later, your name is Chen Hu. Right? From now on, his people will be under your control. After Su Chen said that, he returned to the car. At the same time, I felt a little emotional that I accidentally showed my kindness and rescued a bunch of lost sheep. Chin Hu on the ground was stunned, looking at his old enemy again. He looked dazed at this time and was in a daze. This seems to be his original virtue.